She's like, but <laughs> push I, my, me over. <laughs> my, oh, my, the, the show has started. Uh, PKA five forty nine. Uh, Where are we going? This with episode, our guest Harley Taylor. This episode of PKA is brought to you by Goat.com and Postmates. A couple of wonderful, wonderful sponsors. Thank them for sponsoring the episode. So Harley, it's been great. Yeah, uh, it's been great. Well, I guess it's it's been a long time. Is what Harley's I, 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 I don't even I know it. what to say though. You're married. Woody's smoking weed. Like, <laughs> it's dude, wild. you have no idea. So the, I thought that that little pen I bought at first was going to be like enough to get high once. It turns out it's enough to get high every night. <laughs> yeah, you can get oh, you for can you get for like once a hundred times. What was the I, thing that you were smoking? Because I haven't seen the. Cl- it was a. It was orange, it a joint. Was it a pen? It was a vape pen called what was it like orange vagina or something like that? Orange vagina. Not have been orange vagina. It was yeah. orange vagina. That, that purple orange vagina. Vagina. And yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone mentioned that like even though it's is it Steve? It's not stevia. That's the it's, sugar. Uh, sativa. 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 Thank you. I I can't get it right. Yeah. But even the, though it's uh, sativa, on the couch, is that the guy feel in the couch? And this like it helps you sleep thing. It does. So wait, no, no, wait. Indica is the one that helps you sleep. No, well, yeah, well, it's, it's the one that'll fucking knock you out. But I'm sure it, it really any weed is going to like relax you. And it all like, I, smoke, I, smoke, I smoke a lot, and um, I always get tired. Like yeah. no matter what, it's like yeah, this will keep you up. And then like we smoke this big joint, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I remember know, in college. I, I remember in college, like like not even fully buying into the different strains because I'd go to my drug dealer in college and he'd be like, this is like heavy, heady sativa. And then like, I'm like sitting at home, like, well, I hope I'm not too heady to watch trailer park boys. And then, <laughs> and then it's like smoke it. And it's like, no, I'm just high. And then you go and you get an indica. Oh, this is like fucking purple gorilla mist or something. And then no, the I'm only- just high again. Dude, the over the last seven is. days, I might be the biggest stoner on this show. Oh, um, I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I, I, I don't I, know. I honeymooned in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if, if you are a tough if, competition, Taylor. If, <laughs> but let, if, let me care. if you do inhale and keep in your, the longer you keep it in your lungs, the higher you'll get. Yeah, I found that to be true. It also makes you cough a little more. So I, I yeah. think. I oh, want out, that too. my way, but someone maybe I saw a YouTube comment, but they're like, Woody doesn't hold it long enough. But I'm brand new with this. I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, but what I happens is we'll be like be holding it long right away. Cause like like you're so brand new to it. Like, I don't know what zero tolerance is like anymore. Like, like I have no idea what you that will. would be like with a dab pen. For all I know, like if you'd like held it in your lungs for like five seconds and then like oh, 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 like coughed it out, you wouldn't have been able to do the show. I was afraid of that. That's why I wasn't like. Oh, I was no, I show. see. I think that's the show, though. That's the Dude, show. There are portions of that show don't... last week. I'm, I'm sorry, I got cut you off, Harley. But the but... portions of the show where, like, I don't know. There's no topic. It's dead air. I'm leading back like six feet from the camera, and I, and I don't really care. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with with anything. I remember back in the day, like I had a lot of uh, friends that just had, they just had a lot of money. Like they would get like a nice fat allowance. They'd like work for their dad for a day and get like a hundred bucks and they'd spend $50 to get seven grams of weed. And I had like 10 bucks on the weekend. Like I'd have 10 bucks I could spend. And I remember I would go and I would buy like one gram of weed and everyone else said, I have all these, these big joints and I'd always be like, oh, like I hit it one time, you know, <laughs> and I hit it one time. And that's when I'd be like, and then I'd be like, I like walk away and I'm like, <laughs> people like, yeah, I'm like, and then on the way out, I got to cough it out too. Like I got to maximize highness yeah. off yeah. my one poor hit of someone oh. else's joint. I just exactly. to like, and just like you can get the right hit. You're like, you know, 16, 17 dumb. You get like a mm. good hit, and you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna be fucked up forever." <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had even, money. The when, high yeah. part. <laughs> Cal, do you want to go? Uh, no, go ahead. You're talking about your first time smoking weed. Really, go ahead. It's funner. So, the the high part, like, it, I, I, there are part times I wondered if I was even high. You know, last what happens? We'll be like, "Hey, kickstands up at 7 a.m." That's what we said today. So I'm like, I have got to get to sleep. I'm taking the four biggest hits off this thing that I can, right? So did not like the show. Doing a big inhale, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it. I cough it out. 
four times. And then I'm in bed and I'm like, am I even high? I don't know. And then you I know? thought about that for 50 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I like rolled over or something and tried to like operate my computer. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely <laughs> <laughs> but, it took uh, you like doing something to be like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's it. yeah. And I swear that happens with drunk too. Like if you just sit mm -hmm. in a chair and you're fine and then you stand up and you're like, whoa, ho, ho, all right. Now, it, now I can better gauge how drunk I am. But, um, it does help me sleep for sure. And that's what it, it's kind of, I've been using it almost as melatonin. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's better. It's the best that. sleep aid. It's the best sleep aid. That's my, that might be my favorite thing about it. No, there are many things I like about it. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like smoking it. I don't know about that though for me, because I, when I smoke at night, that's when I'm like, Oh, now I want to do fun things. Like really no one's going to bother me. Like at night, like I, if I do it during the day, it's like hot. I'll like lie on the couch and fall asleep, like pass out for 30 minutes watching something mm -hmm. and be like, oh, fuck. But like at night when everyone's asleep and I'm smoking, that's like, bro, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to roll another one so it's ready. And now I'm going to do all the things I wanted to do. And then I'll take out a book and like stare at it for like one full minute and be like, oh my God, I didn't even start reading. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should game. And then I'll put on like something like I've been playing Mass Effect Legendary recently. So I could put on there's like decisions or like where you're going to put like your attribute points and something that's like a decision that I might be like, fuck, I don't know. Okay, I'll go with this. Instead, like I'm sitting there for like five full minutes, like stressing, like what move am I going to make? What am I going to do in these games? And I'm like, I don't know if gaming's the thing, but I'll chase like that blazing of the night, leisure time at night. That's when I maximize my leisure time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it doesn't even put me to sleep at night anymore. I know, like I've trained Mass myself. <laughs> to me, Mass Effect it has a storyline where you can get, we can have sex with aliens, right? Yeah. That's all I would do. Yeah, I got high. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm I'm fucking alien tonight. And yeah, instead, yeah, it's just person. like it's like you have to kill this person or that person. I'm like, oh, I don't want to kill anyone right now, bro. I came to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I came to <laughs> fuck <laughs> some aliens, bro. Not kill these people. No, not really, but still. It makes <laughs> games like that a lot more it makes games like that a lot more fun for me. Cause like if I'm not high, then I'm just like, oh, let's get to the next thing. Let's get to the next thing. Let's get to the next thing. And I'm never stopping to like smell the roses. And in, in mm -hmm. some games, like um, I tried to play. Uh, Dude, that became obvious with Vermintide when we were playing. Because oh, you weren't high game. at all where you're just like, forward! Vermintide, like somebody has to be the fucking like general and be like, no, we got to go. If we don't keep moving, they'll spawn more. a whole new like army is going to spawn yeah. in on this spot. Like, like do you want to fight? 500 enemies or 5,000 enemies this game like it's up to you guys we can we can piss piss around here for like the next three minutes and they'll just keep coming forever time is good points yeah, time is good point. yeah. Mm -hmm. catch me sober in a video game like like online and i'll be that guy i'll be like yo what's the move and i'll be like, you're the highest level you should lead us like you know i'm old playing a mm -hmm. game i don't i'm not here to lose let's work through this and do it you know we're not chilling my friends aren't here they Dude, got Verm fucking kids and you shit, so i'm coming here to win uh i played i downloaded wait is there's there's two right yeah, yeah. yeah. i yeah, downloaded the second, the second one. one i think on xbox one yeah it was uh it was a cool ass game i didn't ever got far in it though we it cool um, i game. got pretty obsessed with it on pc um and uh i didn't get to max level um we got bored I, before that yeah i think i had like, like like um i think i had like three of the top tier like uh slots filled and everything else was like one tier below that like i don't even remember what that is but like I had like a diamond tier neck, whatever, whatever top tier is. It, it's like red. amber or something or orange. It's red. Okay, red. Yeah, I had like three red things, and everything else was maybe the other three or four were like whatever's right below that. Like orange I was, or amber? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was close to maxing out, but 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 not all the way, and uh, and that's kind of hard to do. We were playing a lot, and and I I could actually get back into it right now. I I, I might play a little bit later on. Like I'm just talking about it is going to make me want to play. I um, like Vermintide. I, it's I also, really fucking fun. I like Kyle's the fun to play with because, like, so I'll have a character that doesn't have a distance weapon, and you can just call him out, like Kyle, your sorcerer, on it, and it, it, like, it's fun. You just like Kyle's very good, so you can point him at problems and get him solved. Yeah, Is that the alarm that says PK like time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're late. No, I, I'm doing my laundry. I'll be right back. Let me push it in the dryer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I like I like that everybody. So some games have like um, different characters have like different classes. 
But really, by the like end game, everybody's a jack of all trades anyway. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a sorcerer, but now my battle axe cuts dragons in half, and or it'll be like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the uh, the troll king, but now I've got magic that can summon a thousand trolls yeah. too. It's like, no, let's just stay in our fucking lane here and actually have a class system, and that's what Vermintide does, right? Because like, the elf is okay with her daggers, but. Mostly, it depends which elf you pick, but mm -hmm. it's 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 mostly about that bow. Like like she's so good with the goddamn bow. Um, that's a really fun game, and I'm so fucking excited because like the the, uh, the sequel, the 40k sequel is yeah. gonna come out, and I'm gonna have dope. I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be one of the highest ranked players on the planet in that game when that shit comes yeah. out. It's gonna be like me and uh, oh, I can't remember the YouTuber well, Double Entendre, uh, one of the highest ranked players. Yes, I yeah. will be the highest ranked player. Um, not the highest ranked player, yeah, but the highest you. ranked player. You guys can figure that out. Some of you are scratching your heads right now. That's because you got a low IQ. But it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it was me scratching my head for a second. I was, and then I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm so excited for that game. It, it's basically, Harley, it's basically, uh, are you familiar with like the Warhammer uh, universe at all? No, but all like right, I mean, so, I'm familiar, but so like, like I'm not at all. So Vermintide <laughs> is based on like Warhammer Fantasy, and yeah. uh, and so like th basically that's like it's a similar universe, but it's also different at the same time. Warhammer 40k is this really crazy sci-fi uh, thing that's based off of a tabletop game where it it, it it's this forty thousand years of alternate human history, like the timeline is fleshed out really well. It's not like, oh yeah, and then 5,000 5, years later we did this. It's like, no. And then the we next year- We spoke about Total War Warhammer, you and I, remember? Yeah, was yeah, it, yeah. That's, yeah, you guys were playing it. You told me to, yeah. I should download it. And then I was like, I download So I know a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, 40K is the futuristic version of that, essentially. And uh, and so that's what this new Vermintide-ish game, um, it's called Dark Tide, I believe, yeah. is, uh, is going like to be based on- guns and it Do you looks know when it comes like out? Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's what I would need for that. That extra. I like that. Yeah, I, it, that's it cool. looks really, really cool. And I want to say the gore is pretty high on it, too. Like almost super, combat super level gore. gore. Uh, it says 2021. Um, so this year, I think it's fall. Um, so I'm not okay. exactly sure. Hopefully. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's going to be basically Vermintide. Mm -hmm. And they're going to they're going to keep a lot of the melee stuff in there because the melee is so cool. The way you just slash. And that's and what I was worried about, because the melee animation like it's just neat. I was hoping I think it wasn't gonna ammo was going to be a concern. I think I think that's how they're going to keep that balanced. <clears throat> so guys, gonna... They don't use they don't use chainsaw swords. Is that this? Yeah, yeah. There is a chainsaw sword okay. in the so they, uh, in the 40k oh, version. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you don't there make a chainsaw cool. sword and then bail on that at any point in your series. I feel like <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a cool thing. Yeah, I'm excited about that game. I'm Me excited for, for Battlefield 2042. I Are mean, you? I play every Battlefield. Like, I played the bad ones. Like, I liked Hardline, which I always thought was like Battlefield Arcade. Can I Battlefield. ask you, as, as a Battlefield aficionado, it's been on my impression that Battlefield smashes it when it comes to the trailers. And then the games are a little hit and miss. Whereas mm -hmm. COD almost always misses on the trailers. But sometimes it's not a bad game. I think I think Call of Duty single players. I'm always like ah, Call of Duty, whatever. And then they have a new like they they put the trailer out, and I, I do get excited for the single players a lot. And then I play the shit out of the multiplayer for like a month, two months. Sorry, my teeth. That used to last. Uh, I play for a month, two months, and uh, I have plastic things on my teeth. By the way, if you guys see me doing some weird shit with my mouth, I'm not. Wait, like, <laughs> you got Invisalign? Yeah, I did. Like uh, like three oh. months ago, but oh, I speak like a fucking later. idiot sometimes. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was playing. Uh, I play. I play every Call of Duty when they come out. I'm, I think they're so cool. The single player is awesome. I play the shit out of the multiplayer for two months. But Battlefield, like I boot up Battlefield Four, you'll never catch me booting up Black Ops One to go hop online right now. Um, I play Battlefield, uh, uh, you know, uh, One Battlefield Four. Uh, I even downloaded Battlefield Three. Their servers up. Would you ever go and download like? Black you Ops know, 1 and Hop Call Online. Of Duty 4. I mean, it could, are there servers up for COD 4 still, or is it, can that not be played online? Oh, Kyle, you're muted. Kyle's muted. I, I, would, I could see myself bouncing back to COD 4. Yeah, not sure. only is it up, but they, you know, they remade it like two, three years ago, right, with Modern Warfare. Um, so yeah. you've got like an updated version um, that I quit playing right away as soon as they started putting new guns in. 
Like, like, like don't don't put guns and don't add guns to COD Four. All right. Like, like. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> what did they add? They added a bunch of stuff. They, Was they started it stuff adding that like, guns, kind of ruins right? the balance? Because I liked I the it, gun balance. I thought it did. I, I liked that it was unbalanced. You know, I, I liked I yeah. liked that. That's what was good. Uh, if you wanted, there was the MP5, the M16, or the M40A3, and you didn't fuck with LMGs unless it was the RPD. Sometimes, if you were trying to have fun and get a cool, like a cool kill feed, and that was about it. Yeah, I mean, you could go outside that a little bit. Like, like, like there were some class you could do. You could use Juggernaut and a Dragonoff because the Dragonoff mm. would because in like sniper duels, uh, if they had an M40, they would try to body sh like chest shot kill you. But you would know that they can't, and that you can't. So you'd go for the headshot. Like you would mm -hmm. have, you would have the information advantage on 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 how to do a one shot. And also, it, auto. it kicked weird. I hated that. Up into the right, I think. Yeah. Do, up do you guys right. play battle? Do any of you guys play Battlefield? Did you ever? Never. I played no, a lot of Bad it. Company too. Um, best, which that's I, like maybe the best Battlefield, by the way. The best maybe the best Battlefield. And it like got me pretty hyped on Battlefield, uh, and then the next one came out. And I don't remember what it was called, but I was just like, oh, "Man, this Battlefield is Three or Battlefield Four, I think." And I didn't have anybody to play with. And if you don't have any like a squad to play with, like like I played yeah. that company with like Blame Truth and Excal a little bit, and uh, and you know when you're playing with like crazy slayers in a game, it's it's always fun. Like I remember playing zombies with like Excal and Chiz. Chiz was a great zombies player, by the way, if nobody mm -hmm. remembers. Mm -hmm. And it was just like. So, so this is why everybody likes this. You just go round after round, like deep mm -hmm. into the game on like knock your totem or some shit, and it's just like, oh no, that's not what it's like when you when you don't play with some of the best players in the world. Yeah. It's it's. it's yeah, I, I remember the first about. time I played zombies with Blame Truth, X Cal, and it was me and maybe someone. Maybe it was Chiz. I don't recall, but this was. 10 years ago like literally 10 11 years ago and i remember like getting in there and i didn't know blaine truth didn't know x cow only knew chiz and it was just like all right you know maybe i'll i'll do pretty good i know these guys are good i i had the worst zombies game of my life like one of those like where you you like really overextend yourself and dare rice or whatever it was and it's like i got every f fucking thing and then you like accidentally fuck up your stutter jump and you get stuck and die and i remember like x cow just like bullying me like just like being like like you fucking suck and like the blame <laughs> truth like I didn't know him at all but he just like kept picking me up like it's all right man it's just a game who cares and I'm like I like this guy I, 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 I like this guy a lot more than you X Cal was a perpetual and that, that was the last time I I spoke to X Cal yep. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah right. X Cal uh, in, in so X Cal has aged into a nicer guy I think um, I watch his live stream sometimes and he's nice to me. But uh, yeah, he he used to be kind of a douchebag. Chiz, one thing I like, like about like his zombies, he wasn't being like okay. shit more. Yeah, Chiz is a reviver, man. It, like it, you know that like maybe Taylor was in this position where you're kind of behind and almost mm -hmm. just like you lost all your stuff and now it's round thirty two and it's kind of hard to get back on your feet again. So you're that poor soul who had thirty two like downs. Yeah, and then you look at Chiz; he's got twenty eight revives. Like he's that guy who just yeah. Saved at you the all. end of That's every game, you're, you're looking at the kills and Chiz is always like. Look at those revives, man. Yes, <laughs> like, that's, that's me. <laughs> that's I me like in that. every game. Every every time there's a game where there's healer. a healer or something, they're Sport. always lacking. And I always enjoy like I have I've never played an hour off of any other character in Overwatch other than Mercy. And I healed the shit out of everyone, the damage buff all the time. Battlefield five, revive everybody. Mm -hmm. I go like I'm a medic with like you carry smokes in Battlefield, and, and no one really carries like you could have five smoke grenades in battlefield where it's like huge open fields and there's no one like I smoke out a whole field and like mm -hmm. heal pick people up that were dead are now like a little white Walker army that like got back up and we're going to <laughs> a point like medics change the games. And there's really like, like when they battlefield for uh, the assault guy was the medic also, which was just like, mm -hmm. so everyone was the medic. Um, Cause you wanted to carry the assault stuff, the, the assault guns, but playing as medic battlefield five battlefield one, like I was all over that shit. I, I I will die defending that Battlefield is a far superior multiplayer experience than Call of Duty. But I know that Call of Duty is like a million times more popular. So it's like a hot take by default. And I also know Call of Duty, I could see how it's better for competition, like six on six or however they do it. Yeah. And like you got the three lanes. It's like three lane style combat. Battlefield is like the last one Kyle played, Bad Company 2. You could blow up the whole level. So like it's not like a competition type thing, but the Battlefield games, like when you see the trailer, they always make it a point to try and show you things that can be done 
in 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 Battlefield, mm-hmm. like you know, you guys saw it, the the guy that ejects out of the jet and shoots the rocket and lands back into the plane. Yeah, yeah that I, was really I, I, cool. That was that's really, real. That's really cool that they threw that in there because that's a thing that like I think the first time it got done was like 2016 or something like that. Like it's it's several years ago now, but that's so incredible when you see someone do that in game. Like like they eject out of their fighter jet, whip out an RPG, and turn around and shoot the fighter jet that was like tailing them, blow it up, and then land. I've seen it done both ways, where they either land on their own jet and recover it, or steal least, the jet yeah. of the guy they blew, uh, the guy they killed. Mm, with yeah, the if they snipe, they'll snipe the guy out of the, the seat sniper, and then yeah. take his, or they'll ro- they'll so rocket cool. it. But like, yeah, it's uh, like I love that game. Like that's a game where like whenever people will like jump, like I'll be playing the game and people will be like, oh, like what what's up with Battlefield? I look at it and I'm like. When you're like on the battlefield and a plane is going by in a dog fight and like tanks, you're always just like, there's like four guys in there and there's like three guys in that plane and mm-hmm. everything's blowing up. Like it's just, I, I, it always gets compared to Call of Duty. And I think it's the biggest mistake to both games, even though I did it. I was like, it's better than Call of Duty. I just like that style game better. The gunplay is just harder. The bullets are slower and they <clears> drop. <throat> And then it's just 64 on 64. They really figured that out. The next one's going to be 128 That's people. Absurd. Like, I'm very like prepared for that. I, it's completely I feel like different. I That's why impact. it's completely different. You can. Like I, but when you do, that's when you're God. I like don't when think you're you that can. guy on in the plane, you're the guy in the plane, oh. and 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 you just do it, or even you're on the AA and no one's flying planes because you're you're like. Or even if you're just me, like epic heel time, running around, picking guys up off the ground. Like, you always feel yeah. like you could do something. And if you're shit at games, support. Like, Battlefield pays for everything. Like, if you shoot in the direction of five guys that your teammates are shooting and you don't hit a single bullet, Battlefield knows you did that. And they're like, suppression assist plus 10 points, man. <laughs> and, like, that's, to me, that's important. Like, you were like, like you brought that. up how Chiz. Because that does matter. People. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, like, it, it. You said Chisel pick people up, like in Call of Duty. Like you mm-hmm. want to pick zombies. people up in Battlefield. It's uh, it's gonna get you paid, like to do that. You know, anything like building a fortification or blowing one up, everything. So even like when I'm shit at a Battlefield, like when I'm first getting into it, then I'm like LMGs, like lying down, shooting where the guys are, and everyone gets ammo. Everyone yeah. gets ammo, mm-hmm. and you get like a score. It's never. Sometimes it's nice to be like one of the guns. You might not like have that match I was talking about where you had an impact, but you did. Did you ever get into Kreshkov at all? I what? Do you want to Did you ever get into uh Tarkov at all? So, uh we spoke about this about this a bunch. I've gotten my ass kicked in it every time, but yeah. I was actually okay. streaming last night and I finished at like 5 a.m. and everyone I follow is not on, but Pistilli was. Mm-hmm. so i just sent like a raid like to to him and as soon as he came and he was like oh shit you're on pka all the time he's like what's up and in the <laughs> chat i was like yeah man uh we, we spoke about you a bunch so i ended up following him and he was like yeah and then he wanted to know woody why you don't stream anymore he mentioned taylor streams but he was like why doesn't woody stream he's I'm like it's been a think. long time i um i kind of fell out of love with streaming a bit and i fell into like some real life stuff like motorcycles and paramotors. And I, shit like I that. well, my first thought was like you were like getting more fit and you were gonna do your motorcycle thing. The fitness. So thing. I was just like, yeah, Woody's up to a whole bunch of things all the time. That's what I typed in. That's true. And he was like, yeah, but streaming's just easy to do, man. Just pop it on the stream. Hey. I was like, I was like, I don't know. I'll Dude, pass the I, message along. When I streamed, <laughs> I was going to bed at like three and four a.m. all the time. Bro, you've got to get those hours up. That's nothing, man. (laughs) (laughs) When I stopped streaming, you know, like my sleep schedule got fixed, which helped me get my diet fixed, which helped me exercise, which like, like there was a whole lot of good stuff that happened for me, even if I wasn't streaming anymore. When you uh, still think about it all the time. I I think about streaming on these trips. Maybe I'll stream after the show. We'll see. When you talked about uh, like the destructible environments of Battlefield, that's what reminded me of Tarkov because they, they showed off the new map the other day, the streets of Tarkov. And it's got like walls that you can like blow out. Like, like, like you can explode the walls Ooh. and create new pathways through these. That. Uh, Is that streets like or lighthouse that that's in? I'm not sure. I'm almost positive it's streets. Okay. Um, it's uh, but but you know, I I I watched the video like uh, being. I watched um, landmark like watch the video and like comment on it. So I do, could be a little off. Do you watch? It's nice guy, but it's spelled noise guy. N o i c e. Uh maybe once mm-hmm. or twice, but not. I couldn't Dude. picture him in my head. It, yeah, I don't think he's done a face reveal, but if you like Tarkov and you're interested in keeping up with what's going on, 
Noise guy makes, I think he pronounces it nice guy, <laughs> makes the best videos on it. They're often like three to six minutes is kind of his sweet spot. Mm -hmm. He talks quickly and he lays it all out there. He doesn't get it wrong much. He will say like, hey, this isn't really confirmed, but you know, this is what I'm thinking. These are the clues. And uh, I, I still watch every one of his videos even though I'm not playing Tarkov anymore, because I still feel like a Tarkov player just waiting for time to get sucked back in. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, I, I feel the same way. Wipe is about to happen. Um, they, uh, they're they doing a lot of events right now. Right now, I don't know if you know, but they're doing um, all of the bosses are on reserve at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I saw Landmark kill them all at once. The wipe's not confirmed, by the way. It's not confirmed, but this is clear. I don't know anything event. about... I only was going to, I thought that in my head, because that's what the chat was saying. They were like hitting him with that question constantly. They were like, tell us, Bastille, is the wipe going to happen? Is the wipe true? And I was like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But now you guys, I guess it's like like a rust thing, like how in rust, like the, yeah. everyone yeah. goes back to zero and they, yeah. they take everything from you. Everything. And the thing in Tarkov yeah. is you've got these uh, these quests that you're doing to like rank up. And ranking up matters because it allows you to get access to uh, these traders that are in the game. And you can't, it, it's like this wall between you and getting ammo that actually fucking works. Like, like literally, like there are helmets that, like, you could shoot 10 times, 20, maybe 20 times you could shoot an Alton with like bullshit nine millimeter. And the guy would just be like, bling, 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 bling. And it and has face coverage smoking. too. Yeah. Like, like a big face shield comes down. Like, he's a goddamn tank. Even if you've got a uh, five five A one um, M sixteen ammo, like they'll a couple of them will bounce off his head. You and need like they, armor did, piercing ammo. Did they make the currency for the game Bitcoin? Uh, so so the main currency is rubles, but uh, they do have a Bitcoin mechanic where yeah. you can uh, and and it's actually the thing that I grinded for the most was where um, there are GPUs in the maps, and I don't recall <laughs> the exact number. But okay. like, if you get enough GPUs, you can power up your Bitcoin farm in your stash. <laughs> okay, people and were so talking about Bitcoin, and I was like, "This is such a crazy, like, like niche audience." That also, I'm like, "Bro, Tarkov people are obsessed with Bitcoin." Yeah, and I'm just, like looking at the chat, and they're talking about Bitcoin and all that, and then I'm like, "Oh, is this an in-game mechanic?" But it's also yeah. like 5:30 a.m. for me, so Dude, I'm like, I "The don't currency know. in I'm this not... game is ridiculous." There's, it's mostly rubles, like Kyle said. There's also USD. There's also euros, and then there's Bitcoin and GP coins, whatever they are. But mostly, you just sell the Bitcoin and GP coins for either in-game items or rubles. You can make Bitcoin with one GPU. You said, but you you can store as many as 50, and you make them more quickly. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, it, it's do, one it's, of those things that keeps you grinding because you've got this Bitcoin farm, and it's like, all right, I need. If I've got like, I'm just making up numbers here because I don't remember the exact ones, but 10 Bitcoins will, or 10 uh, GPUs will net me like a half a Bitcoin a day, but 20 GPUs and I can get three quarters of one and 30, I'm getting like one and a half Dude, Bitcoins a day. Let me jump in with numbers because like, like, this that are just is interesting. Coming through it free. used to be one GPU would get you a Bitcoin every day, right? About that. It was like 23 hours. Cool. 50 GPUs would get you about five coins a day. The Bitcoin, the value of a Bitcoin is tied into the real life value yeah. of a Bitcoin. They that literally I index I, I it. I gathered okay. that from the chat. Uh, well, in real life, Bitcoin skyrocketed and broke <laughs> the Tarkov economy. So instead of grinding and getting like five Bitcoins a day, it now takes like 141 hours to make a single Bitcoin so that they nerfed the, the Bitcoin farm. Which was you. the stupidest way to do it. The stupidest way to do it. What's a... Uh, well, what they're the going to do way, is the smart well, way to do I, it is to not tie it to real world uh, bitcoins because then you're constantly chasing the ball. Like, so like it, what? What if the next day Bitcoin dropped to twenty thousand yeah. dollars and and it stayed there forever? Now so they got to completely redo their mechanic again. Two things. One, I thought it was neat that it was tied to the real life Bitcoin and went up and down, and you could kind of guess and play the market like with your own stuff. Like, you know what? I'm going to pocket Bitcoins and then cash them all out next week because I think it's going to go up. Like, I think it's neat, but like you said, it's not good for the game's economy. They did it with weather at one point too. At one point, the weather in Tarkov was actually tied in to like Moscow weather, but it sucked because it rained way too much and people didn't like the game. Yeah, they had like a the monsoon day. season or something in, in <laughs> yeah. Moscow for a couple months, and everybody's like. I'm so sick and fucking tired of rain. 
Yeah, so they changed the weather, so it's not linked anymore. Now it's just the balance that they're looking for. And they're changing it. It's not going to be Bitcoin. It's going to be like Tarkov coin or something. Good, so, good, yeah. good. Or make it Dogecoin. I don't care. But like, don't tie it to a real world value. Then you're always chasing the ball. You're always behind on, like you're trying to fine tune a balance. But but like part of the equation is a floating ball that has no, that you can have zero impact on. So like you can never be right. Yeah, uh, well, you're it, right. I agree. I, I just think it was a neat concept that didn't work out. Neat concept that didn't work out. Um, I agree with that. Um, so, so yeah, Tarkov, Tarkov is the king of games for me. Um, it's just so addictive and so it requires so much grinding that it's an it's an unhealthy obsession. So I don't play Tarkov. Like right now, I'm playing um, poker with my friends, the playing Turkey Magic: The Gathering. Like, um, playing like a lot real of magic. magic, like with cards. Yeah, yeah um, magic the Gathering on, Arena. Playing on Arena. Um, we've been doing weekly tournaments in our Discord, and uh, doing another one Saturday. By the way, everybody listening up. Um, also doing the uh, the hangout. Any of you who uh, who, who didn't ch check your email, you got you got your links uh, for the for the hangouts coming up. And um, make sure you sign up ahead of time, get a good spot. Uh, and yeah, but we've been playing a ton of a uh, Magic: The Gathering Arena. I've gotten pretty obsessed with it. YouTube knows I'm obsessed with it because they're recommending me videos from the biggest fucking nerds on the planet playing this game. This guy, uh, <laughs> um, what's his name? Um, fuck, what's that YouTuber Is I watch? Is the guy with? you said uh, like he jokes about having a punchable face? I something? joke about him having a punchable face. Covert oh. go blue. <laughs> Covert this whole go time, blue. I thought that I imagined him sitting there like, you know me, I have a punchable face. Like, I, uh, dude, <laughs> the dude knows he's got a punchable face. Like, like if this gets Who back does? to uh, Covert. Covert go blue. Uh, if this gets back to him, man, I, I, I do like your content. You, you're one of the best in the business. Um, but if but, it gets back to him, but but I would I would pay money to just punch you right in the fucking face because you got the most punchable face ever, um, and uh, you're just you just you just real obnoxious looking guy. Um, but but I love your content. I watch it every day, like? daily. I watch it. I copy your deck lists. I play them. I love them. Smart uh, guy. The sincerest form of flattery. You're copying his deck. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But it's I true. Would, it's I, true. It cancels out the face punching comments. I would pay as much money as I've spent buying fucking Magic the Gathering cards just to sock you one good one. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Ryan the Kisser. Uh, his name's Covert Go Blue. I'll, I'll, I'll link him. Um, it's uh. He's not going to give two fucks about you saying no. Uh, he'll give a fuck, guy, him, but he'll he'll be like, oh, he copies my deck list. Knew it. Yeah, man. He knows I'm better because he's fucking this smart. Guy's and, punching, and, this guy's This guy's punching back. And, and like and like that. his competition is like this guy with who's like I don't know Icelandic or something, and his 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 accent is so his accent is obnoxious. Like like I can listen to Covert Go Blue for hours at a time, and I do. The like one of his his main competition is like this guy like. God, I can't stand his voice. Like I wouldn't care if his decks made you win every time. I can't listen to him for more than three seconds. It's just awful. But Covert Go Blue, you're a really good content, really smart guy. I enjoy it. Is it hard to come up with your own decks? Like yeah, yeah. So there are um, depends what you want to do, and uh, mm -hmm. it depends what mechanic you want to exploit. And what I mean by that is like there's a card called Winota, right? And what it does is whenever you're attacking with a non-human creature. Winota allows you to draw, I believe it's the top six cards from yeah. your deck, look at them, and any cards that are amongst those six cards uh, that are also non-human -cre creatures, you get to play those instantly, and they begin attacking instantly. So that's the mechanic behind that. So the strategy is to get out two, three, four, if you can, non-human creatures, then play Winota, and then attack, so that you trigger that multiple times. Mm -hmm. So you're able to go into your deck multiple times, draw six cards, pick out X amount of non-human creatures, they all go on the board, and it's like this knockout blow that yeah. you can deliver on turn four. And there are many, many mechanics like that in Magic. But pause there. That seems easy to figure out. Like, oh, here's one that makes non-human characters all attack if they're on the board. So sure. I'll just pair it up with a bunch of non-human characters. You need... I, I've never played Magic, but it mm -hmm. seems like I could have figured that one out. So, And part of it is figuring out which ones to use, because there's a million useful non-human creatures that are useful tap yeah. attacking. But what they do is they are like, all right, well, a lot of these guys have to be cheap because we need to front load our position on the board so that it's not just Winota and then just, you don't want this Winota creature attacking alone. And then you, what if you don't draw six? Now your it, opponent just goes, Winota's oh, Winota by herself. Oh, it isn't? Well, then I'm thinking of, the, I don't have one of those. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty the, it's, like it's one of the most meta the dueling decks. blade thing. The one that gives everybody attacking double yeah, strike. Yeah, the, the dual blade binder or something like that. Like, he yeah, gives everyone really double useful. strike. Um, he's in there at four mana. Um, you want to draw him with your Winota trigger, but you use things like um, 
um, sacrificial savior or whatever that little dog use things like elite spell yeah, binder sacrifice that guy that guy's annoying but that's that's yeah. what it is i guess to say woody is like so like that winota deck he's talking about there's a couple key pieces that build out a skeleton and then you can edit around it and figure out and optimize so like i play a you know a, a I have like a dozen decks on there now. I went bananas with it. Same. But uh, I have a mono green deck and I love it because nobody in the Discord plays mono green because it's so out of meta. And like I just, I tinkered with it and messed around with it and, and I got it working really well. And so basically it's like you, you just pick a keyword or you pick a, a tactic and then you find basically through the search on the engine everything in that color that has to do with that. And then this is the way I do it. And then I scroll through every card available. I'm like, oh, this is like a common that says every time this hits the battlefield or dies, I get to put a 1-1 creature token. Okay, all right, maybe I can do something where I manipulate that where I can get a bunch of replays or return to my... Maybe I pair it with blue and I return yeah. this to my hand and play it again and I get some loop going to where I punish my opponent. And it's better if it's not fully meta because like if it's fully meta, I'll know like you know pretty quickly, like, oh, I know exactly what this person's gonna do. Turn four, they're gonna try this. Turn five, they're gonna try this. If they throw you like a look, like if somebody's playing black green fusion on there right now, you're like, okay, the fuck are you thinking? What are you doing? I don't know what to expect. Like yeah, so the, the one I described, the one I described, Woody, you're right. It is very simple. And that that's why I chose that one because it's the simplest to describe. Um, oh. some of the combos and some of the the tactics and uh, and metas are so complicated that they require 80 or 100 card decks to do and and it's it's um it would be We're difficult players to wouldn't to, even get it you i wouldn't i can't explain it is it, the real <laughs> problem and even though i could you wouldn't understand it there's the reason i can't under, explain it is because i don't understand it you know like, <laughs> like there's, there's also like there, there's ways to shut down meta so like one of the last times i played dirty for example he has this white life gain deck and he's before still we started playing, playing that, he's, he's still playing that. And dirty, I, I, dirty, I, dirty, get a new goddamn deck. You play, you're a one trick pony. At this point, you <laughs> you've been playing for months now. You have one trick more than me. What the fuck is wrong, dirty? Get a I, new deck. I, I, I would get bored of playing the same deck, but basically, I know because he always plays that. I went back and changed my mono red deck to put four creatures in whose game text is like, as long as this creature's on the field, opponents cannot gain life. And he doesn't have a way to get rid of that guy as quickly as he needs to because, you know, that causes problems for him. And so, like, you can throw a wrench into people's plans a lot easier. So if you're totally mono-focused on life gain and he wastes his removal on bullshit early in the game and then I play someone that prevents him from gaining life, he may have, he may have 20 and I may have 6, but the table's turned. In one turn, he'll have 6 and I'll have 6, and in one turn after that, I'll have 1, you know, yeah. even if he eliminates that guy. And so, like... You know, putting up hedges, putting up blocks, anticipating their move. It's so much fun. I fucking love magic. I'm looking magic. forward to hanging out with Dirty in Colorado. It's gonna be fun. Uh, poker we, and we, magic from that guy. Loves cards. poker and ma we got a poker table at the at the house. I got a poker table. Um, I won't go into all the amenities. It's sick though. Um, it it has like all of the cool things that you can imagine. It's expensive, a, right? Like seven um, grand. Or uh, I mean, it's seven grand for two weeks though, right? Like like uh, mm -hmm. for a five bedroom house. I think that's it's 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 super cheap mm -hmm. as far. I'm not as saying it's goes. above the going rate. Just oh, it's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of money. Um, but you know, split between um, uh, a lot of people. Um, although right now it's split between me because I paid and nobody has sent me their money yet. <laughs> yeah. so I might be hanging out at this place. Like, <laughs> Wish I could afford weed. <laughs> <laughs> I waited so long. All by I could afford weed. All by myself. All I have is this resin I found <laughs> <laughs> under the couch. <laughs> previous <laughs> um, someone yeah. left a dirty bong behind. Yeah, it was like seven thousand. <laughs> it was more than that, actually. Um, but uh, but but like you know, it's two weeks in like a five six bedroom house or something like that, and uh, it's got a lot of amenities that that we all really value, and it's close to everything. It's uh, it's in South Denver. So it's it's cool, and um, I don't know. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We got a lot of people going. I think uh, we're, we split it into two weeks, and I, initially I thought like, all right, we'll have this group on week one and this group on week two. But so many of the guys just like, can I stay for both weeks? I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you could stay for both. So like, fish is staying for you, two. You can just carve weeks. out two weeks. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's why I love these guys. That's what's yeah. interesting about like fifty dollars nice. patrons. These are the kind of people who can carve out two weeks in their schedule, no problem. And like, people who blow fifty dollars to hang out with us lead interesting lives. Yeah, yeah. And so the funny thing is, like, like I got a one way flight because I'm not sure exactly when I want to come back. So, like, you know, I, I'm definitely staying like a whole month. 
But mm-hmm. like at the end of that month, what if I'm just like, man, I wish I wasn't going home tomorrow. I might find like like a cheap Airbnb that's like eighty dollars a night or something like that, and be like, one more week. Just you live know, in I, squalor, like, be high as hell, though. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know, I can I can, I can, you know, I can just do this from there. I'm bringing all my shit with me, so it's fine. Wait, you can do this job remotely. Uh, it seems that way. <laughs> it seems that way. Um, it, you know, the boss doesn't mind. I've talked to him. It's all good. Um, I changed time zones four times in the last two days. There you go. I, I can hardly figure out what time it is. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, I don't know. It's going to be fucking sick. I'm going to stay for a long time. Oh, what I was going to say is like, I was like, yeah, I booked one way. And Fitch is like, I'm going to book one way too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, man. All right. Let, let's do it up. And, and Chiz is like, I'm staying at least 30 days. I mean, it's my birthday month. I'm staying at least it's my birthday month. It's my birth month. I like it. It's my it's birth like, a, month. like a 14 year old girl. It's my birthday <laughs> month. Yeah, it's his, it's, it, you know, he's he's in Colorado for his birthday anyway. So like, he was already planning a whole thing. He's driving in. He's driving his. Uh, he's driving all the way from uh, Cali to uh, Denver, and uh, in Midi, he's driving down from uh, Minnesota. Uh, so he's gonna stay a week with us. That's and, not too uh, far. Yeah. yeah, that's not too bad. It's like four hours, maybe, off the top of my head. Whoa. Just guessing. Minnesota's and, pretty uh, long, though. I don't know where he is in Minnesota. Yeah, there you go. That's a good. That's a good point. And uh, ZT is coming all the way from Athens, Georgia, uh, just like pretty close to me. So uh, he's got quite a he's got quite a little journey to make. And uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of dirties coming from South Carolina. Uh, it's gonna be a good fucking time. There's a. Uh, I think I think we're gonna have like five to six of us in that house per week, no matter what. Uh, and uh, so that that splits the. The, the the cost of the of the place up to the point where it's like 600 a week per person 700 a week per person something like that i am so excited to get high i'm so it's great glad. trust me it's almost I, over yeah, i'm a big fan uh let me see how many <laughs> days i've got because i think it's 98 <laughs> days it's either 90 well, you get or high all the time now me uh not all the time for the last Every seven day, days I mean? like five of them it just like, basically are you still, in, right are you still in seattle I am in a legal state. You were? You were. Oh, you shut up. (laughs) I doxed you. You just, I doxed you. I can't believe I just doxed you. (laughs) I, yeah. That's bad. I could find out exactly where you are, by the way. I heard, I know how to do it too. No, you don't. And I I do. Yeah. You do it then. You want me to say it? I want you to type it. (laughs) (laughs) Got 99 days, by the way. Man's in my house. He does have powers. Four hours. Yeah, <laughs> Nine minutes. I don't yeah, but they have those can. hotels in every state, right? Like, yeah, like, this is a very popular hotel. Oh, okay. That checker, that checkerboard background just, got I'll exists think about in Belgium. This, okay. <laughs> you want, should I say? No, I won't. I'll tell you later. <laughs> you could type it, I, and you're not typing it, so you don't know. I did type. You didn't see that? Yeah, but, yeah, but, but you like, didn't uh, tell me where I am. You just told me your method. And you said it out loud back. Mm-mm, that wasn't me who said that. Oh, I would stay in a bad area. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're wrong right there. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not. I'm kind then. of famous for maybe it. Maybe not. Uh, you yeah. are also like really discounting. Maybe if someone would, they would go to like twelve different. They go go for a little tour and then go like room to room. No, I'm not that. The, listen, their strategy on how they handle it from there, whatever. I was just saying I could find out where. They just yeah. hang out. They'll hang out outside. Oh, and by the way, if anyone, if, I, I feel like your audience, if anyone did do that, by the way, what we're talking about, you're a fucking loser. Just going to say mm-hmm. that right now. In case someone did, I do. I understand like always being careful, but I'd be really disappointed in someone. If they did stand out and you walked outside, they're like, what did I do? I found out the whole tire. I went all around town. I'd be like, you're a fucking <laughs> what's weirdo. Game, like, like, what? like, the fucking champ? Is it, is, what's that game called where you uh, you look at the picture of somewhere on the planet oh. and you guess where it is? Oh, yeah, Geo-guessing? yeah, yeah. Geo-something? Yeah, yeah. Geo guesser. Geo okay. Yeah, like they're Geo-guessing. the Geo guesser champs. They like look at Woody's hotel room and like, aha. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I even ask it? about the state anyways that I mentioned? Why was I? I, I don't know. The reason I didn't answer was. Oh, like, yeah. What you if, were smoking there. That's yeah, that's the yeah. first place I ever bought weed legally uh, when it first started. And I remember going in and being like, yo, so we could just buy weed in here from you and I could leave with it. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, this is fucking crazy. And on the way out, they gave you like an orange crush 
or like any cold drink, but they had like flavors like orange crush and Mountain Dew and Sprite. And I was like, this is such a high combination of soda cans. Yeah. And like you get a cold one. I'm like, this is perfect. Like, I can't believe it. You know, like, like buying weed was very bait growing up for me. And now here I am. They're like, and a soda on the way out. (laughs) (laughs) And by the way, everyone is fucking nice there. Like, like, like I remember like the first time I bought legal weed and it feeling like, like, are, are they gonna like drop a metal cage over me as soon as I get to like the <laughs> checkout? Yeah, you like, like, feel like, like yeah. the bike. You feel like, like you're Joe getting with... away with something. It's such yeah. a good feeling where you're like, so I can just buy hundreds of dollars of this, and they're like, yeah. It's that, that show with the bike where like they put the bike and then someone gets on the bike and they're like, fucking get it. You know that show? Oh, you know? Yeah. I only see it in like the hotels when I'm in the for, states. For some they, reason, when I first went to a legal dispensary and I like just kept adding things to my total, I kept imagining like. Well, they're gonna say no at some point. Like, <laughs> but like, no, it's like Walmart. You can walk in and, and as long as you got money. Like, this is Canada just, though. In yeah. Canada, where I live in, in Quebec, it's just they really, they really took it and just kind of made it lame. They did a couple things. Oh no, no okay. edibles, no edibles allowed. It's hmm. a travesty. I know, and I I eat a lot of edibles because they really they're funny. They're super funny. They really yeah, fuck me up. They're great. Um, I, no edibles, but you can get drinks. We drinks and those taste like shit. You have a hundred and thirty gram limit per visit, which is fine, you know, like okay, 130 grams. But the problem is they have equivalency, like like uh like there's like a, a like I buy hash, a three and a half of hash, and it has the equivalency of 18 grams of marijuana. So when I'm buying like a whole bunch of hashes, uh-huh. that fills up to the 130 really quickly, especially because the drinks, they market per millimeter, unlike uh, like like what's actually in it. Like if yeah. you were going over the border and you had like 10 grams of weed and you got caught going over the border with 10 grams of weed, they'd be like, ah, 10 grams, you're arrested. But if you took 10 grams of weed and cooked it into like two pounds of brownies and go over the border, they're like, ah, two pounds of weed. You're arrested. <laughs> like, ridiculous. and they applied that like in the reverse to like getting it. So when I went in, I had to like split the purchases in two. I asked the guy, I was like, so if I like, is this per day? And he was like, no, per visit. And I was like, so if I pay and I leave and come back, I could buy this. He's like, sounds like another visit to me. Why do we have to make things? Like, or you can give like me a hundred cash and I'll buy it, and this is my first visit of the day, and then I'll loan it to you. But bring it back tomorrow. It's because there was like some policy made by a 79-year-old who had no idea what they were doing. Everybody's like, like some, old, some old fucking idiot. Some dumbass that doesn't some even fucking... blaze like Woody and us. I'm like, I'm like fucking World War II vet idiot. <laughs> Colorado, get it. Colorado has like the has some kind of a recreational limit. I don't remember what it was, like what you could buy at a time, but it was like half an ounce or something like that, maybe. And I just remember us being like at the store and me being like, all right, half an ounce for me and half an ounce for her, and I'm paying for it all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just bring a friend I, with oh you. Oh, no, she has the same exact taste as me in every item. Yeah, yep. <laughs> double it up. <laughs> my so dog gets can... high. <laughs> my, dog, my dog has glaucoma. <laughs> 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 Look at him. Look at this video of him running into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> You, come on, don't do that. If you've been if you've been smoking a lot and like you build up your tolerance from what I heard, at least from my experience and the explanation that I heard is uh, you like, you know, can smoke tons of weed or hash, whatever. I like smoke hash. Um, and then you try edibles, you're ingesting it in a different way. So it's a whole yeah. new tolerance yeah. mechanism because it it's different. So, um, oh, I didn't know that. I found this whole thing that, like, like, yeah, edibles could fuck me up, but I got this new thing I like doing. Woody, you should totally try it. Uh, is I call it getting scared. Bad advice and, incoming. And I, yeah, yeah. Totally. I, know, I know exactly what you're going to say 100%. Okay, and if you're listening to this and you don't feel like getting scared because it sounds like bad advice, you're a bitch. Okay, because I do it, <laughs> and, I, and honestly, I could be a bitch sometimes over things. But you know what? You got to just find the right time to get scared. Uh, and what you do is, and the whole thing is literally about being a bitch. By the way, um, mm-hmm. is I got this like tootsie roll for example when I was in LA, and it's like broken into six pieces, and they're like one piece will fuck you up, and everyone like this is the craziest edible. So I ate the whole Tootsie Roll. <laughs> so it was like six times. Literally, it was like 300 milligrams. Um, and people take like five milligrams and they're like, I'm high. 
or yeah. like someone like oh i'm doing 30 milligrams i'm gonna get fucked up or like 50 milligrams you know yeah um Not so i'm doing 300 yeah i would just take okay. the whole thing and i would be so fucked up and i'm like so i'm like in la and i'm like walking to this movie with this this buddy of mine this guy eric and he's got like long hair i met him online actually uh, which sounds crazy but i met you fuckers online that's too, how we met it's yeah. like yeah <laughs> so it's his name online was meth syndicate <laughs> and so i met him and he makes t-shirts and stuff and we were hanging out we hung out a bunch of times but we went and i'm like yo we got to get scared you know i got to eat all this so i ate this whole tootsie <laughs> roll we're walking in la and the sun's getting hotter and hotter and then i get this stress like i got to get to the movie theater because at this like it's in hollywood so the movie theater like if you're if the movie's at 3 p.m and you come in at 305 they don't let you in and the idea of taking all these edibles now and being so high and not being allowed to get in I'm yeah. like scared. So I'm like already like, we got to rush. We got to get there. We're rushing to the movie. The sun's getting hotter. I'm feeling it all. I'm starting to panic a little bit, you know? <laughs> and I turn the corner and a friend of mine that I haven't seen since like, like literally the 11th grade, like when we graduated mm -hmm. is there. And he's like, yo, Harley. And I look and he's like at the table with this, like, like 65 year old woman. Oh, who instantly okay. at a stoned glance is like hot enough that and or, or like she looked rich enough but not hot. it was a combination where i'm like is she paying my friend to be on this date <laughs> like yeah maybe he's paid to be here and he's like Yo, you didn't what assume up? it was her mom his mom and I, no i know him very well from oh, high okay. school and i'm like and he we live in montreal also so i'm seeing mm -hmm. him in la and like okay. you know and I see him and he's there and I'm like tripping and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I can't talk to you now. I got to get to the movie and they're not going to let me in. I'm and he's like, yeah, man, no. <laughs> go, 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 whatever the hell you're saying. And I like stumble off. We get into the theater. We sit down right away and I'm just like, yo, like you get that vibe where you're like, no, I can relax a little bit, you know? And like, yeah. we're waiting for the movie to start and I'm kind of like, I'm like, uh, like, I'm like <laughs> I, I, it's like, I'm not getting, I didn't get a drink. <laughs> but I'm too scared to go outside to people and we didn't get a drink. And I said to my buddy, I was like, can you get me a water? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you just a water. I'm like, yeah, because he was going anyways. So he went, he got a water. He comes back. He gives it to me. It is like in this really fucking weird bottle. You know, I'm like, okay. I asked for a water. I open it up and I take a sip. I have no idea what the fuck it was, but it was not water. <laughs> it tasted weird and i'm like looking it up I'm, and the bottle looks like a vinegar bottle or something and it's like not hitting like water and i'm like <laughs> trying to drink it and i'm like it's not vibing with me there's i'm like worried about it and i'm trying to mm -hmm. look at the label when it's light in the movie but we're at a particularly dark movie i'm never getting the chance <laughs> and i look over at the meth syndicate and i'm looking at him and he's got like his long hair and he looks at me like and I'm like, I don't fucking know this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just brought me, me a bottle of vinegar? vinegar? Literally, Jesus. literally. That's what, that like, explains I'm the hair. Hi, and this guy, like, what is it? A prank or like, yo, man, is you just like drink a, a pint, pint of vinegar? vinegar? That's so badass. Literally, like, I'm tripping out. Maybe what I have no it? idea. And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, this guy's fucked up, dude. I can't believe he would fucking do this to me. And like, I, I like, what was it? What were you drinking? The movie ended. It was the movie theater's brand of water. It was just. Okay. Their brand, special <laughs> brand, totally it was water. I was a stone fucking moron. <laughs> and like, no, I was okay. like, bro, I thought you poisoned me. He's like, we talked about. I'm like, I was so scared in the movie that you gave me Dude. something fucking weird. He was why, like, no, why, do you, why would I do that? I was like, you, you wouldn't. Why are you, you recommending this experience to people? It, he calls you getting scared. I swear, start to I, exactly. I love it. You come out of that shit. Like it's the same thing like going skydiving. Way Band of brothers. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, literally, I went in there and I'm like, I'm dying, man. I'm like, this is fucked. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to talk to people. I got scared once to a movie theater. And I told my buddies, I was like, yo, you got to babysit me because I'm getting scared before this movie. And we got there and like there was like 10, 13 year olds and they were like, sauce boss. And I'm like, <laughs> and my buddies are like, yeah, it's just so much. And they're like pushing me into these kids. I'm like, oh, oh. and I'm like tripping, hearts beating so fast. <laughs> Going to Walmart or something, I get scared before, and I like give them yeah. like my my card, and she's like, this isn't the right card. So she, she's saying it to me in French. I'm tripping. I don't know. I love it. Like complete power. Uh, this is why, like, I assume like some like super CEO dudes maybe want to get like like lose their power sexually and get like. 
fucked or pegged or something like that. This is my version of getting pegged. Is it I get pegged effect? by edibles. It's just like fucked up. I'm scared. And I'm telling you, Woody, you got to try it out. I, I, I got the <laughs> ultimate though. Like, like, but in the moment, if, you're scared. What if it's you like, did it's like a roller coaster where afterward you're looking back going, I'm glad I did that. But in the it's moment, you're coaster. panicking, right? It's, oh, you're type it's too fun. It's type too fun where it's not fun to live through. It's fun to re recollect. Just eat half Is that the what edible. that's called? Type too fun? Yeah, I've just discovered this concept. There's type one fun. Sometimes it's deep. Sometimes it's real surface, like a roller coaster. It's fun in the moment. It's fun right now. Yes. But is it really emotionally enriching? It's type one fun. Sometimes How it about? is. Sometimes. Type two fun is that time you got a flat tire stuck in the rain, you and your girl. You hated it at the moment, but you look back and you're like, that situation was so fucked. And it, it's it's a fond memory, even if it wasn't a fond experience. Now, the, the difference is you, you usually you're born with type one fun. If you have too much fun, you can develop type two fun. And then you have to cut back on fun. I don't know what mm. you're talking about. It's like diabetes. Okay. <laughs> and then type three fun is just never fun. What if you get scared and you do something that's actually scary though? Like, like, like what you'll if you'll be double up? You'll be scared. What if I scared? scared? Okay, yeah. What, I what if I take a hundred milligrams with zero tolerance <laughs> and then I go skydiving? That's to me would never. I would never do that. You'll die. You'll actually just die. I don't recommend that. Part of being scared is you are doing non-scary activity. Like I'm going to a movie and sitting in the dark in the corner. I couldn't even get the water bottle myself. You got to have a chaperone or something like that. Like you can't like going mm -hmm. skydiving, bro, do it. That, I would love to hear about we're, it. <laughs> we're, we're talking about going skydiving in Denver. So it's like, yeah, for sure. Take 150 milligrams and try to stay awake on the way up. You're like, they'll wake you up. They'll be like, it's your turn. You'll be like, okay. yeah, we're, we're I, I'm, I'm, I was thinking, I've been looking at like all the like random niche things to do in Denver while you're there. Like um, mm -hmm. I found this place that teaches you sword combat. Um, so it's like, That's fun. It's like you guys want to learn how to, how to fight with broadswords while we're high as fuck. And the instructor's totally going to be some fake ninja <laughs> who wants to take it seriously. Center your, center your chi. Center that's your it. chi. Yo, that's it. I'm coming. Me. Now we're filming a show together. I'm coming. It's just be doing things <laughs> way too high. And we'll make it a point being like, it's not like doing a lot or how like we are on literally 300 milligrams. We can't even lift these swords and we are learning right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I found a place that does um, archery uh, where you they've got like these bows that have like soft tips and you shoot each other with them. You have, it's like paintball, but with bows. Um, uh, I was looking at hot air ballooning. Just um, imagining people, grown men running around at like 300 milligrams. Like Legolas. Like yeah, just running around trying to be people, just trying to exist. It's um, so hot, horseback hot riding. Balloon, hot air ballooning doesn't sound like fun to me. It, uh, it doesn't, and it's crazy expensive. It's like two hundred fifty dollars a person. Horseback and riding what, doesn't seem like fun either. Have you guys ever done mushrooms? Yeah, I had a real bad experience. Not there. Um, I'm gonna, gonna do them. I'm down to do them again in Colorado. I'm down to do just about anything. Why uh, was it a bad experience? Uh, the people I, I've told around the story you. before, but essentially. Um, I went out in public on them. Oh yeah, and, you uh, drove. You drove the car with that yeah. with your girlfriend. Yeah, and you almost got arrested. Yeah, yeah. So bad yeah, experience. Yeah, that is bad. No, you should not. You should stay home. Do it and stay, stay home. home or, stay home. Or go in like the woods or something or something like that. Yeah, or play with like fire or something. I, I did it. I, I, I played myself. that. I played Mass Effect. Like I took some mushrooms and I put on Mass Effect and I went to like the squad select screen to like choose like 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 points where attributes will go and like i have a big tv and this like super 4k detailed alien face this guy thane if you know who thane is he looks like uh he looks like a, a fish dude but thane is like just badass looking and he's huge and he's sitting there and he's like like blinking and like oh, he's looking terrifying. around he's, and terrifying. Yeah, he, he's just existing and he's like he's like he just exists and i'm like this guy right here is like a real thing to me and i'm just staring at him to the point that i actually had to just like get a t-shirt made of this moment of my trip like i actually tripped to the point where i was like this needs to be memorial but here it is this is literally me recording the screen and it was just this yeah, exactly. And here he is. You see him standing <laughs> there? Like when he's moving. It's like <laughs> <scary. laughs> and it's huge on the screen. And I'm like staring at him. I'm like, bro. 
Oh. He's blinking. <laughs> it's just fuck. And then I'm thinking, like, in the fictional world, this guy, like, he, this is his species or whatever. And then you start thinking, the developer, like, thought this up. Someone wrote this. And then another guy drew it. And then another guy made it in 3D. And I'm standing, like, in front of my TV, like, just staring at it. I literally <laughs> got a T-shirt. I got a T-shirt with Thane on it, like, two days later. I was like, yo, this is my boy, man. <laughs> For, like, 40 minutes, me and this guy connected. We connected. Yeah. Yeah, but see, that was like safe space, staring at your TV at home alone. No, like I did it in the in shit. the danger zone. Yeah, you and went to like friendlies or something, or like where did yeah, you go? Yeah, I went to Walmart and passed out, and then I went to a barbecue <laughs> restaurant. Um, it, it was a goddamn fucking nightmare. It's one of the worst experiences of my move. entire life, and I've had some. Uh, but but I think it's decriminalized. Psilocybin, I think, is decriminalized in Denver or maybe Colorado is uh, on the whole. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Uh, and so, like... Oh, yeah, what do you got to do acid now? That's what we're talking about, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, would do, I would try acid for sure. Um, I would try just about anything. I don't want to do meth because I don't like... Um, like, like Yeah, that's stimulus. a bad idea. Some are good. I'm Listen, I'm not going to put... I'll, I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, hey, eat 500 milligrams. <laughs> it gets scared. Yeah, don't get scared by doing meth, though. Don't touch yeah, meth. I, I, I bet that's a genuine drugs. scared experience, though. <laughs> No, I, I I just don't think it would be enjoyable because like I've done Adderall and I like like that's I think like the whole other thing like I want to do busy work like I don't want to do a drug that makes me productive <laughs> I want the opposite of that yeah meth? caffeine's more than enough for meth that. yeah I don't want to meth right. I don't know I um, imagine all the drugs feel good oh like um, if meth feels good feel they feel great, good in different ways though addicted to it, it. like 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 it's this sort of energetic like like motivated to do stuff kind of scatterbrained kind of kind of high. Whereas, well, like, weed is just like relaxed and fucking. People oh, always said that. Uh, yeah, I have a, a friend, unfortunately, an old buddy of mine, and he had smoked meth, and I was like, "What's that like?" And he was like, "Like, I was like, what's it? What's it like? Smell like? Taste like?" And he was like, new, "You know, when you get a new car, the smell of a new car." I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "That's what it tastes like," and I was like, "That's the scariest description to me. That ensures I will never. I was already never going to ever." But I love that smell. Mm -hmm. I know, but do you want to drink it? No, <laughs> I kind of do. I mean, just a little of it. It's like chemically. No, <laughs> it does. It smells very chemical to me. It smells like mm, yeah, I smell like so new car on the inside now. What is that well, smell? He, he it's glue, it plastic. Let it glue. glue. He okay. told me that he got that uh, that that. Uh, uh, that like he would do meth and like clean his house. And uh, I remember like my friends would, yeah. you know, take Vivance or Adderall and like they would so be where like, could yes, I get Jackie clean my house. No, you could just get, Adder Adder get, get her like Adderall, Adderall or <laughs> Vivance. That's the same thing. That's literally what it is. Like, just that's it. Like, it, that, ah, your it's a cheap imitation of meth, is what it she's is. Gotta it, it the, she's got to do it. She's got to do it. Big house. She's got a lot of cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> she tried trying to pick them up and snort them. More, more. <laughs> you get mad at her. Stop picking at your face and clean the counters. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucking love that Harley's in my old room. I'm looking at it like that clock behind him. I spent yeah. hours shopping for a completely yeah, silent clock that wouldn't interrupt it. Like, because I had one that ticked and I could hear it just faintly in my videos. The picture what? underneath that, I'm pretty sure that's Kyle Joe Lozon and I in Chicago on in like one of the world's tallest buildings. Well, that yeah. um, <laughs> that vertically oriented one next to the television is uh, it's like melted crayon art that I think either one of my kids made when I was working super hard on the doorknob. There is a do not disturb button so I could sleep in. And there's a fly swatter, I think, hanging from the doorknob. And yeah. look at this. Look at this Photoshop and, job, by and, the way. And, look at, and like, <laughs> you're, you're, in, you're in those you're stairs, by it. the way. That's and he had wired that a... TV into the wall in like a wild kind of way. Like, like I looked in there behind that TV in the like crawl space. And it's, it's, it's pretty cool how he had like stuck that TV in the wall. Yeah, so the TV's the room's very small. So when it, even when a TV sticks out like that eight inches, it it takes some room, and the door wouldn't. So anyway, I embedded the TV into the wall and built like a I don't know like a little indentation, and then underneath it, you blocked it out with white, but it had like a whatever DVD and Xbox and PlayStation underneath that, also built into the wall. Behind that TV is the attic steps that lead up to the attic. So underneath the steps is where I stored the Xbox and the PlayStation. You could open two doors and get access to them to do Under all the Under the wiring. stairs? Yeah. Yeah. Like, so basically you'd, the stairwells had like a trap door that you could open and then get to the, uh, get to the wiring. PlayStation and the wiring and stuff. But it was strong enough to walk on. So, yeah, I did a whole thing where I like built that room out so I could get work done. 
I and love that extra bunk effort bed. for the TV. Your, the bunk bed that you had above your desk. A long bed, thing. yeah. It's so reminiscent of those Chinese work factories that have been <laughs> to prevent suicides. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What he's got I that didn't, outside his own work window. <laughs> I didn't like the, so it was a loft bed, but I didn't like having um, like legs that went all the way to the ground. So it's in the corner of the room on two walls. It's supported. Then there's a chain that linked to the ceiling that held the like ah. suspended joint so that you did, it wasn't like in the way when you worked underneath it. I, uh, yeah, I did that room upright. You did. I'm sure whoever bought it is like, what the fuck is this unusable room? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the yeah. sex room. Not very practical, though. <laughs> you get to fuck up here on these scary joints. This is the room we believe they kept a man prisoner. This is the original. Yeah. This is the original. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. That's why I took, so I took out of it. There's a man who works 80 hours a week right there. Maybe so <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he looks so blown out. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh, poor, man. Man. It's so long. I thought it was. I, it was this one, and he I. Looks I, so, I, I he looks so I much happier you. now than that guy. <laughs> like, oh, I, I, you know what this looks like from this, from this right now, uh, from this then to you now. You literally look like Steve Carell in the Office from season one, and then like <laughs> the last season. <laughs> I'm looking at like that's me earning the money. This is me spending the money. That's the difference. I was great. like, if, if this you could talk to that you, he goes, keep it up. <laughs> Don't Jackie you get in that fucking fat, joint bed? Jackie just feeds me exclusively with flat foods under the under the door. <laughs> like yeah. here's some pop tarts, some pizza. So I'm, tired of, <laughs> I'm tired of living on non bread. <laughs> Couldn't never get tired of non bread. That's great. Uh, well, I, uh, oh Harley. I yeah. want to hear about your Invisalign. First of all, why did you get it? I never noticed your teeth being imperfect in any way. Um, well, I do have a lot of hair that covers my mouth, anyways. So it's like mm -hmm. not you wouldn't you wouldn't even see it. Like my teeth didn't. That's like what everyone says. They're like, we don't even see your teeth, bro. Um, <laughs> I went. Was, I I like just kind of. I, I my first thought, and I'm so happy I didn't do this. My first thought was, uh, I'm gonna get like fake teeth. Like, I'm going to get big ass fucking chunky white <laughs> Steve Harvey teeth. And people are like, why? And I'm like, it's going to be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I was like, I promise you my face. Everything will be funnier when I have big white teeth like Steve Harvey. That's my, that's my I, I went to an orthodontist. He was like, hey, you're a fucking idiot, by the way. And I was like, I know. I know. I went there on 300 milligrams. <laughs> you know, I was you, like, you should, uh, big white teeth. You should, talk, <laughs> you should talk to the fencing company that did boogies. <laughs> that did what? <laughs> yeah, that's oh. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, fucking, okay. fucking slapped another coat of lacquer on that bad boy. <laughs> See, you have to, but, you hey, have to trick the dentist into painting him white and then let him. I'm a bad person by association just because I know you do. <laughs> that's what I want. I wanted that though. I have fake teeth. It's, fine. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. book. It's, it's yeah. okay, Woody. Book is okay, never going to so see this. I, they, don't I, have, they don't have YouTube in prison. All right, like he's not gonna see oh, this. That's shit. right, he's in like, legal problem. Yeah, yeah, he got a legal problem it, because of, because of the the gun incident. Oh yeah, I you know, I, I still think Boogie that. was morally right, even if he wasn't. I think he was right. morally right too. You know, you get yeah, everything up to shooting it in the air though. Yeah, that's why rule one we've said before. Like when you're even in those carry classes, like they they explicitly say don't fire warning shots. Don't don't do that. That's a yeah. movie thing. That's I'm kind of glad he didn't shoot the guy. He might have even bigger problems. Yeah, would have been what better. What he should have done is not open the door. He should have just been very boring. You know, don't reply. The police mm -hmm. come. Yeah, that, that would have been the move. Well, yeah. I would have been furious. I would have been definitely been furious. Like, we were just talking about it before, like, with you and, you know, when I thought oh, the doxing. Yeah, for. I mean, you know, yeah, the, guy like, showed up, the guy showed up and he started exercising hassle doctrine. And, and like, you've got two options at that point, in my opinion. Either one, you do what I think all of us would do. And you're just like, stay inside. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm going to stay inside and call the police now because it's happened again. Or you put on your tutu, slap on some red lipstick, and you rush him. You rush him and pretend like the sissy hypno worked. And you just fucking start <laughs> making out with him right there. You tackle him to the ground like, like he's your lost yeah. fucking love. Yeah, that's the that's the only way to beat stuff like that. You have to agree and amplify. You walk out in a gimp suit with your penis hanging out and you say, come on. Do you fuck his ass? When do you stop? How no, you're the, you, you're the sissy. You're grinding your, 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 <laughs> no, you're grinding you know, your ass into the his The idea crotch. of me doing that is so ugly <laughs> in my heart. Yeah. 
That's so ugly. You're on so top. Weird. You're on top of him, and you look like when a dog scratching its asshole on a rug. Oh my god! Think <laughs> about him. me doing that to Boogie. Just think about that. Me and Boogie rolling around on the grass, both in gym suits. God, I love that. Picture. Big fake team. Uh, as if I don't think about that all the time. <laughs> yes. No, so I want you in like assless those pajamas that have the little button down thing in the back, mm. like a like a, like oh, a pajama yes. onesie. Oh, a pajama be. onesie. Those are the so like, you'd be like yeah, like an old man with like the stove and the fire burning yeah. fireplace. Yeah. yeah. For like, some like, reason, like, he needs to shit. Robert, urgently. Robert Duvall would wear in a western. <laughs> I genuinely want to know why Harley got Invisalign. Oh, yeah. So of... um, I got. Uh, I had this thing. It's so funny. I used to call it ghost teeth. Like my teeth were. Uh, hmm. Like, uh, let me make me bigger. My teeth were like. Zach, can you full screen Harley? I could do it. I could do it also. I can make me bigger for everyone. Hey, man, what's up, guys? Welcome <laughs> to uh, PKA. Uh, so they were like, this is it, by the way, in there. I wish it was. You see like these yeah, like, yeah. nubs on the Oh, teeth? yeah, you, you can see it there. Sure, sure. It like hooks onto that, uh, and you have to keep them on 22 hours a day. But you can't really see my teeth now. Uh, but like they were like, I thought that they were very um, – What's the word? I called them ghost teeth because they were like almost translucent. Really? They were almost translucent, like they were like, really like they thinning? looked like like I want to say like, yeah, they were like thinning or they were like gray looking, like blue. Like mm. I called them ghost teeth because they just looked yeah. like a haunted ghost's mouth. Oh. And I went to the guy and I was like, yeah, I got ghost teeth, and uh, he was like, yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> but I was like, I want uh, like to uh, like I was looking into that getting like veneers or something. I just wanted to just have a better mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. My mouth here is like square. Uh, okay. it, it's like smaller here, more narrow uh, on the bottom. And if you see my overbite, you can't see because there's an, I'm getting an extra little bit of piece here because my, my Invisalign is in. So it's actually making it uh, have look, have more space. So my overbite, you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do have a bit of an overbite. Yeah. It's like an, a 90% functional overbite, whatever, nothing important though, not worth like rushing to change or anything. But if you just want to, it was something that I thought about doing. And I thought I have all these fillings. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Damn, a lot of cabbage. Um, yeah, I used to be scared of the dentist. Like I literally, like I went to go see a dentist specialist because I didn't like the dentist. And he was like, yeah, he's like grabbed my arms and he's like, put your arms here. And don't move them while I work. And like, I was like, didn't like the drill and like it nicked me and like I started to bleed and I like spat the blood on him and kicked him. I was like eight years old, but like 5'10". So I don't yeah. think, <laughs> I'll beat the shit out of my dentist right now. Uh, <laughs> and so I just was like, I just was bad with my teeth and um, I got all these cavities. I was like, you know what? I should just get like a white mouth It'll be like Steve Harvey. It'll be mm -hmm. hilarious. And he was like, no, he's like, he's like, even if you did do that, he's like, yeah, he's like, you can get on a plane and go to Turkey and they'll fuck your mouth up and put the, the veneers. And he's like, but what you want, like, if you got like braces, then did it, it would be infinitely better. Cause like your foundation, you don't want to like get veneers on how your mouth is set up now. And he's like, and the job that they're going to do, he's like, you're going to have to go and see them again in like 15 years at least or something like that. I mean, that's not uh, uncommon for veneers. Like you have to get those touched up every 10, 15. Yeah, years. He, yeah, he exactly. So, and he was like, it'll be expensive. And you know, it's just the thing. He's like, get braces. Cause you, I recommend you do that anyways. And then he's like, and then you could see from there. Um, so I looked and I, uh, I, um, because of like, I just do stuff on camera. Like, uh, they'll either give you braces or Invisalign. You pay the same price, but like you just, if you are, you don't just like get to kind of like, like they, they will give you Invisalign instead for the same price of the braces. Um, and uh, yeah, so I did that. I've been doing it for three months. Uh, I, I by default eat less now because I have to take them out and brush your teeth every time you keep them in for 22 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm weird. I like, I get like, I'll get like high or something and like, feel them in my mouth and be like, I'm so happy that every single tooth is being squeezed so hard right now. It's mm -hmm. very hard to explain, but like, I like some shit like that in my life. Sometimes like when I used to get a mosquito bite, I would like take my fingernail and push it hard on my mosquito bite and be like, ow, mm -hmm. ow. 
Or like if I had a scab, I'd push my thumb on it and be like, that hurts. It's like or when you have like a sore like, tooth. Ow. Like when you have a sore yeah. tooth as a kid and you're like, I wonder if it still hurts. Ah! Yeah. It's yeah. Like- <laughs> exactly like that. Except, except I'm an adult, but yeah. <laughs> when like, I did shit like Brazilian that. jiu-jitsu, I had a mouth guard that um, you'd get it, like you'd put it in boiling water and then it would mold to your teeth. Mm-hmm. And uh, I felt good with it on. Like like anytime it, and a thing got bumped, it got distributed across like your whole upper jaw and and it was better. With the braces, I have a similar type thing. I'm like, I bet if I got into a motorcycle accident right now, this would help a little, you know? Wouldn't be that tooth on tooth bite or smack and it'd be distributed, the load. It feels good to have a little bit of tooth protection in all the time. When I was going to get my teeth fixed, this is years ago now, they told me I would have to go traditional braces because Invisalign wouldn't be enough to fix what my problem was because I, I didn't have a crossbite or an overbite. It was a direct on top of one another bite, which is apparently like the worst thing for your teeth's aging and so they were like yeah you can either uh get traditional braces which will be a little cheaper and you'll have them on for about two years and i was like what's the other option what's the other option because it's like and i even told them i'm like all all my jobs have to do with talking and i just i didn't tell them about the podcast and i'm like i don't know if i can handle that level of bullying like <laughs> then just, just just being mocked ruthlessly as a the adult with bra- oh that would have been brutal i even with this in my mouth sometimes i'll say something and it'll be like uh, like a like a fart noise comes up, <laughs> and that in the middle of a sentence is just right away you stop talking. You're like, yeah, I know, I know, I'm a fucking. You know, idiot. like I hate to keep picking on Boogie, but like, no, I don't. But like, um, <laughs> I noticed when he came back after he got his teeth done, like that, like he had a speech impediment now, and it's like did he? He needed to get him shaved. Oh, he did. What he did? He? You didn't know. I think I forgot as you were saying. It's like. Hey guys, it's nice to be back on PKA. I, <laughs> I always right enjoy now. doing this. <laughs> had he had him for a while? Fuck going fuck a pass. Super <laughs> big. So here's the thing. I I have a when I wear my braces, sometimes I do a little thing. Like I might get an S wrong, or because like the it's hard to describe, but there's there's something capped on your rear teeth, and your tongue, which normally fits nicely between your two teeth, is now smushed. So it just gets interfered with as you go to use it every once in a while. And part of the problem is it's different every week. Every mm-hmm. week you have a slightly different set of teeth. So you don't just adjust to it like you would maybe. Fair know, enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's just way, 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 way too fucking big. I mean, I got after, the, I got, after I got, I got, I got mine, I uh because mine aren't veneers, there's like a epoxy, like some sort of dental epoxy that just built my teeth. And I went oh, home. I have that. Yeah, I went home that that evening and talked to my, I guess my now wife and was like, you know, oh, is this, o- is this yeah. okay? Like, <laughs> and, and she was like, it looks good. Don't even notice. And I walk in the bathroom and I'm like, liar. <laughs> and then like, I, I literally the next day drove to the dentist and was like, I don't have an appointment. I was just here. Dropped a lot of money for these teeth. I need you to shave these down. Like, please, I have, I have my show tonight. <laughs> please, <shave laughs> the, and so they went, he went there and like with a little Dremel and he like cut off like half a centimeter of all the teeth and made it look more normal. And I half bet a centimeter is a lot. I, I'm being hyperbolic. I'm sure it, yeah. it feels like that in your mouth. Like, it, it feels like three feet of difference in your mouth with your tongue. Like, and then you look at it and it's like an infinitesimally small amount removed. But basically that's what Boogie needs to do. Go back, be like, I want you to shape these a little more, take off. Cause what I, what I knew is like the back part of it they left that like super chunky almost where like my tongue wasn't feeling like it was fitting in my mouth correctly. And I'm like, I want you to like thin out the back of my yeah. front upper teeth so that it feels normal and I can speak clearly. Yeah. And they did. It, and he did. How dare they not that. come out of the gate doing that? That's a kind of fucked up. There's laziness. Like, and like, yeah, that I, is yeah. for sure. Like, yeah, I don't think like it was that, laziness like, or just like a craftsman. I, I think I he, know. I think basically he was like, that's good enough. And when, because like the yeah, way dental I offices, agree. the way dental offices make their money is it's like a mechanic. The amount of turn you get in that chair or that bay is how right. much money you make that day. Uh, so like once they're like good enough, it's like, all right, boom, out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, I think, I, uh, I think I, he's I, ready. If he's like, if he asks, sure. If he doesn't ask, fuck mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Dude, Kyle, my no. is the, oh, the huge deposit. I know I've talked about this before. The, you know, there's emotion bank account. I, I chip my tooth. Uh, I bit a I bit a fork because I'm stupid and I chipped my tooth and and it was one of the front it was both of the front two one a tiny bit one a little more and while it was small dude if you have messed up front top teeth nothing small and I was like I have a show it was either like tonight or tomorrow I I need you bro and uh, he does like Miss America's teeth and stuff like he's very good and uh, he's like yep I get it come on in and uh, he made room for me and they looked perfect they, you couldn't tell it happened and i'm happy 
But yeah. the, the fact that he took care of it on the spot instead of like rescheduling me for two weeks, that made a big deal. I, I met uh, when I was in Arkansas, I met uh, what he actually um, I hit him up. I was like, oh, I'm in Arkansas. We should just meet in person because I don't know, we're on YouTube. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Um, and he was like, yeah, for sure. Uh, and uh, he was like, yeah, we'll grab something to eat. And I'm like, sick. I'm like, I'm fucking going to eat with fucking Woody in Arkansas. And this was like pre uh, like this, the operations he got and stuff. So I'm like, we're gonna fuck it up, you know, like big boy shit. Like we're <laughs> fucking, we're both over 300 pounds. Let's get it, you know. And then, uh, <laughs> like he, like yeah, he's like, here's the address. I'm like, cool. And like I pull up, and it's a sushi place. And I'm just like, oh, bro, I do not want to eat sushi in Arkansas. Like it's not the thing. Like I didn't want. Like I thought oh, this we were is just, Boogie you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Boogie. Yeah, we met. We I met think you in, said Woody. Kyle oh, you muted. Did. Did you think you had forgotten the time you had sushi? No, I was going <laughs> along with it this whole time. I was like, Boogie, I don't know where this Boogie. bit's going. I might have said Woody. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, when I met Boogie. Was, oh, you know, I was nah, like, man, I I'll this, grab sushi with you in Arkansas. If I was you like, want, whatever this story is, somewhere better. I'm co-signing it. I don't care. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's true. We did. It. It's like my murder alibi or something. I'm like, I need you, bro. Just yeah. You're like, this is before the surgery. Arkansas. We're both over 300. I'm like, all right, all right. So in this like, version I was, of the story, I was, I used I was to so lost. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Woody's never been 300 pounds. Well, <laughs> I'm, and I'm like, what uh, my surgery bad. did Woody have my that bad. I don't know about? No, <laughs> like, I, I met Woody. I met Woody. Uh, when did we meet? What was the first time? The first time I think was in Vermont. Uh, was it Vermont? Epic shoot, and uh, I was with Kyle, and yeah. Okay, was that? The and first you thought I hated you? What's you that? did for sure. You did. <laughs> that was not one hundred percent. We all knew it. You hated Dude, all of us. I, you hated all of us. No. I actually, the only thing that made me change my mind about that was I happened to catch like an old Freddie Wong episode of this show that I had never seen before, and I left it on. And you were like, uh, it was like the episode that like no one got the satire of it. It was the first time where we pushed how far can we satire with Epic Meal Time, and we did the drunken mess, and uh, we got a lot of hate on that episode because it was like I was like full satire, one hundred percent, like not it was not doctored at all after, mm -hmm. and it it like did not hit the mark on YouTube. And you and Freddie were like, yeah, and the way you were talking about it, I was like, oh shit, maybe what he did like us back then. Well, I'm I like, well, then like he's it. just, you know what? Fuck him. He's weird, bro. Why was he acting like that? <laughs> that might be true. No, I, the, the vibe that I had around you, like, you were doing a shoot. You had to, you were like buying groceries and you had like a lot of, of stuff to do and your camera work. Like, I forget it was doing the camera work, but he knew what he was doing. And I was trying to like be supportive and stay out of the way at the same time. And I took what you were doing very seriously because it's a big oh. business, you know, whether. Yeah, but I went and filmed with Kyle. We practically had sex with girls on his kitchen floor while filming. So I feel like stuff I was very relaxed. respectful Hi. around. <laughs> at the same time, Hi, there's bro. levels to it, right? Like, like, like it is Next this like girls. silly thing at the heart of it but but then then again it's like there's a lot of money at stake here and like like this is this week's like paycheck and everything and this is like the continuation of like the the thing you know you can't just go a week without a video really and, and keep things keep the ball rolling hmm. so we like those I, I went through like old laptops the other day because i'm like i'm like oh, i'm gonna need to make sure i've got a good laptop for when, for when i go on this trip to colorado in three months uh i was trying to figure out if i need to buy one and then i was gonna start shopping because it was prime day or if um you know, one of my older laptops that I haven't used in a bit is is going to work because all I needed to do was do this. Yeah. But anyway, um, I was going through those hard drives and I found all of the pictures from that night. I found all of the pictures from that oh. night where we filmed that shit at my house oh, with those no. crazy bitches. There's like a chick wearing a Russian flag and nothing oh, else. Oh my God, everything. Dude, is so I have never gotten chick. this answer. I, I if People know during that night, there was a party going on and it was clear like the guys and girls were all uh, starting to hang out and stuff. So I excused myself and went to the bedroom. It was not an appropriate place for me to be with those girls. And also I'm like 40 something and married. I'm a wet mm -hmm. blanket. So the, you know, <laughs> that, it's my impression that the guys don't want me like what watching them. Cramping party. their style. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You know, this, so, so I got out of the way. I heard a girl make obvious orgasm noises coming from that main room and i 
no one has ever seemed to recollect that incident. No, nah, they're just having that a good time. Had to be, there. That had to be maybe with Kyle because I definitely gave nobody any pleasure. There. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, didn't know no. she, she was. Was it like faking? Was it like a Harry Met yeah. Sally type yeah. thing happening? Yeah, Muscle I, I, Glasses I, was doing a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> good impressionist. Yeah, I mean. Um, the only sex I had was with the girl that I brought that night. Um, but but um, we, um, I think after you left, we went and did some sort of a bikini photo shoot for her Instagram or something in the snow where she's wearing like nothing but a bikini and snow boots. And then we all went upstairs and uh, I think um, I think Muscle's glasses may have vomited on a girl. Um, so that kind of like shut down their uh, their sexy time. Yeah. And then. We'll um um, Harley's it? other lady friend, the, the the blonde lady, and I were in a bedroom, and she uh, she crushed some pills up on the nightstand and offered them to me, and that really turned me off. No, when in so, Rome. So and like, like, like <laughs> yeah, that's how you get your of, wife to clean the house, by the way. The Adderall that whew, way. She was crushing those <laughs> pills like 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 I like weed, and and she's just like crushing these fucking white pills up on the. Uh, she went to the, the stranger. Nightmare. She went to the neighbors and stuff, like knocking on their door, being like, we, yeah, we, yeah. we sent them to the neighbor's house to knock on the door to look for weed. Cause like, that's the way you get weed, right? Like if me yeah. or you go, Hey, y'all guys got weed. We're like get the fuck out of here. We don't know you. But if like, <laughs> but if, like two hot chicks, they're like 20, 22 years old or whatever show up like, Hey, you guys got any weed. If there was weed there, they would have gotten it. Yeah. They would tempt them with the possibility of pussy and then quickly leave with the weed. Maybe if we exactly. went with us at the time, the year that it was, they maybe would have been like, oh, my God, it's Bacon and Guns from YouTube. Maybe. There's maybe a chance. Like, there's a chance. That was Some our demographic. Some people recognize Bacon and Guns. It Every was our demographic in vagina, there. though. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. But I'd no, be but, like, but yo, no this is like a fucking – I'd be like, this is a plan. She's going to – there's going to be like eight guys that come in here and jump us if we let this person in. Yeah, yeah like it's like was, the middle of nowhere, snowy road, and there's like just like a girl there. I'm like, this looks like a trap. They're setting what a trap right now. With those girls, do you keep in touch with them? I think yeah, they're uh, well. One of them I do. She's a good friend of mine. She was on Bachelor yeah, Canada, not. actually. Is she the on, blonde one? Yeah, she went on Bachelor Canada, and she like she made it pretty far. Um, she's still a friend. She she moved, but we still keep in touch a little here and there. I, I knew she, her from back in the day. So, I hope she fixed that pill problem beautiful. she had. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was so turned. <laughs> I was so weirded out by that and turned off at the same time when she like looks back at me and there's like. Pill crumbs coming out of her nose, <laughs> dude. Single Woody would have saddled that shit up. Gotta suck those crumbs right out of her nose. I was just like, <laughs> just lick under her nose and get going. There are pill crumbs coming out of your <laughs> nostril. I was just like, I just, I just really want some dope. Why is it so hard to find weed in Vermont? Last, uh, <laughs> just before, um, uh, it rem reminded me of like last week. You were talking about the Church of Kyle. And when you were going on it, you were like, yeah, single man status. And then I think uh, Jericho brought up, uh, he was like, yeah, there's web, there's ad billboards uh, for like, like sugar baby sites. Yeah. And you guys were like, yeah, damn. And I was listening and I was like, oh, I need to be there for that segment, which is why I brought it up. Like yeah. I have experience. I've had a profile on that website. How'd it like go? I went, I went there. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so like my ex-girlfriend when we were like like breaking up we were just very friendly she was like oh yeah like check out this site you should like look at it you know and like i went on the site and uh like she like made a profile for me you know and like we like looked at it and like she had a profile and then like never used it and then like five days later i like went back on and like we saw each other on online on the site and then, like, it was, like, fresh. So, we, like, got mad at each other. Like, oh, you're on the site, eh? What, you looking for something? I was like, yeah, I was just trying to see if you were on it. But, what, you think someone's <laughs> going to be on the site? Like, yeah, what the fuck? And, like, we got into a fight. And, like, I stopped using it. Well, I stopped using it. But I, I kept the profile. And I did um, hop on there a whole bunch after the fact. And uh, never, ever met someone or paid someone. But it was really fascinating to me how many people that i knew were on the site like it was very very uh frequent that i would like see a girl that maybe i matched with on tinder would also be mm -hmm. there or match with her on a dating site and then i'd go and like look at the age range and i'd see her there 
Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, oh, it's like looking for dating. Dating's op- like, like it's kind of like I remember this time and it's not quite the same. You guys said it was like uh, kind of like being escorts. It's not quite the same. Some people aren't to having sex on it, whatever. It could be to some people. They could be using it like that. Um, escorts get kicked off the site. But regardless, anyways, um, I just always I went on and I would like see people. And it reminded me of this time when I was in Vegas and I was like at this hotel that I was staying at. And I walked out and there was a girl there and she was like. Like, hey, I'll suck your dick for, you know, 300 bucks. Nice. And I was like, nah, I'm good. And then I was walking and like an hour and a half later, I was at the Bellagio and that same girl was at the Bellagio and she was like, I'll suck your dick for 600 bucks. And I was like, what? what? I just saw you said 300 bucks. And she was like, we're at the Bellagio now. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then I thought about like the girls that like you'd see on Can we go I'd to the hard the- rock real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's let's right pop into how about you give me a hand job at Red Lobster? <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw, like, I'd see them on Tinder and then I'd go over and I'd see like them on seeking uh or what yeah, well, that's probably the site that was that you guys saw the the, the billboard. And I go that's and they'd be there too. And I'd be like, well, isn't this interesting? If I are if I'm to message you on on Tinder. Shit's free tonight. But if I message you here, maybe it's just like pay you to accompany me to dinner or some shit. You know what I mean? But it's like ultimately the same service with a different set of rules right off the bat. And it was fascinating that like almost every single person that I saw, like literally, I can't, I like literally eight out of 10 people on Tinder were also on those websites. But is she and more inclined was to match with you? on the sugar babies one right but like, like I, I maybe be, she I, sees yeah. the same guy in both places and like tinder fuck no oh but this guy would be great if yeah but pays. you don't it, it'd be bold to show your whole face uh as it is it would be bold to like people don't necessarily show everything but like i'd go and see like a tinder picture and then you would see that exact same picture like ass cropped only or something like that or like you know like uh, a, per- a, a particular picture that wasn't really demonstrating which person it was. But you're right. Yeah, listen, you miss your shot on Tinder. You can go slide in on the other one and be like, I have money for this. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like I, you guys were talking about it, and I was like, you know what? I, I should. I wish I was there because I want to say how common it actually is um, and how common it was to just like like literally like people, even like in my hometown, I like – had searched my hometown and like looked at people my age and I was like, wow, I went to school with all these people. Yeah. Now they're out here, you know, I'm just going to pay like, 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 like I I feel like either we're on a date or it's a business transaction, but muddling the two together seems odd to me. It's like, oh yeah, we're on a date that I'm paying for. Well, here's your date with extra steps. Yeah. But you're a young guy. Like, it's not like you're a young, good looking guy. It's not hard for you. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have any purpose on the site as well. Like, but if you are, let's say me and you 20 years older than we are now, and you want to be with a 25 year old, um, you could maybe not come across one in particular, but right here, you could be like, yo, like I have money and I, uh, will buy you things now. Consider, consider me as an option amongst all the young hottie boys you're matching with on Tinder. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I Perhaps, think still as a 55-year-old yeah. man that I'm just like rather like just get an actual prostitute, right? Yeah. Well, I hope I'm just married with kids at that point. Are you still going to be Church of Kyle in 20 years from now? I don't know, sick. man. Probably. Probably. <laughs> like, 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 I just think Taylor's made the biggest mistake of his life, and it's going to – I mean, I, I think five <laughs> years from now, he looks back, and he's just like – What's it? <laughs> What's that? I heard some shit talk. Uh, we were talking about how I heard this song that reminded me of, of you the other day. It's called um, something about um, I put the the right. No, I've heard the, that country song. My friend with a bigger dick than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put the right. Uh, put, the, put the. I put the ring on the right left hand this time. Something like that. It's just, the just right a beautiful love hand. song about about marriage, and it just reminded me of you and and how happy you're gonna be. And uh, and I got I got a tear in my eye thinking about how my friend has finally found his soulmate and how they're going to be happy together. And uh, it meant a lot to me. Have you, well, have God, you it's quoted, hard. It's hard to believe. <laughs> have you quoted? Have you quoted <laughs> Borat at all yet? I mean, to, but I did get married. If we want to talk about that, have you yeah. quoted Borat? Have you quoted Borat at all yet? No, let's talk about Borat. No, I mean like <laughs> like seriously. Before you were like my wife. 
And I was like, no. <laughs> no, I've, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't done that yet. She has never do it all the time. She'll love it. All of St. Louis. I'm dying to hear about Taylor's wedding. Yeah. I'm dying to hear. Tell yeah. us, what do you want to so, say? Basically, uh, everything went super well. The wedding itself, like we, like for the actual ceremony, we tried to like take all the things we didn't like about other people's weddings, which was namely like having to go and getting combine rid of them that. into yours. Oh, and, no, again, combine <laughs> them. Well, like, like my dad's side of the family is Catholic, and if you've ever gone to a Catholic wedding, it takes fucking for. Ever. There's so many readings. There's so many. You're kneeling, you're standing, you're kneeling, you're standing. And we were doing it outside in June. And it's more humid in St. Louis than people might guess. And so we were like, all right, it's got to. She like gave me a couple of the ceremonies to read through. And they all had like the amount of time each one takes. It was like 15 minutes, 14 minutes, 14 minutes, 13 minutes, 12 minutes. I grabbed the 12 minute one. It was like that because I was dreading getting all doused in sweat. And so for the ceremony itself, we didn't invite anybody at all other than immediate family. Like no cousins, like cousins would ask. And it's like, no, we're not opening the floodgates. It's just immediate family. So like literally my brothers, my dad, my, my dad's wife, and then my grandparents and my my grandpa, my dad's size dead, so, but my grandma isn't. So she was there. And then my, uh, my, my wife's immediate family knocked it out in like 12 minutes. And even before, like when, when we proposed like later that night or when I proposed later that night, we, I got... Uh, we both got drunk and we just were talking around like, who do we want to officiate our ceremony? And I have this very funny friend of mine who's, who's one of my best friends. And I was like, that'd be a lark if we just had him do it and had him get had him become a minister. And so, like, I just drunk texted him that night and was like, want to officiate our wedding? And he was like, hell yeah, dude. And so we just had him do it. He became a minister and everything. Uh, and we, she, my, my wife, she wanted a little bit of religious stuff in there. And I'm like, I like that, you know, throw God in there. makes it seem more serious. Like read something from, <laughs> read something from Corinthians, but like yeah, as, as it was going, yeah. First Corinthians and, and the such, and love your wife as the Lord loves the church and such you know, a boilerplate. And like, as it's going, it, it's such a small group of people. There's no reason to have a microphone at all. And we're outdoors. And this fucking horrible DJ was like in the back, like trying to get a mic to work for my buddy who was doing the officiating. And even in the beginning, like we, I was like, hey, Matt, can you just talk loud enough? And he's like, yeah, this is easy as shit. And then as he was saying that, the mic turned on. I'm like, all right, we'll give it a go, I guess, for this idiot who just spent all this time setting it up. We get to like right before, first of all, by the time like my brothers and, and her sibling, everybody's sitting down, I'm already dripping sweat. I'm so fucked. It's 94 <laughs> degrees outside. <laughs> 94 degrees. I'm, I'm a sweater. How much prosciutto had you had for breakfast? <laughs> that's, I don't see why that's either here nor there. <laughs> but a decent amount. There was definitely lunch meat to be had. And so like as we're about to do the vows and stuff, that like like middle of like, like Wednesday afternoon kind of gathering in high school where like the mic goes... Like that happens right before. And then like, he's like fixing it. And like me and the officiant, like my buddy are just like, just turn it off. Just, t just turn it off. And the guy just turned it off. And then we did the rest normally. Went off really well. Uh, it I, I thought the sweating was going to occur during the ceremony. It was actually the hour and a half of photos outside afterward. Mm. But I had a high IQ maneuver that morning. On the morning of my wedding, I went to Kohl's and bought two more shirts, backup mm. shirts for when I sweated through. I only needed one surprisingly but we finished that <laughs> and uh that we used the same venue for our ceremony as we did for the reception so like that was our thing is like just just immediate family at the ceremony and then have our friends and everything come for the reception it, that was a ton of fun uh the only thing i was like adamant about was like i don't want a bunch of pomp and circumstance i don't want speeches really we'll do the first dance stuff because that's nice and quick uh and and i enjoyed that uh, but I don't want speeches. I don't want toasts. I just want like people to get their food and then sit down and eat. And then we do a little first dance and everybody socializes, plays games outside, talks, catches up. And it ended up being exactly that. It was fucking perfect. It was great. Um, and the the DJ was acting like a little weird throughout the night, like kind of jumpy and stuff. And I didn't see this. It was after I had gone outside to, to do like, like Woody knows he's married. You end up doing like the rounds where it's like, I can't wait to like talk to my friends and hang out. It's like, no, bitch, you're talking to every single person that's here. Yeah. And so you do that. And then I was talking to a buddy later in the evening and he was like, hey, did you, you, you noticed, uh, did you notice anything about your DJ? And I'm like, yeah, he, he like disappeared a few times. And he's like, yeah, I walked mm -hmm. in the bathroom. <laughs> and he was standing next to the counter and he just, as soon as he heard me open it, he went, hey, hey, what's up? And, like, and <laughs> apparently he kept dipping off into the fucking bathroom and doing coke. And that's not the vibe. That's not the vibe of the wedding. 
that's, that's not the the environment. Yes, it was. We're, that's not the environment we're trying. Well, he's trying to make that the vibe, but that's not the environment we're trying to cultivate. It was him doing fucking cocaine in the bathroom, and he was all right, I suppose. Uh, the all that went fine. Like the reception, everything. Not that much else to say. It was great. We had a wonderful time, and then the honeymoon. We went to. Uh, we had one day off after the wedding, and then we headed to Jamaica for a week, uh, which was a blast. And the whole time I was like, all right, I, I went to Jamaica like eight, nine years ago when my dad got remarried and it was super easy to get weed. I hope it's that easy this time. Like didn't know what to expect. And I like the the porter, the guy that like carries your bags, like we get to the hotel or the resort rather. And he starts moving it all. And he's he starts telling me, he's like, you open up that pamphlet there. You can get yourself a free cigar down at the lounge. And I was like a free cigar down at the lounge. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, Joseph, I don't smoke cigars but I, uh, I smoke ganja. Can you help me with some ganja? And this was four minutes after we got there. And he's like, yeah, man, you, know, you just come up here. You know, and I'm like, how much is it? And he's like, you know, 50, 60, $70. And I'm like, which one though? Is such a Jamaican <laughs> leprechaun, by the way. Yeah, I can't, I can't do Jamaican. I can't, I'm doing my best. It's a hard one for me for some reason. But anyway, I, I, I like tell it. him and I'm like, like, how much is it? Like, do you guys do grams? Like, what, what is the amount? And he's like, I'm going to level with you, man. It, just give me like 50, 60, 70. I bring it back to you. And I was like, all right. So I gave him 70 bucks. He leaves. And every time that happens, I'm like, have I been <laughs> taken for a fool? And then no, <laughs> immediately, immediately he comes, it? he comes back. And it was like, maybe it was a little, maybe a slight bit less than a quarter, slight bit okay. less than a quarter. Fair so not, not too bad. And, but it was in like a fake pharmacy pack. Like they had clearly uh, put it into a pharmacy <laughs> pack and like resealed it. And like, 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 I don't know how they, they did it, but they did that. And it was like, so clearly not pharmaceutical grade weed. There were seeds in it, but, oh dear. <laughs> but, and then like uh, going around the resort, they're selling pieces, they're selling chillums and all like little stores. And so I just get one of those. And so the whole, the whole week I'm just grinding that up and smoking and people approach, apparently spreads like wildfire around there. Like, like, Hey, this guy, you know, he'll buy it. He'll, he'll buy it. So like approach him. And so I was like, like, I felt like a princess, like all week. <laughs> like I have members of the resort being like, Hey, you want some hash oil, man? And I'm well, like, you know, I got him easier. And then, uh, you're you're me, actually, you're actually a mark by the way. Oh, I'm like, I'm I sure. think, I think you bought like $5 or $10 worth of weed for 70. And they're like, yo, this is the guy. And they're like, bring it. They're like, I got shit too, man. Get it. This is 48 <laughs> bucks right here. 48 bucks. I think that's what they were. Uh, maybe I mean maybe like ten dollars there, but that it clear. I, I I know what weed amount. It sounds like a win-win. It, win. it was about a, a little less than a quarter for about seven. Listen, as long, listen, I, really I would be going smart. being like, yo, I don't want trouble with anyone. I don't want to end up on anyone's bad list. Here's a couple <laughs> bucks for you and your buddies. Just let's get it over. Oh here. no, Put the, the guy. I I gave him the seventy bucks, and like when he came back, like I threw him a twenty just for like maybe like twenty five bucks just for going to grab it. Oh, so he's like, make telling sure everyone. Sure. He's yeah, he's telling everyone, everyone like this guy gave me a great tip and i don't give a fuck it's my honeymoon i got i got some cash to burn and so like maybe three days later this like random woman who works there walks up and she's like you know you want anything that's you know not smokable and i was like you got edibles like gummies or anything and she's like let me see and so like nothing happens the rest of the day i assume she forgot seven or no it was like eight in the morning the next day i'm sitting drinking coffee on the balcony looking at the ocean like reading my stormlight archive book and i just hear this jamaican lady who's like looking up like hey and i was like hey and i was like hello like can i help you i forgot who it was because i was probably you know drinking the evening before and she was like i got what you need and i was like <laughs> okay and i'm like what did She's i been ask baking her cookies for? all night and so i came down there and she like has this this big container of gummy bears like not gummy bears like gummy cubes like clearly homemade gummy cubes and like i smell it to make sure it even smells like kush and i'm like okay this smells like real edibles and she's like you know 30 bucks and i'm like all right whatever I gave her 30 bucks and i left it in our little beach bag and this little pouch all of the gummies melted into a jelly and now there's no way to know what how you much you're having it. and so like the next Curtis. morning <laughs> the next morning like, we we're getting ready to go to breakfast or out to the beach and i wanted to eat some edibles uh or i guess this is right after this or no the next morning after it melted and i it was like I was scooping it out and like I was like eating it like an army ration with a spoon. <laughs> out of it. And I was just trying to eyeball like, oh, it tastes like just weed. Oh, it's just terrible. <laughs> There's no flavor. And I just ate like half the bag. And maybe 30 minutes later, I'm like, 
damn it, this is probably nothing. And then I genuinely got pretty fucked, way higher than I thought I was going to eating those edibles. And so that was a win. That's how um, every edible story goes. Yeah, I was, uh, I, I thought it was going to be a week of a lot more drinking. But once like the pot started flowing, it was like, you yeah, know, this this is kind of nice. I like that better, better actually. I like and they the only have uh, they only have red stripe there, and red stripe tastes like shit. That's the it beer. Tastes like shit. Yeah, um, and so and even when I was and I, I I had a mixed drink. I had one mixed drink the whole time on the first day. Like this table table next to us, this nice couple were like, "Try a Bob Marley," and I'm like, "Okay," and I got one of those, and I'm like, "There's like three shots of liquor." Some heavy handed Jamaican guys trying to get me fucked up to get tips, and so I was like, "This is risky. I'm, this is gonna ruin my my week." And so I just was drinking Red Stripe the whole time, but it was so fucking hot that after every like eleven ounce Red Stripe, you'd have to drink twenty ounces of water, and so getting mm -hmm. drunk was an absolute chore. Yeah. <laughs> it I was. Like, it I like edible honey. There were better. so many hey, just, evenings. Get a bottle of rum, dude. There, well, we did get a bottle of rum. My my wife was like, I ordered to room service because obviously unlimited room service, and they bring in, they restock your bar. And she's like, I ordered a bottle of vodka and a bottle of rum, and they don't tell you prices. She thought she was getting little airplane bottles to like put in the drinks. She bought a liter of rum and a liter of vodka. That's we did. We barely touched it because like because how much were they? I have no idea yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably, probably somewhere we, we didn't open the rum and three hundred dollars. Yeah, we didn't open the rum, and so she brought it home. Uh, <laughs> she, she had one vodka drink, and that was it. Uh, but yeah, mostly it was like getting stoned, uh, really, really drilling the poor late night room service people. Like, I, I need yeah. another pizza with Jamaican jerk yeah. chicken on it. Or like, <laughs> I need a whole Jamaican jerk, <laughs> Jamaican jerk meal. And I remember once them being like. Yeah, and this is uh, room A34. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, did you just order a, j a j jerk chicken up about 40 minutes ago? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I don't see why that matters. <laughs> 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 so I ate so much jerk chicken. I was, I was eating all sorts of shit. Turns out uh, Jamaicans, they put pumpkin in everything. Very odd. You wouldn't expect that. Uh, but yeah, we had a blast. It was stoned as shit you know we got, got a nice massage went on some like off resort treks to like a waterfall area which was nice except the waterfall thing was kind of fucking bullshit i thought it was going to be like like it was a really cool like tiered waterfall that was probably looking up at like 600 yards long and like you started at the bottom and like through the water you trudged up it something they wouldn't allow in the u.s because people would slip and crack their head and i was like imagining like from the pictures i'm like this is gonna be so cool like i'll be able to like be on my own like going up and exploring little nooks and crannies no the guy's like all right, grab the hand of the person behind you, like boy, girl. And so like, <laughs> bless her heart. She was so nice, but this morbidly obese woman was behind me. And so, so much of my, what, my a trek, fatty? a huge fatty and it, normally, you know, <laughs> whatever. I, I, well, babe, I don't care except that Fat it's my people. Job. Ah, make me sick you know fat people <laughs> in that context make me sick because i was having to take all my effort to pull her up onto these ledges like she's she's half a second from a broken ankle at any given point and this uh this fucking jamaican tour guide could not give less of a fuck he's walking around like clearly on something keeps just yelling like round here they call me bigfoot and i'm like i know bigfoot can you can you, can you grab nah, the fat woman on, behind me the, he was oh. hitting on her when he was saying that no, he was just—he was, he was no, no, he was announcing it. Just he's—he's. Uh, oh. he's I thought he saw that fatty, in. and he was like, "Yeah, they call me Bigfoot." No, he—he he kept like, <laughs> walking over and being like, "Good job, man. Good job." He kept calling me like he kept going, "Good job, boss. Keeping everyone safe." And it's like, <laughs> You're ruining my experience right now by making me have to eave this. Were you high? Up. Were you? Yeah, high I was. I was really, really. High. <laughs> That's great. I love that. I feel like you're missing out. Like this is just pull day, Taylor. This is your specialty. Pull day. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was pull day, but it was like I wanted it to be like free climb, like walking around day. But no, that was not in the cards. It was like, and any time I would get like a yeah, little bit ahead, I bent over rows. Yeah, really, it, some really intense bad form rows as you're standing on. <laughs> but I no, have a but, question: were you, Was yeah. there any dead dogs when you were there on the street? I didn't see it, but it's funny you say that. My my wife, like on the way to the resort on the bus, she's like, "Oh my god, did you see that? A dead dog!" So she no, saw. I, I went to Jamaica once, and I was not prepared to see like I saw like eight dead dogs in the two days I was there, oh, like wow. on the street, and I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know that was part of it. And yeah, I mean, I I know people that have been there, like yeah, I saw a dead dog where people didn't, and I just yeah, I guess you did. Dude, you it was depressing. It was depressing as shit driving because you know Jamaica, like outside resorts, it's a third world country. And so, like, it's brutal driving. Like, 
I was going to say 80% of the buildings are unfinished. That's actually really generous. I'd say like 90, 90 plus percent of the buildings, like you're driving by and it's like concrete with rebar still sticking out of the top. And there's so much unfinished that it's like, what's, what is going on? Like what Taylor, happened? You're looking at it through the wrong lens. That rebar is a testament to their ambition. Someday, Someday. they're, they're going to have a two-story building. They're, I see buildings without rebar. I'm like, that guy, he doesn't dream. He's giving up. <laughs> he has no future. Yeah. Dude, I saw multiple restaurants where like, they're clearly not worried about copyright law. I saw Jamaican TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> but it was That's just sick. a shack that a guy painted that on. It just said it like That's green so paint good. Jamaican Smart. TGI Fridays. Smart, Smart and cool. If yeah, I went to I went to a synagogue when I was Jewish. in Jamaica. Really? They, like, I didn't yeah, know. there was like one or two there or something, but or maybe just the one we, I went with like my mom. And we were like, yeah, cool. Jewish shit, be here. Cool, man. Are there Jamaican <laughs> Jews? Yeah, probably Jamaicans. There has to be. Uh, <laughs> there must be some Jews. Uh, well, there's like there's like a, a a line that is similar from Judaism and Rastafarian is something like that. There is a, there is a, a, a some commonality apparently or something like that, like some shit. But I don't know. Rastafarianism don't know. seems pretty tight. Like you you could tell which Jamaican guys on the side of the road were Rasta men. And because yeah. they had the big fucking hat thing on and they looked really dirty and high. Mm. I bought a stick when I was there. I still have it. Really? It's like a walking stick, like a carved walking stick. It's like in my mom's house, like in my old bedroom, it's just there, like leaned up on my bed because for like, I was just a thing I like swing and poke with and shit. Dude, like, were I was you sick. on guard I was right. for all like the scammers? Like the, the because like this. Oh like, yeah, I, I, I went I, the I, place. Yeah, they they do that thing where they're like, this one guy was like carving little things, like th these little like statues, pieces of shit. Well, it actually looks kind of cool. And he was like, "No man, you know, you take this right here." And I'm like, "I'm not gonna take that. Then you're gonna give me a second one that costs money." And then yeah. he was like, "Well, what happened sure? to me was I got I got I went and I I saw like there was like a pipe there." Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, oh, like I'll get I'll get a pipe. There's a cool pipe. And I was like, uh, can I get this pipe? Uh, no, he he had one. He was like, here, he's like five bucks, five bucks. And I was like, no, that one there. And he was like, nah, that one's 20. And it was like way better, but yeah. it still looked like it was five bucks. Maybe he's like, no, that one's 20. And I was like, okay, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. And he was like, mm, 10 bucks. Uh, okay. And I'm like, cool. And then he goes and he puts it in the bag. And just because I was like excited right away, I took the bag as I'm giving the money and I pull it out and it's the $5 one. <laughs> and I was like, this is the $5 one. He's like, okay. He's like, you take two. And he gave <laughs> take me two. two. And I was like, I didn't want that. I want the 10 bucks back. And I'm like cracking up. It's funny. So I just left with the two pipes. And dude, they scam the like, shit fine. out of you. And like yeah. in your head, you're like, dude, some guy tries to scam me like I'm a rube. I'm going to not yeah. be involved. And then like they, they do it and you're like overcome by like almost like, Oh God, your life is rough, man. Like, yeah. well, I'm that's so, why I said it to I'm you so when I was lucky. like, you were a mark because I've been to Jamaica. Oh, sure. I've been a mark. <laughs> oh, like the, the like weed I got, thing? I bought two pipes yeah. that I didn't want instead of the one pipe I did want, you know? Oh yeah, the, the weed thing, they were, they were following me around all, but they were not following just me around. They were following everyone around. Everyone was high. Like yeah. the entire that's resort. Really, I actually weed. like that. I like that a lot. Not that I have a honeymoon planned or anything or a marriage plan, but I like going to Jamaica and getting fucking high they, as they, hell they have for a, the honeymoon. A, and I like that better than drinking or anything. Like I, I agree. They they have a, they had like a little smoking area for cigarettes. And I watched this like fat fucking boomer guy, big uh, belly. Fat one? Like, didn't like like one of the like, fat big, he Disgusting. was fat. big ah. fat boomer. Looks like 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 a Rush Limbaugh listener, and I was walking him like walk over to the smoking area. Rush like, Limbaugh <laughs> listener. <laughs> he's probably gonna like <laughs> he's probably gonna roast some like cigarette, and then he pulls out just an enormous joint and like by himself, this like boomer, like the like the Twitter boomer with the reflective sunglasses, just stands there and smokes it all by himself. It, it was a cool respect for boomers for that. I liked it. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a lot of overeating, and that That's was tremendous. Too. So yeah, had a great time. That's great. I love the late night pizza ordering room service. That's a great move. Once like you're in a hotel on vacation room service, like for me, like I'm about it. <clears throat> Every single decision, I'm like, mm -hmm. we could find something that might be quite a bit better or someone could bring us something and I'm down with yeah. them bringing something. 
Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. And it was, part of it was the fun of like room service, neat. Like, I, I never order room service. When yeah, mm -hmm. it's it, when we were in Cherokee a few months back. Like, like I had the most expensive breakfast I may have ever had. Like, I think that bowl of oatmeal was twelve dollars, and it was just a bowl of oatmeal, yeah. and it was not fancy oatmeal. Yeah, there weren't like bowls. They put they a like fruit on it or something. Give you a anything. couple of blueberries. They didn't give you any. No, of that? it was just oatmeal. Yeah, and like, I ordered like a full breakfast. It was like oatmeal and like two scrambled eggs and some bacon and and like even the toast. I think was like six dollars for like two slices of toast. I'm pretty sure I had a forty five dollar breakfast, and it was it did not live up to to, to the forty five dollar price tag. There's like it, nothing on a breakfast menu that should even approach forty five dollars. No, like, breakfast is the getting? cheapest meal of the day unless you're having like steak. Mm, I was then, saying the. Uh, I was sorry. I was saying that Judaism and Rastafari, uh, Rastafari, uh, inism. I I was saying it, and then I was like, "Shit, maybe I dreamt that, and it's not actually true." I don't know. <laughs> but I see here, uh, Zach sent the link. Aside from a mutual belief in the Old Testament, Judaism and Rastafari closely align in essence, tradition, and heritage, as both are Abrahamic religions. I'm not going to look any further. That sentence is enough for me to say that me and Rastas are brothers. I'm okay. just gonna leave it right there. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys, you guys disagree on who the uh, who the savior is gonna be. You guys think that the Messiah will come back, but they think that look to Africa where a black king shall be crowned. He shall be the redeemer. Oh, keep waiting, boys. No, we want that one too. I like that. I'm Jewish. I, I want the, the black. I want the black redeemer also. That's you can't what I double want. dip on messiahs. What do you mean? I could say the Messiah and the Black Redeemer are the same. I expected the Messiah to be black. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't black, I'd be like, nah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I like that. I You're know. just, it, it's one and the same. You're the fusion. If it's, like a, if it's like some like beautiful looking, like, uh, like dude, like coming, like, like being like, I am the Messiah. I'd be like, no, you're not, bro. Who the fuck are you? you know? I'm much There's more no excited way. about the Antichrist than the Messiah. Who's that going to be? The Antichrist? Oh, it's the same. That's the same for us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's same. That's, that's, my religion is the same guy. Yeah. He's, that's also, yeah. <laughs> but hilarious. I call him the Black Redeemer now, though. Yeah, the Black, just uh, like yeah, he's coming. Marcus Garvey says the Black Redeemer. He's coming. He's a fuck you guys up. He's, he's gonna get us <laughs> the Antichrist. No, I think I think in Judaism, when the the Messiah returns, we all go. We all are all, all to the kingdom of heaven or some shit. Like it's over. The it's anti like we, beat, we beat the game. We did it. He's here. We're good. The Antichrist is like the most comic booky part of the Bible. Like that before the end really comes, a fake real end is going to come and you're going to be bamboozled and he's going to make you get like 666 on your forehead or something and or no, on your hand, something with 666. I know a lot of people are very touchy with religion and stuff like that and you might have the audience. We so. are. And it's okay. There are a lot of people that will come and hit me up and be like, you fucking worst guest on PKA. And I'm like, suck my <laughs> Jewish sour dick. Um, it does happen though in my DMs. Um, so I, I do know maybe I do trigger some people, um, but I think like hell's got to be fucking cool, man. Like Why I think hell? about it like because like I, as I understood in my own version of understanding what's going on with all this, like, well, Satan wasn't that bad of a guy, was he? He was just no. like just disagreed, you know, or like whatever it is, his he background. How many people did Satan kill? Like one, six, none. That's none? less yeah. than Michael Myers. I'm almost positive bro. the answer is zero. But the, the 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 number of people that God has killed is in the millions and millions. Yeah, like like God like killed everybody one, except for like one family at one point. Once again, God wins. Thing. Yeah. Well, don't you worry that heaven is like a beautiful field with the ones you love, but like Vegas is a fucking like hell is Vegas with like party people. Yeah. Like, I always don't you worry that like if you're on if you're in heaven, don't you want a vacation to hell? Do you want hell, to have that no, option to be like, I've been God for like a weekend? Because if hell is Vegas 24 7 for the end of time, that is hell. And but even like, if, if you're hell in heaven, is like fully torture, even if hell is total torture, yeah, yeah. after a billion years of nothing but pleasure, you're going to need a point of comparison so you can even appreciate it. So you're going <laughs> to want to pop for a weekend into hell. But the way I've always imagined it, you think it it's like, torture? Uh, I Who thought runs it, no, the no. show. Who runs the show? Was Satan, Satan, like, does, what does he sound like? He would. He would. With barbs on it, covered with like hot sauce. So Fucking that's uh, yes, that's, that's actually uh, that's a misnomer. Satan is not the ruler of hell. Satan is supposed to be suffering in hell also. And so I always mm -hmm. pictured it like Twilight Zony. That like whatever your version of hell is, Personal is what hell. it is, and whatever your version of heaven is, what that is. So like exactly. for, for for Harvey. Like or Harley, sorry. If you're fucking really into Vegas, that's your heaven. 
and your biggest fear is hell like sharks or whatever the fuck. I don't well, I'm know. Jewish, so there is no hell. It's not an option. We don't have that. What if we're all yeah, wrong what? and the Mormons butt fuck us? Huh? I've been watching uh, American Horror Story. That sounds Story. like heaven for some, but... <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I've been watching American Horror Story, and I, I just watched the season with the witches, and uh, that's what hell is uh, it, for them. Like, like, a couple of them go to hell, and it's like their personal hell. Like, it's, it's the... It's the it, they, they all have personal hells they go to uh, in the afterlife, and it's different for everyone, like, completely different. It has to be personal like, health. That's because an you incredible just amount of resources. I don't buy it. That's a lot of resources, even for Satan and the gang. A hell for every single person. How is it operating? Who's monitoring every it's single person? It's all happened in Who's going uh, in there? And then when you virtual have virtual machines, like, and it doesn't take as many resources as you think. But you know, it, but it, it does because they're going to go and deep dive into every single person. Who's in charge of that? Well, and if God this guy's so bad, if this guy's so bad, you think he's going to do a good job of figuring out what your personal hell is? He doesn't have his, to. He's a badass. No. All no, he has hell. to do is yeah. apply a little tweak to you, and then you generate your hell and run it in your head. See, Satan isn't running oh, so you hell. you think that they're going to be tweaking us all properly? Like, oh, yeah, who, are these, is, who are these solid, <laughs> honest workers it's God. that are showing up on time and tweaking <laughs> you perfect? Oh, so now God is is like he also owns hell? Yeah, doesn't he owns hell. Like that. Isn't that fucked doesn't up? sound like that nice of a guy, though. Are yeah, but really he loves us. Are you comfortable? If you're in heaven on this beautiful field with God, you're like, I love you, God, but you know he's like fucking tweaking maybe like your great-grandfather because your great-grandfather murdered people in a war or some shit, and he's tweaking him to have the most suffering that he could experience. Are you really going to vibe with God in heaven knowing that your family is suffering you're, down you're there? You're going to have to unless there's like – I don't know what the policy is in heaven, like once in heaven, always. In, or no, Satan was in heaven and he got booted out. So I guess you can still lose once you're yeah, in heaven. The point right. is, is that God loves us so much that he creates a reality in hell you know, for each you know of what? us to endure if we don't believe in him. I, what saw the, a sticker. I saw a bumper sticker the other day <laughs> and it was something. It was one of those bumper stickers that people are not bumper stickers. It was the thing on your back window when, yeah, uh, when, the decal. when, when someone's got a... I hope I hope none of you have done this or know someone's done this. If they if they have, I apologize. <laughs> Are you about to make, make fun apology, of my Confederate yeah. flags? No, yeah, make, make fun of bumper stickers. Do it. No, it's it's when people oh. put those memoriams on their back windshield for dead people, and it's like Stacy Moore, like dude, that died, has single handedly ruined a couple Chick Fil A experiences. Got got her <laughs> wings too soon, or, or something like that. And I'm in my head, I'm just like. We don't get wings, you dumb bitch. Have you even read the book? Have you, Have you even <laughs> like we don't get fucking angels are completely different species than us. We are people, yeah. they are angels. You don't wait, you don't get wings. Angel. No, you, you, don't, don't, get, you no. don't get wings. First so of what's the sound? First of all, angels here. don't have wings. There's nothing <laughs> it written down anywhere that says angels have wings. So let's just knock that out of the park. All right, well, if Satan has wings, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be like, no, bro, Team Wings over here. But secondly, I can't believe I just said Team Wings on PKA. I didn't mean it that way. Angels. <laughs> they, like, 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 we don't become angels and they don't become us. We are completely separate species of thing. No way. Angels, I'm angels I'm kind of get into this shit just on on that tonight. That's what I'm reading on. Just I'm like, yo, angels don't have wings. Like, bro, I got a lot to learn. No, angels don't have wings. Angels. Angels. We don't become angels. Beginning. You don't go to heaven and become an angel. No, no. you don't become it. So the way, no. you, honestly, angels got. You wouldn't screwed. want to. If you read the Bible, you can see the angels got I fucked. Do. So, so God created all the angels first, you know what an angel and that is. was that was where Lucifer led That's a possible. third of the angels into hell in rebellion. <laughs> but basically, God created all the angels, right. and then to their face was like. Eh, I need something to keep me going. I'm bored as shit. I'm gonna make people, and all the angels are like, like you just made us, man. Like, like, and so huge insult to angels because God was like, I don't even love angels like that. I love, and he even like writes in his fucking book, like I love humans so much more than any of these fucking losers that are hanging out with me up here. And so, big spit in the face to angels. If if I were an angel, like I would, I would be a low tier angel. I would have been in the beginning, like when Lucifer was like, "Come with me." If I only saw a third of the angels going with him, I'm Which sticking. I'm, I'm sticking with God just to be safe for sure. Yeah, because he he yeah. created me. You gotta you gotta stick with the yeah. The I, I, and, and like, there's this mean part of me that just wants to like yell at them and be like, first of all, your loved one is being. Well, we don't get eaten by worms because of the disgusting way they deal with our bodies. They're just forever like in there, like pumped full of chemicals in a it's box gross. somewhere. But first of all, like your loved one is like 
looking real weird under the ground. Did you know they sew up your they, they put a butt plug in your uncle's ass and sew his lips and eyelids shut? Did you know that? That's why cremation is the way to go. Because they do. Every 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 person you've ever seen in a casket had a butt plug in them right then when you saw him. Granny had a butt plug in her. Bro, this okay? is getting hot. Well, guess I don't what? know. It's it's kind of hot butt plugs. Are they like fun butt plugs? Oh, or? they're not. They're the worst kinds of... They, you like, you like see a like fox grueling. tail trailing down between your grandma's <laughs> legs? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Let me find a picture of like... Um, Dead man butt plug. Is that what you're going to Google right post, now? I'm going to Google post-mortem butt plug. Kyle, uh, you were talking about those like memoriams in the back of cars. Have you ever seen one where it's like... 1988 to 1991 and it's like you gotta let it go <laughs> like, 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 like the car is older than the kid lady yeah that's a 2018 <laughs> nissan altima like <laughs> and your kid died in 1990 like, come on you got a three-year-old kid you lost like get over it he, he had no personality my god he's probably a senior angel by now that kid was shitting himself long get out of here uh let, are these the butt plugs yeah, yeah I there you go. It. Look at that. Look how awful that butt plug looks. For those who, who aren't looking, it it looks like a normal butt plug, but at the back, it has like big um like like um uh, screw. It's like a screw. It looks like an oversized screw. Do um, they do they empty out like your bowels or do they just screw the shit into you? I don't know about emptying the bowels, but they definitely like drain all the fluids out of you. Like like like, like and then they pump you full of um some sort of preservative. And then your eyelids and your mouth are both like um, uh, sewn shut. It, glued, it, yeah. They use different methods. I think there's glue, they sew, and they've got like these like double-sided tack things um, that are like, I don't know, like like needles are going into their eyeball and the other needles are going into the eyelid to like keep it from moving. It's gruesome as fuck. Get cremated, folks. It's cheap as hell. Are you guys and all going cremation also? That's what I want. Um, yeah. I buried want in the ground. With yeah, I'm with Harley. Plug. I'm doing whatever it takes to get this butt plug. I mean, well, I, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, we, we, hey, we you can, just stole us. Get you one of those. <laughs> like, 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 one of those actually came with this. It was a two pack. It was a two pack. Yeah, that, all that thing needs R.I.P. is a thread, and I can yes, do it. Yeah. No, it's it's fucking ridiculous. Like, like, first of all, your loved one is not anywhere. They're rotting in the ground. And second of all, like, they under. Even if all that nonsense you believed in was true, we don't get wings, and you wouldn't want. Oh, but wings. maybe if they're like me, maybe if, maybe if they're me and they're just getting their dick sucked in hell, I don't like, know. I get annoyed about that. Stuff and even then, similar. less less to mourn them. They're fine, to, bro. So don't Kyle, worry about if you them. Got they're to choose between it. wings and souls. You pick souls. First of all, they don't get wings, <laughs> Woody. So so there are no angels with wings. Wing wing angels don't have wings. But second of all. I don't know. They don't Someone's have never soul. seen a Victoria's Secret show. But yeah, the angels also have no souls. True. They have no souls. What does a soul do for you exactly? It lets you go to hell, I guess. <laughs> if you don't Imagine obey it's just God, what you believe in. Imagine it's just what you believed in. Anything you could have chosen, it's what you could have believed what you believed in. And if you didn't know better, you go there, you're like, hey, you get wings. You're in this magical field. And then for you, they're like, oh. nope, you didn't believe it. This is what you believed. You get no wings, and the angels hate you. And you have to hang out with them every day. No, to me, it's important the same way like knowing who Spider-Man's girlfriend is important. It's like like no no no, it's 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 this not that okay like like no 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 Venom isn't a bad guy he's sort of an antihero like 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 no, no Superman can't do that he's he's not like like it, that's why it's important it's because there's His a girlfriend's candidate. name Mary Jane or he's had a couple um there, there was Mary Jane and then there's the blonde whose Lois, name no. is escaping Lois right Lane now. Lane is Superman. No, I think you said Mary Jane. Yeah, I did, but I was about to say Lois. Lane. Yeah, Lois Lane, That's Superman. Superman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but but, but like uh, like it's all made up. But just because it's made up doesn't mean you shouldn't get it right. You know what I mean? Like 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 lots exactly. of things are made up. But but like I mean, movies are made up. But don't like misquote a movie. Like like get it right when you when you when you say it. Like like yeah, it's like when Gandalf about is about to fall to the Balrog and he looks up and he goes, "Get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that one though, that's but I, that's what I, I, want, I like that one. I feel like you know what? Like, there's so many versions. There's so many mm -hmm. versions. Which the version? Which version? Which one? You know what's a good None version of, of the Bible I mean? is None the New King James version because it's a lot of old timey sounding stuff, and that makes me feel like it's more real. If there's like thighs and thous and shalls, you know, shalls, shout, yeah, that feels more real than like I remember. 
I feel like it's more <laughs> real when it's written in a 3,000 year old language. That's true, but I can't read that. I feel that. like that's pretty yeah. real. I, I remember being in like Sunday school and like them like having this like printout Bible that was like supposed to be cool. And it was like, yo, Jesus, it's me, John the Baptist. And I was like, I'm seven and this is really gay. Like, like, you know, like, like, I know that this wasn't. Right. I read, I read the Bible as the Good News Bible or something, and it was like an Archie comic. It was like almost <laughs> accurate quotes, but everything was an Archie comic style, and like they had speech bubbles. It was a comic, pretty cool way to go through it. Yeah, that some biblical me stories it, are great. You know, um, I mean, I remember reading the Bible, and like after the Old Testament, I was like, nah, I don't know. I feel like the sequel kind of fell off a little bit. Are yeah, there any? The well, you're a little biased there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. The real bangers are in the Old Testament. I agree. I agree. Like all the New Testament. It's that's like, how you know it's all made, made up. Twenty five you know, snakes with a sword. You know it's all made up, right? <laughs> because they've got like two. They got two halves to this thing, and it, it would be like if if Tolkien wrote like the fucking Fellowship, and then like Tarantino wrote the Two Towers. You're like, all right, yeah. well. Man, Gandalf's kind of a badass now that says the N word a lot. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I guess that's just the way things are now. Is, is that how wizards are? They say the N word a lot. Yeah, that, that yeah, is I very true. So. Like, there's also the Legolas has a 1911 now. He's been he's been <laughs> popping caps in a lot of pools. Dude, the the, the character you know? development of God makes no sense. That's no. true because he is an absolute cunt in the Old Testament. Like, he kills people just for like, like someone like what was it? The what do you mean he is now? He is well, now with what I'm people saying go they, through in the world. Now he is right now at this moment. Mm -mm. But if we if we, if we just, just happening though, if we just he see him from the perspective in the Old of, if we just see him from the perspective of the Bible, like in the Old Testament, like he's turning follow, his own followers into salt for having the audacity to look back at their childhood home burning to to the ground. In the New Testament, it's like, dude, guys, come on, like, just don't be gay and don't, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, not believe in Say me. You're sorry. And you're fine. Hey, and, apologize. Yeah. Say, apologize. Are, are, you, are you sorry? All right, then bring it in here. Come well, on. You get a lot of chances. You get a lot of chances now. Back then, it was no chance. It's like, what you say to me? Forty days, forty nights of storm. Yeah, Which and if you read, read Revelation. Revelate. I remember in the desert. I remember being in like like religious class in school, and them like we're going to go through Revelation, and like that that book doesn't make any fucking sense. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter what kind of foresight you have. It is just rambling. What doesn't it make is, sense about it? Rev, it? It's uh, it's all written very, I guess, metaphorically or like distantly, where it's like, and there will be six horse, or there will be four horsemen, and the four horsemen ride in, and their names will be pestilence, fuck, just blah, blah 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 blah, and then this will happen, and the sky will turn to blood, and all who do not follow me will be destroyed, except not really, they'll stick around for a while, and there might be a second chance. And it's like it, it's very disjointed, and because I've, I've read Revel, it, it's it's honestly the most interesting book of the Bible because it's like a bad acid trip. Like you, you really can't tell what who wrote it. Who wrote Revelation? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't Peter. What? No, Peter didn't. It was John, right? Who wrote Revelation? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be able to help you. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to knock it or anything. John the I Elder. Think everyone, I think I do have personally. I respect people and their choice of their God. I respect people and their religion. You know, as long as it's not fucking with me. Or fucking with people that I know, or fucking with anyone in general, and it's mm -hmm. bringing you a happiness and something that's great. I respect that absolutely. I don't think anyone should have their religion disrespected. Me personally, the idea of like there being no afterlife is kind of cool because any chance of an afterlife leads to the conclusion that there could be lots of things that are worse than death. Like you die and it's like, oh yeah, no, you didn't know. Yeah. No, it's not heaven, not hell. It's you're in this dark room and there's 4,000 people screaming at the top of your lungs in your face until the end of eternity or something like that. Where you're like, no, mm -hmm. you float in blackness forever thinking about whatever for eternity, like anything eternal. Like we're not built for that shit. And I don't want to go through the next level evolutionary mm -hmm. enlightenment that would be required with some torturous afterlife. I'll be like, life is cool. We did it. I hope my, my team of humans are still kicking it out there. Uh, respect to everyone and all that. But, like, I mean, if you think about the afterlife, like, hell's fucked up, bro. If it's really, like, as bad as you say it is, kind of the way we describe it, yeah. heaven sounds kind of fucked up, too. You get up there and they're like, we have rules here. 
<laughs> you just dicked off. You're not forgetting aloud. I've never said, said why. Oh, that would like, be so funny if you like get up to heaven. It's like it's paradise, and then you like go to piss, and it's like, oh, no one has a penis in heaven, and it's like, <laughs> no, like we can't fuck because God's like, a and, and who cares if everything's made of gold? Like if everything's made of gold, then who cares, right? Like the point, mm -hmm. of, the, the reason that gold's viable is because there's not a lot of it, right? Like that's like, cool then because they never saw walls made of gold. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, you, you never see such a thing, you know. Dude, God, God must be like Persian because that sounds tacky as hell. Yeah, it's the Infinity <laughs> Stones in the new Loki. Right? Listen to this nonsense. And the dragon stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. He had ten horns and seven heads, with ten crowns on his horns and on each head a blasphemous, a blasphemous name. And the beast I saw resembled a leopard but had feet like those of a bear and the mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was astonished and followed the beast. This goes on for like 10 more lines. What is this? Nonsense. Game of Thrones? Revelations. Uh, <laughs> <Game> of Thrones. <laughs> and the White Walkers came and all were in despair. It's kind of, yeah. I, I remember reading that and trying in my head. I'm like, all right, all right, ten horns, seven <laughs> heads. So some of I them, don't get, some of them like... don't get two horns, and, but there's <laughs> but some of them get two crowns because it's a crown on every horn, not on every head. Okay, and then the mouth, the mouth of the lion. Did you run out of horns of a bear. or crowns? Were there more horns before, and he lost some? Did some crowns fall off some horns? And Which some head horns is dead? Is it heads? one of the side ones being held up strenuously, or is it like a middle head? Where it this kind is of like a hydra, it? where like you cut one head off and two more sprout up? Is that how we got in this predicament? We should have killed it outright instead of cutting heads off. There used to just be one you head guys, and like one crown and two horns. Yeah. So what exactly guys, does Medusa's pubic hair look like? Probably oh, just trying to join in. Probably scary. He's trying to join in. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love guys, really religious. Guys, <laughs> you, you I love what he's heaven? total lack of knowledge on the Bible. Like, <laughs> oh yes, John and Peter, those are characters. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh you yes, guys believe in heaven? No, uh, no. But they'd no? be pretty cool to believe in that. Uh, but you wouldn't go, eh? You think you'd make it into heaven if it was real? No, I don't think uh, you get a choice. I think if you win the game, they they force you into heaven. It's like sorry. You just you I feel go like to the, the rules end. are stupid. Like I wouldn't get in yeah, based I, on the rules they made, but I do my very best to be a good guy. And like, you know, it, it, if someone goes their whole life caring about others and and trying to do good things and not being mean, and and they're still like, no, 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 you know, you didn't hate gay people enough or something. It's like, well, fuck your rules. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you think it's like that? You don't think heaven's like? No, no. It, we've changed thousands of years ago. People have not got the memo. Being gay is totally cool. I don't know what we were thinking back then. That'd be a more fun heaven if it was like there's pot we and alcohol. Omniscient and omnipotent, but we got it wrong. That's not how that goes. I don't know. I mean, God was, was wrong. You, all right, I got it. What's your personal heaven? Mm. All right, my what? personal heaven. You can is, eat whatever you want. Um, you don't gain weight. Yeah, my personal heaven has got to be like <laughs> I get to live out some sort of like superhero fantasy. Cause like 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 I, I'm so into like the, the comics and shit that like I literally want to be like a fucking superhero. Like I want to be fucking Thor or Superman or like uh, or something like that and just swing around a city all day and fight crime. But I nothing would be, be at stake. You would know it was all it's like. Uh, I want things to be at stake though, cause it's my heaven. So I can, okay. I, I can get hurt. Uh, uh, that's yeah. that might be a part of his heaven is where he doesn't know that it's his heaven. And I would just... prefer not to know that it's heaven. Yeah. I would prefer just to <laughs> just part to of believe it. Yeah. that I was <laughs> Thor, the god of thunder. And uh, or or Superman. That's or so. You know, I don't know about that, Kyle. You're gonna be like Thor, and they're gonna be like, brother. There's much to discuss about this Asgardian bullshit. <laughs> like you have a job. It's like heaven. You got like responsibilities. People are like, we don't have enough food, God of Thunder, and you're like, fuck. Oh, they okay, got it's just like a. It's, it's just like wouldn't you, if you want that, I want something like that, be, and, like, and like my, my personal warrior. Hell? I don't know. I don't know. There's like so just many fighting. And, is that what you want to do? You want to kill people, fight people, yeah. smash them with a, a hammer and fly around yeah. and shoot yeah, electricity personal, at them? Personal I want to kill hell. lots of people with a hammer. Yeah. Personal I mean, I don't <laughs> like I mean, honestly, I guess that's not. Now that I think about it, I could I could accomplish that now. Like, you like, can just go to hammer. St. Louis. <laughs> yeah. You could. What, what if like personal hell, I would say like you're in a DMV, but people are jamming toothpicks into your fingernail beds. 
I mean, that, I don't, I don't, I can think of worse things though, right? Like, like, what yeah, about things? Thing two... What about like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I think worse, that worse. I don't want to say. I think that like drowning forever. Like, like, what if you were drowning forever and you were always stuck at that point where you were just? That's the worst. That... That's what I'm saying. Worse okay, than, worse terrible. than death. Anything that continues forever, a certain thing would be, yeah. would be even or, like or, eating or, or your on favorite repeat, food or on repeat, right? Where right. like you drown to death. And then <gasps> you get a breath, and then you drown to death again. Have you guys read uh, uh, Dante's Inferno? No, but I'm aware of it. So I mean, the, I, the, I, the, I, I knew the answer to that before you asked well, it over we, here. We, we had to read it in school, but like the way, oh, okay. like the uh, the final, the lowest circle of hell in that is exactly <laughs> what Kyle's describing, and it's only for those who like explicitly like betrayed the living Christ and it's like Judas Iscariot and a couple other and a couple other people and they're just frozen in ice and living and they can feel everything and they never die school? and they never no no I went to a, a religious school. school yeah okay. yeah so they, they taught us all sorts of religious shit and you're here and you're like there's no heaven <laughs> no I mean they if you wanted a good up. grade they you, fucked up if you wanted a good grade you played in you I mean I, yeah, of course I got a good bit of religious like, education. no heaven I got a good bit of religious education too. I, I look. It, it, I, I don't know what it is that makes people believe. Um, I think that when you are getting older and the end of your life is approaching, I think that you are more likely to start believing because it, it sort of gives your life meaning. And uh, true. It, 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 and and you don't have like a stop sign ahead of you. You have uh, uh, um, a uh, an intersection ahead of you, right? Instead of instead of just a a, a wall. And I also think that, like, you know, the old adage that there are no um, atheists in foxholes can come into play because I think that when we're, we're – I think when any of us are having a real, real rough time, mm -hmm. it's like, God, if you're up there. Throw me a bone. Help me out here because this yeah. is – I'm dealing with a lot here. If you could help a lot – if you could just help a little, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know if you're that kind of God, that, that interventionist God or anything. Like, I really wish you were, like – the America of gods right now, and you just saw oil fields all over this nonsense I'm dealing with, and you could just swoop in and, and help out a little bit. Nah, but he doesn't tend to help. But I, And I also <laughs> think, and, and it's completely separate, I don't think it's fair to like paint all religious people with the same brush. I think that there are people who are just dumb. I think there are people who are just dumb who are religious. Um, I, I, I don't think that all religious people are dumb, but I think that most dumb people are religious. Maybe there's a bunch of stupid ass non-religious people too. I don't know if that's true. Oh, what about for those sure. People that get touched by someone, and they're like, ah, and they're like the demon. Let the demon come out, and they're like, ah. I think those people are attention fall, whores, and then and, they uh, fall. They, they, yeah. No, no, nobody's <laughs> ever looked at that person because they've never done anything interesting before until they started flopping around on the floor. It's also on a televangelist yeah. show, and they're it's all like, can't like wait for my just, turn to be flopping. It's like religious virtue signaling where like if the person next to you is speaking in tongues because they were so consumed by the spirit of the Lord and you're not speaking in tongues, what does that mean? It means that they're winning. They're winning that little mm -hmm. battle in the pew right now. So you better start going. Ha, la, 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 la. Also, yeah, I, I said once I, I got brought with a. I spent the night at a friend's house when I was in maybe grade school and I went to his church with his family the next morning and they were one of those churches and it was bizarre. Like people would just like start stand just right in the middle of the dude talking. People just stand up and la 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 la. And you like, and even at that time, I'm like, these guys aren't good at improv. They're using a lot of the same sounds over and over and over. And over. I went to the same kind of church. They would fucking, <laughs> they would fucking, it, it, and it's not, you're not supposed to laugh in church. And I didn't as a fucking 10 year old me, but we're just sitting there and the preacher's fucking, you know, Tell us a bunch of lies. And then this old man behind me that seemed very normal because he gives me a peppermint every time when I come in the door um, just starts having a fucking conniption fit back there and speaking in a nonsensical language that he's making up. And it's just like, this is just comedy hour. I know why dad refuses to come now. Like, like this is bullshit. <laughs> this is, this is bullshit. Why is mom dragon is here? Why do I have to come when dad doesn't? I wish I dad know. had so much work to do that he needed me today and I didn't have to be here. I would so much I rather know. be like working somewhere right now than listening to this nonsense or sitting in that ladies class. My, 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 my Sunday school teacher had been crippled 
as a young girl and was in a wheelchair. Oh. And this is the woman who is who is telling me about the love of the Lord. It's like it's like you were a very pretty, promising young lady, and then your legs were taken out from under you at 19 years old. And here you are, 55 years old and single, teaching me about the love of the Lord in your fucking chair. That's, so that's, the, best, that's the best person to teach, to be honest with you. Because you're there and it's like, how could you not? Look who we got. This is like, that's like a top tier person to come and like explain something like that. You know what I mean? Bring in it's a like, successful yeah. dude. Yeah. Bring in a dude who's getting pussy. Like I get my dick sucked every day. Is, you know why? Because I believe in God. I, I need him We're to come in and be like here. Alec Baldwin in, uh, is in, um, <laughs> in, in, in what's that movie that I, 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 you know the name of, but I don't. This is a good one. Um, It's like, it's a, it's a name repeated. It's like, like something, Brindle something, Green something, something. Valley or something. Yeah, it's like some G's in there. You know what they should have? Yeah, Gary Glenn with... Ross or something. Yeah. Glenn Ross. Gary oh, that Glenn. sounds good. They should have. Anyway, Alec, I, I need, I need Alec Ball. Ball. Like, you see this watch? This is a ninety thousand dollar watch. Did you see my BMW outside? That's the Lord. That's the Lord. That's. I need him talking about how how big his dick is, how much pussy he gets. How big and expensive is that? That's actually, that's, that's, so you the, guy, want, that's you want the guy Trump that runs there? the church. That's the guy that runs the church outside of church, by the way. Saying it, it absolutely that's what he's saying. Well, you, other. Just, you just want Trump the pastors, like my cock's huge, and it's because of God. <laughs> yeah. gave it to me. That's why yeah. I didn't fuck Melania. Don't, don't listen to this crippled bitch. If God loved her, he would have made her president. Am I right? And then he's like doing his like tight five. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like he's like, lying like, the whole, like, whole time because his hands are so small. <laughs> I agree with all that shit too. Because yeah, like, no, like what no, you no, said no, there, no. like, like if God loved her, she wouldn't be a cripple. Yeah, uh, like, like, like if, if I, I wouldn't cripple somebody I loved, I'd cripple somebody I didn't give a fuck about, or or or, or some little like puppet. Right? What that do you I mean? He fucks us with. all up, bro. Dude, Fuck tons of tons of rapists up. can still walk. And Most lady... rapists can still walk. Like, when's the last time you heard of a crippled rapist? Okay, all rapists can. All rapists. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that either. You don't think so? You don't think that that rapist can name one crippled rapist? Well, Cosby in the end. I don't know any. I don't know any by name, but I'm just saying there's <laughs> statistically there's got to be. I'm just going by numbers, like a numbers game here. Yeah. By so real, real, real quick, no uh, real quick before we jump to the next thing, I got to get these sponsors, these wonderful sponsors. This episode of PKA is brought to you by a company we know and love, Postmates. You know what's great about eating your favorite thing? Eating it. You know what's not great? Going and getting it. And the only fast things that do deliver are not what you're craving. That's where Postmates steps in, the app that adds a delivery option to your favorite restaurants. Imagine anything you want to eat delivered. Don't have to drive, park, even talk on the phone to order. Just download the app and order 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Postmates will bring you what you want within the hour. You can even see where the food is and track the driver. Forgot the eggs and milk? No problem. Craving a tasty burger? Check. Looking for the perfect bottle of red wine or a summer beer? Order up. Postmates is your new long-term Munchies booty call for a limited time. Postmates is giving you $100, $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app today and use code PKA. That's code PKA for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. Save the hassle. Get the food you love fast at Postmates with code PKA. That's code PKA for $100 of free delivery credit in your first seven days. What a deal. What a deal. Check out that link below. We know them and we love them. Excellent, excellent service. Uh, this episode of PKA is also brought to you by Goat.com. If you're looking to buy sneakers online, there's a good chance that the shoe you're looking at is fake. How can you be sure it's real? Well, Goat.com is the safest way to buy and sell authentic sneakers online. They're the largest marketplace in the world for authentic, authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and over 600,000 sneaker listings. They've made the whole process frictionless and trustworthy. They do this by only accepting sellers with the best reputation and by verifying all sneakers to ensure their authenticity for buyers. Every single detail is inspected from the stitching and color to the size and weight. Goat certifies that every single pair of sneakers on their site matches exact factory specifications. With over half a million sneakers on the platform and 10 million users, you're not going to find better prices for verified 100% authentic sneakers anywhere else. Find the perfect 100% authentic sneaker at goat.com slash PKA. That is goat.com slash PKA. Plus, you'll be able to support our show, but you got to go right now before the sneakers you want are gone. When you go to goat.com slash PKA, spelled G-O-A-T.com slash PKA, 
for that 100% authentic sneaker. So check them out. Take advantage of uh, of that. So, so there you go. So um, I believe my friend Ari turned me on to this new subreddit. Um, so these young ladies are known as the Connolly Twins. Does it, do anybody know who the Connolly no. Twins are? No, I have not heard of that. So their subreddit is just um, r slash the Connell twins. No Y, I, I mispronounced. C-O-N-N-E-L-L -L, twins. Uh, and don't bother going because I have um, uh, a better link. Uh, I'm there. That I'm going to drop in here. Um, here you go. So these are the Connell twins. Fatfappy.com. To ignore the fact that it's on fat fat. There's fat literally a dick in an ass now in the link you sent me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure there are going to be many dicks and many asses in the links that I send you. It's, right, it's they're pouring milk on themselves. Yes, 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 they are. So these are incestuous twin OnlyFans girls. Mm. Okay. Waiting for the shooting. How draw. incestuous? What's very incestuous? Um, really? The more you scroll, I just, like I gotta say, it's to me. I'm just so happy. I'm not like f choosing to like fuck my brother on the internet. <laughs> like, <laughs> so maybe my gig isn't to fucking sixty nine with my birth brother, like <laughs> on a bed while like our buddy takes pics of us. <laughs> like, <laughs> I understand it's girls, no, so it has like a is, sexiness to it. But I just what a yeah. what a bummer. Am I right, guys? That'd be so, awesome. So, no, you're saying brother though. <laughs> what about twin? What if it's what if it's your twin? Just it's imagine me, but a girl, horrible. and it's like like I just don't want to fuck the me of a girl. To be honest with you, no, maybe no, if no, I was, no, it's not. Maybe a if I was a little, twin. if I was a hot like this, that's what I'm talking about. My twin. If I don't want to fuck my twin brother. Like, I don't want I'm that. Scrolling through this website, not incestuous enough. I'm uh, just they, saying, I know you got to pay for that stuff, maybe. You, you got to pay for that. They, they go down on each other and stuff. They even it's, got the same tattoos. Oh, okay. That's an interesting piece of information, Zach. Yeah. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big fan <laughs> of the comic. No disrespect, movie. though. <laughs> Any, it, it's, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty hot. They got a little bit of a five head thing going on. But um, I, I think you can excuse that because they're banging each other, um, and mm. they're and they're related. Uh, there's a video at the top. Yeah, of, like, so you can tonight. excuse it. You can excuse it. You excuse that away, right? You know, it's just, it's just like, all right. Well, I mean, you put up with some things when you bang your sister. So, uh, but but In no, I, actually totally cool with the body. Lesbian video of me and my sister, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I respect everyone's hustle. I really do. Just happy that that's not my <laughs> hustle. I'm happy I mean, that's not what I'm doing. Um, I don't think I don't think you'd make much. I think money. they no. That's what I'm saying. I'm just happy that I'm not even that hot. Where I sit there with my other hot twin, I'm like, should we lick each other's pussies for some cash? Like I'm happy it's not an option or anything like that. Um, but you know what? I think they could have. I'm sure they're killing it. I think you know with sure. this level of dedication, where you're gonna fuck your sister. Um, that level of dedication, you probably would have excelled at anything you guys set your mind to. Dude, they're probably gonna be like well adjusted later in life. I don't know why you, we care about any of these things. I, I don't. I don't okay. care if they fucking kill each other. <laughs> I don't think. I don't care if they like. Oh well, listen. I'm only. I'm, I'm taking the conversation this way because I don't want to beat off on PKA. Oh, okay. like, I, I don't want to get horny. <laughs> Save that link for later. Here. I don't want to yeah. get horny with like Taylor Woody and, and yourself. You know what I mean? Like, so that's yeah, what, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. I'm at. So I'm only. I'm only scrutinizing it. Like, I mean, it's not me fucking my brother. Because <laughs> really, yeah. like, yes, they they're very attractive here. Yeah, you can um, say that. I could see myself say coming that. back to this link absolutely at a later date, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I do think it is—it is interesting though, isn't it? Like that's a hustle. Everyone's got their hustles. Yeah. Um, I mean, my hustle has been weird enough doing shit on YouTube. You know, you guys have both have we're, had weird hustles before, mm -hmm. um, but my—I uh, just this is a hustle in itself, and I'm like, I'm glad that's not mine. Glad that's not what I'm doing. That seems like an easier hustle, though. I wish that I was a hot chick that could bang my sister and and be like top one percent on OnlyFans. I wish I was like a hot girl that reacted to YouTube videos. Like oh, I'd rather be I'd rather be like Sniper Wolf than these girls. Mm. I'd rather watch like eight YouTube videos and sit there and be like ha ha ha. And then leave them this like 
million millions of dollars like house you know what i mean but then i'm sure people are like oh that guy i wish i wrapped my dick in bacon for the last 10 years and <laughs> played video games on fucking the internet um you know there's always gonna have that i scenario. think i saw a picture of a chick doing um doing asmr the other day where she had the microphone stuck like so far into the ass crack of her yoga pants i'm pretty i think she was farting into the mic i think that's what was going mm. on i think she was doing some fart asmr um and uh, she was super hot uh but but i think that that's the next step now that they've demonetized the hot tubs oh no they, 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 they demonetized they banned, the hot tubs they yeah. no 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 they, what they did was they made a section for hot tubs they made a special section and then they 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 found the new meta was asmr like licking the ear microphone and stuff um and uh then the two uh microphone licking queens got banned a temporary ban for that so that asmr they're gonna have to pull that back now because they were like it was like you had to pay more for eye contact and then they were just like doing fake mm -hmm. blow jobs on this microphone on uh, twitch like it, it was it was really uh it was really something special there it was <laughs> it was really a thing you hear that um, kids <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's so fucked up what goes on over there. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like I, I, I watch a good bit of Twitch. Like, like I, I usually watch on my TV. I don't interact or anything. I just, uh, uh, I'll, I don't know. I'll send a donation. I'll, I'll hit, I'll hit somebody up with my Twitch Prime. Um, but, but I'll just like put Landmark or, uh, or some, like some Magic streamer on my, uh, on my TV. And uh, if I'm in my bedroom, just chilling. And I watch a couple hours of that. And uh, I, at no point am I like, man, I wish Landmark would. Make eye contact with me right now and, and lick the microphone. <laughs> it's such a it's such a decision. It's such a move to to do that. Like uh, like that's a hustle in itself, though. Like licking the microphone. The girls that choose to lick the microphones and stuff on Twitch, they made this choice and they do that every day. Like if I didn't like hanging with my friends and cooking in a kitchen and making funny videos, then this would be a hellish job. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, I want to be famous. And then they start licking a microphone. And it's like, yo, if you get traction, you got to start licking a microphone. Like, you're not going to be happy when that's your life. Like, some people, you got to just make sure you're happy with what you're doing ultimately. Because it's too, it's too easy to end up doing something that could be what you repeat doing. And it would just suck. I don't know if my internet's good enough to talk to you. But is it so bad? Right? Like, if you don't have job skills that, that can earn good money... But you have the option to lick a mic for cash. It's like I'll a lot a of mic. cash too. A lot of cash I'll, too. So you're right. Yeah, I'll, I got a mic right here. I'll lick that fucker for a hundred bucks. <laughs> I, I totally where, what still, if you don't make it? What if you don't make it? And then you just put the content like like. What about the people who like wanted an OnlyFans? They did it. It wasn't worth it. They stopped doing it. But everyone in their town checked it out for like a couple weeks, and now they just have an OnlyFans existence that does nothing for them. And they still cross that line, you know? And by the so, way, this is a hilarious hand, thing here for right after on the AS. On one stuff. hand, I agree with you, Harley. You know, like it on the other, nowadays though, is that so bad? Oh, do nudes exist of you? Nudes exist of everybody under 30. Mm hmm Yeah, I know I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, like, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. And I uh, you know, I I, I respect that everyone's hustle. But like, I would definitely like impose on my daughter that that is something she should seriously consider never ever doing, um, because you leave a digital footprint, and that might not be the the best digital footprint that you want to leave. Should you don't get to pivot, you know, you don't really get to pivot after that. It's hard to pivot. That sounded um, nice. unless you're doing it safely or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's like listen, it's a, a very very last resort. There's like 18 year old, 19 year old girls that go and do that, and I'm like, well, shit. I hope you make the good money. Because it might, you know, might be something you want to keep a secret later or you're unhappy with. And I say this not from my experience or anything, but like, you know, I watch like people like prominent porn stars that opt to do porno and then later are like, I should have never done that. Uh -huh. um, so I don't know. But yeah. just be sure of it. Yeah. Definitely. And you mentioned on um, that link I sent is a clip. You, sorry. I was going to say you mentioned your, your hypothetical daughter. She's in an extra tough spot because she's going to be born a little famous. People will have an interest in her that. She doesn't get to be dumb privately. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I just see now that there's so many people that are like famous or have an audience that like I feel like it just means less now. 
You know, we grew up in a time where, like, if you were famous at any point, well, you're going to be famous for 15 years. Like, if you were a famous musician, you're famous for, like, 20 years. Um, but, like, YouTubers, it just, it's so fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, the turnover. Like, you might so be cool. recognizable, but you might not be, like, as iconic as, as like, uh, you know, lead singer of Guns N' Roses or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you got to check this clip, by the way. It was just me popping into the ASMR. Um, you can pull it up on the screen here if you want. Um, I was trying to make the point you. that I was just making now. Oh. Uh, it was this Twitter link. Um, I see you, you were in the ASMR category? No, I just went to go look at it. Oh. And I just happened to catch like a really phenomenal moment of uh, Amaranth. I was trying to prove the point that I was like, this person's a, like, she's intense. She does this job all the time, nonstop. Do something that you can imagine doing all the time. Now, I will tell you this girl right here. <laughs> she fucking loves this shit. She loves this stuff. Look, it's like, <laughs> just like the, the pants are like inside Don't her. Do what she's and doing like, because <laughs> you want to do it. Because you don't want to do this. Jesus I can't, Christ. I can't, I can't do my it, hours. Pack it, you whore. get to the Pack level. It. All right. <laughs> I, 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 I know. there. I know how to take my Twitch to the <laughs> next level now. <laughs> just my, right. my, my. I couldn't my, even make my point because it was just so wow. crazy what she's doing. So but crazy. I think that's content actually. But normally it's not like that. It's normally Hit this a lot girl four hundred more subs so that she can do her cosplay suit and peck <laughs> something else. I'll they they get the goal. They reach the goal that stream. <laughs> of course, I, know, I was there. Jesus Christ. Uh, but she, yeah, then she got the temporary ban after that. And what'd she uh, do? That. That they banned her for that. Well, yeah, because then she takes it off, and then she's, like, eating it. Like, I don't even want to do an impre impression of it because it's actually really nauseating, especially coming from me. But she's, like, sucking the mic and stuff like that. So they ban them for that because they're basically, like, sucking it like it's, like, a dick and, like, looking at the camera and you. It just got to that point where it was very sexual. So they did the temporary ban, which essentially what that does is, like, the biggest promo those girls can get because then everyone looks and sees them and notices them and, yeah, I don't like when people get mad at that content. They're like, oh, my God, this bitch is doing this. I'm like, no, no, that's fine. She's fine. It's the guys that are jerking off on Twitch you got to have an issue with. Why is this guy on Twitch jerking off again? to the girl? I, the I do think that's funny What's when people are like, I, I would What's be Amaranth. Amaranth. She's a really big streamer. But I do think I, I agree with you, Harley, where people are like, I'm not succeeding on Twitch because there are girls showing their asses. And, and it's like. Is that the audience you're appealing to? Like, am I going to get yeah. less viewers making fun of YouTube videos because someone's in a hot tub? No. Like, yeah, literally, like the no one's no one was coming to your RuneScape stream to jerk off, but they're here jerking off. It was never going to be you, bro. Yeah. And if you're mad at anyone, get mad that there are people coming here and jerking off on Twitch and encouraging it. If anything. But once again, I don't really, you know, it's like one of those don't hate the player, hate the game. Type yeah, then, then the game, they made it like a totally different category. So it's now it's like, like, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, just hate the audience, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hate everyone that's buying tickets. Here you uh, go. But yeah. What is this? Don't pay. Oh, we can't show that. No, you can't. Don't, don't show that. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well, that's entertainment. I I knew this already, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew this already. <laughs> <laughs> Harley hosted this link I just sent you. Actually, this is this is Harley. This is, Harley's <laughs> on the ball. <laughs> that's so good funny. times. Good times. Um, that's yeah. like uh, that's a hustle right there, killing it. You know, do you, do your thing. I, I haven't streamed on Twitch in a while with like being. Like there were like nights leading up to like the wedding and everything and all that where like I was like I could stream tonight but like there was like just a base like a higher than normal baseline level of just oh nervousness and anxiety yeah. and excitement where I'm like I don't, I don't think I would be very funny tonight if I did so I I'm excited to get back to it like my uh, Facebook thing just ended it just ended on uh, last this month this is Are my you first month where it ended no I mean like they they basically the I don't know what kind of details I can give mm -hmm. of it but I it just wasn't worth it um but rather than continuing to stream there because i didn't move forward i would be starting like not as a partner but i already have partnership with twitch and on youtube so why would i go back and like work back up to that place 
Um, so I went to Twitch and Twitch has been great. I've been there for a month. Um, nice. And yeah, man, if you ever want to get down, I know we always say that, but at least now I'm on Twitch um, or uh, maybe Woody comes back too, takes us through some Tarkov. That'd be a fun three-way stream or something like that. I don't know, bro. All right, maybe I'm fun. following maybe you. you boys, Twitch maybe now. you boys step up and download fucking Battlefield 2042 when it comes out. How about that you download? How about you download Magic the Gathering Arena? Oh, a okay. game that eight about, people in the world want to see. There are I'll four people here. We could all download that new Vermintide. Um, bouncer. I have that. I have Vermintide. Oh, you're talking it's about the new one that comes out? Oh, no, okay, the new one. Yeah, yeah the okay. one I'm excited about. Yeah, it's coming out. Uh, yeah. And Woody, have you seen the new Loki? Yeah, uh. No, I guess it'd be only yesterday, right? Yeah, I've only seen yesterday. two of them. They're, they're cool about that, though. They release it Tuesday night at midnight, if that makes sense. Like, like the moment it is technically Wednesday, it comes out. Uh, um, I watched it. I won't spoil anything. I liked it. I heard someone call it a filler episode, but to me, it's been the mm. most fun episode because... You're talking about Loki? Yeah. 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 I, I thought it was good. A lot of people were mad because... I don't think this is a big spoiler, but like... Um, Loki sort of mentions that he's bisexual, of course. Got a got a virtue signal, it's fluid or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, he mentions that he's bisexual, and it, you know it's 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 Pride Month, so got to get that in there. Um, no, they, they showed his ID, it. and on his ID under uh, gender, it said fluid. No, um, what I'm referring to is in the episode, right? Um, she, uh, he's that doesn't asked, make me wrong. I'm telling you, they showed his ID in the Loki show, and they said he was gender fluid, and it was a. Big I believe thing. that happened. Okay. Um, but but what I'm referring to is is, is him just saying that he was bisexual. Um, but do you so, think do you think that that was like they were filling some sort of like SJ quota, or do you think that uh, Loki gives birth to a wolf? Does he and give birth Lo to a wolf? He's a mother and a father. Loki is, is in that so, himself. He also dresses like a girl to to get information and so he's be like, sneaky. Like her, like Loki. Lo Loki is uh, like like hardly a person, but when you really break it down into our simple mortal terms, then yeah, he's definitely fluid because when I mean, he gives birth to a, a wolf, yeah, he's depends, not like it, he dresses like going, women. It depends if you're going from like Norse mythology or from Marvel comics, right? Because they're they're pretty different. Uh, interpretations of Loki, who is the trickster god, and he is the Norse version of the devil. Um, but but if you're going by Norse mythology, then you know there was the time when he turned himself into a horse and got fucked by another horse and gave birth to a horse. Um, so what was the point of that? Yeah, you know, just having a good Loki, time, man. He's always goofing around. He's a trickster. He's having okay. a good time. Does yeah. he uh, when he births wolves? Are they like fighting me members of his team? Um, or is that what? not like? A I mean, I know uh, they're not going to show a scene of him birthing wolves in Marvel, but can he like? Is that one of his powers? He commands wolves. I don't know if that's a Marvel. No, it's thing. Fenrir. It's the big wolf, and in Marvel, he's not the father of and mother of Fenrir, but they both oh, exist. But yeah, well, I Wolven. mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they handle. Honestly, it commanding wolves wouldn't be a very useful power. It's a big in, wolf. In, oh yeah, well, it's then, a monstrous if it's, wolf. If it's a big monstrous magic wolf, then that changes the it game. Is. Yeah, it okay. is. Doesn't the wolf? Kill Thor. Well, no, Thor's the mythology. Still alive. Everything's happened. I don't know about Marvel. Uh, I, I I I haven't read a lot of the Marvel comics or like watched the videos of the comics, which is what I actually do. I don't read paper comics because that's fucking weird. Hey, but, but, come on. <laughs> you own like do you, do you own like paper comics? Like like I read like, them on an iPad, but I. Yeah, so they, oh, <laughs> see, I've done that. I've done that. That's different. Like, like I, I've read a bunch of the Walking Dead shit like that, and then I also found like um, this YouTube series for the Walking Dead, where the guy like basically like flips digital pages and reads to you, but at the same time he'll also be like, "What you got to keep in mind here is this, this, and that, that are happening." So, so that's that pretty guy. cool. Oh, yeah, he sells it. He sells it because he'll get to a part and he'll be like, "Now, if you remember," and like he'll be like, "Like, like two issues ago." This is a big deal. I, I I watched that guy. I know what channel you're talking about. It's a good one. Speaking yeah. of like fantasy stuff, we got Har Harley. Have you ever read the Stormlight Archive? No. Have you heard of it? No. So it's it's called the Stormlight Archive. Woody and I, Woody's listening to it. Like we're we're going through the whole series. Every book is like 1,200 pages of like dense good fantasy, like really good fantasy. It's the best fantasy I've read in fucking forever. Uh, Let me so know when Netflix is buying it. it. 
Well, I'm Kyle was saying just like on Tuesday during PKN was like, hey, you know, I, I got a lot on my plate. I'm not sure if I want to jump into a, you know, 5,000 page book series. And then I texted in our group and I'm like, Kyle, do you want me to mail you the books? Knowing that there's no excuse not to read them once I've sent him this is related to dollars worth of books. And so I, I packaged them up and, and, and shipped them off to him yesterday morning before he could say no. And so Monday, you've got... The first you got fourth, you got thirty five hundred pages of books coming to you, and you are gonna, Jesus. you're gonna like it. And Harley, I know you're a fantasy guy. Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. You'll uh, really is, enjoy. Is it. it related to Mistborn? It is the same guy. I, okay, I have, but I not have, different series though. Totally different series. I bought Mistborn, Mistborn gets recommended on Reddit all the time. Oh like, well, I'm, I'm sure it's good. It. He's an excellent author. I bought the Mistborn series to read after this one. I bought uh, I bought every single book that Brandon Sanderson has written. I, I will I take wanted, this I recommendation. It. I'm it. Yeah, I'm on it. Stormlight that blows me away, go. Taylor. Oh, I I'm in a reading phase. I'm reading uh, everything. I'm just loving it. It's great. I'll I definitely Trailer check Park this out. Boys. Now now my new background show is I I put on Trailer Park Boys, turn the volume down a bit, and then I read Stormlight Art. That's what I'm gonna do right after this. At first, I thought you were gonna say you were reading the Trailer Park Boys books. I was <laughs> oh, like, <no>. you, <laughs> there are books. <laughs> I don't think That's there hilarious. are. <laughs> Yeah, that would be ridiculous. It'd be very short no. books. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going to start on it uh, as soon as it gets here. I guess uh, I'll pick it up. Um, I, I am this way with books, though. Like if if I get like 50 pages in and I'm not interested yet, I'm done. Like like like, like I I will not like I'm not going to sit there for t I, I can't sit there for two hours or something. You You're going to enjoy like this one of this guy's like like rules of writing is like limitations are more interesting than powers. And like, that is true. And so like, unlike a lot of fantasy series where it's like, you know, Kaladin can fly. That's what he can do or whatever it is. He like lays out like the actual magic thing. Where he's like, it's called the lashing. And that's how you change your direction. You can do a half one to hover and you can change your direction in the air. Cause all it is, is you're not flying. You're changing where gravity pulls you. So you can change and say, gravity pulls you to the side. So you're flying there. You can change your direction. It's, it's very it's super interesting and good. You, you got to give it. Give I it will absolutely pages give this a shot. And and Woody, did you know that we talk about it? That uh, three body problem is coming to Netflix. Ooh. No. Yeah, Netflix but bought that... it, and the the guy who was in charge of the rights to it was like poisoned through a meal, like in December 2020. Just a side note, maybe it's related. Oh, but yeah. there was billions, it was like a billion dollars on the table for it. It was like really expensive deal. And they didn't want to like sell it. And they sold it to Netflix and some guy that was involved in the company died. I, um, but yeah. Now that you say it, we talked about it on the show, I remember. And uh, that always happens. <laughs> Dude, but when I listen to the Stormlight Archives. I think about it as a Netflix show, and it would be expensive to me. Oh yeah, do you hear about Lord of the Rings Amazon CGI. Prime show? Yeah, three hundred and fifty yeah. million dollars per episode. They are going to ruin Lord of the Rings, and nobody is cast yet. I have no confidence uh, in maybe Amazon I, doing it's Lord not three fifty well an episode. Why don't you think it would be? Why don't you think it would be good? I just. I just can't picture Amazon doing that great a job portraying the I, I'll tell you series. one thing. I don't think they'll do it. I'll job. tell you one thing. Uh, the Expanse is a phenomenal show, and the most recent seasons have been on Amazon. The Boys is one of the best shows I've seen on TV. Um, I know it's uh, animated, but Invincible is also one of the best shows. They have like three of my favorite shows, and, and they make them. They have my trust now. In a sense, better than Netflix does. To I be thought Jack Ryan was quite maybe. Good. I, I, don't I want like Jack Ryan, but I also like the uh, the one that everyone hated. Uh, Michael oh, B. One, Jordan. Michael B. Uh, Jordan. One, no, yeah. Knowing like Amazon, they're they're gonna put in a bunch of extra characters or remove characters. Like I'm as afraid. Pro, of what would you want? What would what story would you want them to tell as a, as a Lord of the Rings guy? You wouldn't want them to do the same thing again, right? Wouldn't you want them to do what was that book called? The Silmarillion? I, I, Isn't yeah, there yeah. a bunch of stories there or whatever? Well, what so, yeah, that? There, there's a ton of stories in the Silmarillion, but the Silmarillion is also like the disjointed ravings of a madman, like it, in a large way, where it's like like he'll finish, like, and this is what happened in the first stage. Oh, but also this happened, and this is another thing. Like, <laughs> it's, it's really not, it's, it's it's structured so poorly. It's difficult. It really, if you've ever read the Silmarillion. It's difficult then, to get through. I would say I would like them to go to the first stage where they were physically fighting Sauron. That would be cool. 
go back then where it's Elrond, Gandalf, like obviously Saruman is, is still, Saruman's on the right side at that point. Like that would be interesting. I would like that. I don't want to see them rehash the same series while adding and removing characters needlessly because I just have in my head this fear that they're going to do what they did with the Hobbit where they just throw random bits in for no reason and remove other bits and it just it you, you they lose the plot at some point. Bro, fuck the Hobbit. You the know Hobbit what they sucks. should do? They should also like on the topic of ruining things, um they should take because uh, apparently George R. R. Martin's finishing Game of Thrones and like fuck Game of Thrones, right? Oh, but, is he? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they should take like the last three seasons and fix it and just do it and like give it to like some cool ass Japanese anime company and like release it like that. I'd watch it. Wouldn't be that expensive. It'd Dude, cool I'd watch that too. Yeah, especially if like if the if they if they came back and voiced their part their roles. I would absolutely watch an animation yeah. fixing the last season of Game mm -hmm. of Thrones. You know, my dumbest statement was was like was like seven years ago when I was like, Game of Thrones is better than Lord of the Rings. I take that back now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe I it. Don't. Though. I really I, I believe still think it. It's better. I, I think Game of Thrones is better than Lord of the Rings. Um, if they in had, fin if, if they had, in every way, if, They're if incest, they, bro. Aren't you keeping up with him? I, I think I, I think it's I think it's a more adult series. I think that um, Lord of the Rings is kind of like. They got, they got kid gloves on um, uh, for, for, for so much of it. You know, like nobody, nothing bad really happens to any of our main characters. Like, like some of those hobbits should have should have gotten stomped no got, the fuck no out. No one got their dicks cut off. Nobody got their dicks cut off. Like, like nobody died. And, 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 and uh, you know. Orbeer died. Gandalf died. Gandalf came right Gandalf, back. Oh, and, he yeah, was, right. And, he got, and he got a badass suit. Gandalf, yeah, Gandalf got upgraded. But Boromir not only did he get upgraded, like, like, he, like, like um, Azora, it, what, what, it's not no. That's that's the other. That's, who, who's the god in um in Lord of the Rings? Um, the, the I know Morgoth the, is like the devil, like the like, Valar. No, like the god, like the the creator of of, of everything, the guy who created the Valor. Oh, I don't know all the fucking. Anyway, that. that guy like pulled Gandalf to like his fucking Eru or something to to his like timeless Eru. temple or whatever, right. like like, and and you know gave him the white robes and, and 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 all the extra powers and everything and like 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 so he didn't really die like like it's an it's a cool part of the story because you you don't realize that he's going to come right the fuck yeah. back um but but like i don't know it's it's a bit of a it's more of a teen series like i love it it's one of my favorite things ever i feel I you you just prefer the brutality of the game of thrones and you feel like it's I like a little the more stakes. real the stakes. i like the stakes okay. because like like if if um if look if Martin had written the Lord of the Rings, they might not have destroyed the ring. You know what would have happened? Like, Mary and Pippin would have been like 69ing in that cornfield. They like, would have been the first chapter. So much, bro. Gandalf would have You'd have been like, what about second Owen? breakfast? Licking Mary's ass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right here between my legs, little hobbit. <laughs> that, that's the way it would have gone aragorn would have molested them once they got out into the wilds yeah i'm not sure my yeah. mic is good enough to participate yeah you're good right lord now. of the rings didn't have enough stakes no i meant to say game of thrones didn't have enough stakes once you figured out who like the whatever uh -oh. plot armor so was ready for that point fuck. i've said this a time oh, and time again john oh, snow should have died uh, he did he did john snow should have died absolutely why did he come back in Battle right? of the Bastards. Why'd he come back? He should have died. So he should have died. Walking Dead has higher stakes than any other show there is. See, I read that name, when I read that comic. Name a safe character on time. Walking Dead. You, no, you know, what the, you, know what, you know what show has the highest stakes? My 600-pound life. <laughs> <laughs> because they are, they will be told by that mean Iranian man, like, you are going to die if you don't get it that done. That guy and it is, uh, and they'll be like, I was eating nothing more than 200 calories a day, and I've still lost. You have lost 13 pounds in the last month. You are lying. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, liar. Let's, get, let's get him as a guest. Actually, we need to be careful who we get as a guest because we've had a lot of deaths. We've had a lot of deaths. Um, uh, unfortunately, we, we just had a, a, a new one just the other day, uh, John McAfee. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Crazy. Yeah, and it's interesting because he had said that if he's like, I'm happy in prison, the food is good, the people are nice, if anything happens to me, they killed me. And then he dies, like, he hangs himself, like, a couple days later. That's so wild. That's, 
what what would you know like what what I, i know he's a big tech guy and he was like uber wealthy like was you know what i think it was what i think john mcafee really loves attention like i think he's i think he's a no. very smart attention whore and he was like they've got me i'm not dying in prison maybe even he was sick um you know maybe maybe he had some maybe he had cancer or something he was really think. old he was very yeah, he old was he didn't look healthy like maybe he was just like i'm going to kill myself but I'm, they're going to talk about me for a long time how Honestly, funny would it be though if it was john mcafee who actually had like a dead man switch and a bunch of shit. It wouldn't get covered if he even had any damaging stuff, but that would be funny that of all people, it's the absolute maniac who said that we were dumb for not doing, or we were what pussies for not having tried heroin before. Yeah. I mean, look, I, yeah. I, I would try it. I just don't know where to get it, John. <laughs> Helen <laughs> released the, Oh, he was 76, yeah, I, I think 76 in prison, you know, like, like, Maybe, maybe, maybe he killed himself. But my guess is he killed himself. Um, the the fact that he had like been so adamant that like if I die, they did it. Like I think he's a t- like I think he really loves the attention. I think it's dude, what I would do. Eighteen months was a death really sentence for attention. that dude. Maybe, 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 no. like, maybe it's rich people live a ton of time now. I mean, he's or, a drug or, addict. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if he's a drug addict, but I, I feel like you know, like was, I, he definitely enjoys you watch his the show drugs. Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drug user and drug addict are different things, though, right? Like, like I, I think he, re- I think he's definitely enjoyed his drugs, but like, uh, but fair. I mean, I, I, he was doing such weird stuff, though, right? It wasn't like he's like, yeah, I, you know, I shoot up some heroin every day. I have to. It was just like, yeah, I like to put little droplets of heroin in my eardrum. I can hear the world. And, and he was clearly bloviating a lot of that because he was pretending yeah. like, hey, Sasha or whoever the woman was, like pour the other half of that bottle of gin into this glass and bring it to me. And it's like, dude, you did not just at 76 drink a whole bottle of gin in third. Like, there's no way. There, come on. Like, he was talking about awesome. weird drugs we had never heard of that you needed like an atomic scale to get the right amount in or you die. Do you remember that? Yeah, and that's like the kind of thing I don't want to fuck with. It's the it kind of thing like I do want to fuck with. It makes me think money just doesn't solve everything, you know? <laughs> it's, like, it's things like that. It's like that's like really it because you could like be like, I gotta get this drug that's on the atomic level of something. And it's like, man, you could just buy a ps5 from a scalper even you know like you could just you know but like that's not it they said there's obviously more there there's there's more there's things that money just doesn't sort out you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah have like that's have you trip. seen uh i saw something about britney spears oh yeah like sounds yeah. like a blast in the where she's talking about how like her dad like when she was having a mental breakdown years and years ago like basically mm-hmm took control of her whole life and like was her power of attorney was everything and she was saying like yeah they had an iud implanted in me and i really want to have kids but i'm not allowed to remove it without his permission like some yeah. some really fucked and they shit. put they put uh, her on like lithium a, and shit a, a conservatorship, conservatorship. Yeah. yeah that yeah the documentary is really really the free britney britney documentary that talks about all this is actually really in like interesting because i didn't know that this could even exist to this extent it sounds where they sad, could put a man. device in her absolutely it's really fucked up and i i didn't know and i was at the time where we were like ah britney silly bitch she shaved her head she's so silly rich people mm-hmm. are fucking you have no idea that, like this person's like life has been really fucked up the medication she's forced to take everything yeah. and i'm like i had no idea that things could be like that that that's like a court ordered thing yeah how it's is that really legal? fucked up exactly it's so fucked up and even just like her therapist the, like, the amount of drugs he puts her on and stuff like that um they like keep her complacent it's really fucking crazy that's a messed it's up legal thing. Yeah. it should be legal it just shouldn't i don't know that if it should apply to britney right there was a time where if britney made her own decisions she would fuck things up really bad so you can kind of get why they got it in the first place we're doing it for colin Colin but just to be able to put an IUD in her, though, is like a next level thing on an adult woman that, like, you know, you're doing all this, but like at the same time, she can go touring, but she can yeah. go do concerts, you know, everywhere. And, and like, you know, you could, like, you could, well, the it, IUD but, thing is fucked. So, look, with Britney, it is totally fucked. And I get it. And I'm on yeah. your side. If Colin was a girl, maybe that's a decision we make, right? He can't have kids. 
But what if he's a yeah. woman? I, I think I think we're all saying that like this makes sense in some situations, but this one, like, yeah, definitely right. seems a. Fucked. I don't know how they applied it to Britney. There might have been like maybe she needed an 18 month conservatorship, you know, where it's like, mm. look, you're crazy yeah. right now. You're shaving your hair off. You're likely to destroy yourself. You're not thinking straight. Mom and dad are just going to, you know, act as your guardians for the next 18 months until you can get back on your feet. Now, it seems like it's been 18 years with her. It's fucked, right? Yeah. But am I coming through okay? Yeah, you're oh, coming yeah. through fine. Oh, okay. And, uh, but, you know, if your kid has Down syndrome, conservatorship is what you do. For sure. Yeah, she's – good Lord, she's 39. She's almost 40 years old, Britney Spears. She's like – she was like the, the superstar when like I was like in middle school and stuff. So like perennially I'm always like, yeah, she's like, like 20, 23, like young, but no. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah, so, yeah I remember a, walking into a Taco oh, yeah, Bell, man. my mom, my dad, my sister, and uh, there was like a, a, a cardboard cutout of Britney Spears just you know super fucking hot and my dad's like wow and my mom goes she's 16, 16 lamar ah, 16. <laughs> and he's like fuck i, I didn't know she's wait hold <laughs> i remember this time because when i was 16 she was like 16 or i was even a couple years younger and i was like i swear bro if i could talk to her if i could talk to her she would want to give me a hand job <laughs> I was convinced. I was convinced I could get a hand job from Britney Spears if I just had a moment to crack some jokes, say some some things. Yeah. Oh, I swear I was like I could. She'll definitely want to do it. Yeah, I just I just found this tweet screenshot from John McAfee. He said, "My Muslim cellmate explained that if I die in the service of Allah, I will receive fifty six virgins when I go to heaven. Fifty six virgins? What kind of god is that? I would trade fifty six virgins for one Bangkok prostitute any day of the week. R.I.P. F's salutes for John McAfee. Oh, that's. So funny. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll never. We have he died. Nate from sixty days in died. Bro, stop when, talking when, about when this. We, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Man. I feel like when, we're cursing me here. All right, we're gonna do a death pool of guests. I have Harley. Oh <laughs> no, that would be like we should he's start like picking pounds. There. He's going to prison. Who? Name a better pick. Boogie. Uh, Boogie's not gonna really go to jail, right? I Probably. So. I mean, I, I mean, well, I said that I said that about myself before, but uh I was wrong. Um, I don't know. He, he might go to jail. He might go to prison, but I don't think that it's, uh, he belongs on a death pool. I, if anything, he'll lose weight in prison. Oh, that's the thing though. You, you don't have to lose weight in prison. You could, you could get as much food as you want in there if you really want it. And he's got plenty of cash. So like he could, or, or like he's got plenty to afford like as much food as he wants in prison. He'll be buying yeah. snacks for the whole block. Yeah. It depends what he wants to do. You know, I remember, um, uh, that's what snow told me once he, he was like, some people, they come in here, man. They, they lose a ton of weight. Some people come in here and they gain a ton of weight. And it's like, I'd like there's so mad if I got fat in prison, dude, I, was, I guarantee I'd be that guy who just stress ate the entire time. And I'd come out. There was a, there was a guy who was in there who looked like awful because he had lost so much weight over the last like three or four years just like he looked i mean he had went from like 600 pounds to like 270 or something like that and it was like oh my god i you are just all wrinkly now you look like one of those like one of those like turner and hooch dogs with it's like face hanging all over and wrinkles and stuff like that <laughs> oh the, that will resonate with our audience the turner and hooch yeah reference. you guys get the turner and hooch <laughs> reference right everybody gets that right you, you've all seen that that classic Tom Hanks movie from 1986. There's right? a reboot on Disney Plus right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Turner and Hooch. Yeah, with Josh Peck. You've seen oh, Turner. Oh, Hooch, wait, right? the guy from uh, uh, Drake and Josh. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm not the other one. Not the not the other one with the underage girls. Who did that? The other one, not Josh, then Drake. <laughs> oh, oh, and that I thought you were like, there's another Josh Peck, but Drake was doing underage girl shit. Yeah, that's that's recent messages and stuff and things. Ah, so yeah. Josh ended up being the cool guy the whole time, even though he was fat. I always knew that. You always knew that. I never I watched that show, cool. but I remember seeing the the commercials and shit. And yeah, I never watched that show either. I was I was I like I missed that. That was like right before me, right after you. Yes, right after me. Yeah. 
Um, you're 30. Yeah, I'm 30. So it was it was a little. Yeah, what an old idiot! You're so stupid. What a and retard! Old. I I mean, I I didn't watch that. I <laughs> no, you chose, but it's your people. You chose not to, though. That's pretty cool of you, man. You were a cool kid ahead of your time. You were like all my friends watch Drake and Josh. I no, it, Lord of the Rings. It, it didn't come out until I was in like late middle school. So nobody yeah, was I watching can't even, it. I can't even click this link. It, it's like, pay me, pay me. You know what I do want to see? That's uh, that's usually I, I kind of hate reboots. Um, but like when it's animated stuff, it makes sense to me because it's like, like you, you I don't know. It, it, it feels like you can still do it again. Like, like you just draw the same characters, right? Do the voices and like stay true to the source material. And like, mm -hmm. it's as good as new. They're, uh, they're remaking He-Man. And I'm so yeah, Kevin excited. Smith, very cool. Kevin Smith, that's good. Is it Kevin sick. Smith behind it? Yeah, it is. Like it's a oh, good I'm, I'm be super sick. excited. I'm very excited like, for that. And He Man never meant anything to me before that, by the way. He was oh, a toy. I, I never saw the cartoons. Oh, I, I was. I watched the movie though. It. I yeah. didn't like him. Wait, was that the one where that's where Snarf is really annoying, right? Is Snarf in He Man? Is he the little like everybody's a, like a, a powerful cat, and then there's an actual cat that hangs out, and his name? No, so. I, I think that's. Th is that Thundercats? Or Thundercats. Something? Oh, that's Thundercats. No, there's a, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a lion tiger thing in He Man, isn't there? What's his name? That green yeah, there, one there's with like the red. a Beast Man. Um, no, He Man is the one where like you have the is it the Enchantress or something like that or the Sorceress or and uh, you've got Skeletor and obviously the titular He Man. Um, yeah. You know who's who's got he's got the the, the he's got the swords. Oh, I've got the power. Of he man the was right in urine Harley's wheelhouse. For Older. Age. It was it was a little before, before us. Time. Before it's a us. little before us, but that just meant that our parents thought it was cool. Our it mind ended, did. It ended in 1985. I was born in 1985. 86. But like my brother was 1977, so he he got down like he got down with with it's with really an interesting it's an interesting thing they did um but there was a cat by the way it was his cat battle cat was like an oh he rode the line it was a tiger it was a yeah tiger. And, and it uh it it and it was a cat that turned into it so like um the what they did with he-man is they they created these toys and they, they were like all right make us a bunch of cool ass toys and like all right so like, i guess this is like this is fucking He Man. He's a big fucking dude with a sword. Like, All right, keep keep going with that. Well, um, this is like Skeletor. He's the bad guy. All right, keep, give me more. Give me like twenty more. And they just did. And then they're like, "All right, now let's make a show about those toys you just made, so we can sell those fucking toys." They made the toys, then the show. And uh, part of the thing with the cart with the with the show, um, I, I think it was in the in the movie even. Like they told that because it was PG 13 or PG or whatever, like Dolph Lundgren couldn't use his sword as an offensive weapon. Dolph Lundgren? And, yeah, Dolph yeah, Lundgren. Rules. Rules. I, know, I, know. I just looked it up turtles? and I was, I was shocked that it was Dolph Lundgren. Why Ninja um, the Turtles guy, can't use their weapons either in the cartoon? Yeah, it's. You can't awful. use your weapons as weapons. They could be there, but like they would like jump on the guys or hit them with the shells. But yeah, you didn't get to use the weapon. Yeah. Because it's all um, toys. Were you guys too, too uh, old for Power Rangers or no? No, no, no I'm me. perfect for Power Rangers. Yeah, like, that was like, my like, shit. I watched season one, episode one come out. Like, like, like that was like when I was like first grade. I think is when that came out. I'm guessing Power Rangers came out in. It would have been. Um, it was 1993 to 1996. They had their yeah. first run. I That's, didn't see it until like 96, and I was like, I'm a 91, so I was. Yeah. No, you know, yeah, I, I watched that shit come out. I like, like, I didn't like it when they started making the later seasons and they started replacing all the characters. Because when I watched it, it was like the first iteration, well, right? You had Zordon. But and, you know why uh, that happened? That's because the show uh, Saban was going out of business, and they didn't have money to produce a full show. So they bought a Japanese show, um, a Japanese like hero group show, and they filmed all the kid parts out of costume. Really? On, like two locations. And then when they morphed, they cut to Japanese footage. And when they go in the big monsters, they cut to the Japanese footage. Power Rangers was so popular that it was so much more popular than that Japanese show had ever been. And that Japanese show existed for like three seasons. So when Power Rangers was still bumping and this show was done, they didn't have any more episodes. So that's why they came up with like Power Rangers Turbo. That's a completely different Japanese show 
completely different from the Power Rangers we know, but they call it Power Rangers, but now they have to recast everyone and rebrand it and somehow make Power Rangers fit into this new hero show. And that's why there's like 80 different types of Power Rangers shows because the first iterations were all Japanese shows that previously Did you see the movie? So so the reason that like, like when you, I remember watching the show and you would see all the characters like with the English speaking voices and then they would go into like Megazord or whatever it was and like, not Even though that. they were they were just in a field, it shows the animation, and now they're standing by like a bluff somewhere. And no, no, no not just that. Whenever they're in costume, I think in fighting, it's the Japanese. All show, fighting right? is the Japanese show. So Whenever that's why the in- scenes didn't make any sense in that show because it would be totally different uh, yes. outside I mean, environments. The choreo- they had like two or three putties to mess with the humans the buddies, yeah. and then the choreography was really simple. And then it goes to like the Japanese one and there's those sparks explosions and they're doing double flips and shit yeah. off trampolines. They had choreographers and it was way different for the Japanese show. You know, when, um, when the American Sorry, version, uh, who played one of the monsters, who's like, you know, when they're fighting like the, um, the tentacle monsters, like the, the people in the obvious mascot costume looking, like, they're gigantic. About? Like when they have to go yeah. into the mega, mega droid or whatever um brian cranston that was one of his early jobs was he was in some fucking goofball costume like <laughs> fighting mega the mega droid or something like that bashing like cardboard cities that That's was like van damme was, van damme was almost the predator he yeah he did a lot of on-screen stuff as the predator and uh in that in that like hot pink colored insect costume that they had at the time and uh um he was really upset because he thought his face was going to be seen. Like he thought that the predator was going to have his face, and uh, he, and he, 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 you know, he wants to be a star. He's Van Dam, and uh, and, and and like he ended up quitting off the off, off the set or, or getting fired, whichever whichever take you want to believe. the The production of, Pre- of Predator is hilarious. Everybody got food poisoning except for Arnold because because he had his own food sent down because he was on his ridiculous diet. Yeah, and he had like this huge commercial gym shipped down. So like him and the other dudes like Carl Weathers and Jesse Ventura are all pumping iron continuously like when they're not on screen. Good. And uh and he let it slip like like he did this like weird thing. I can't remember exactly how he did it, but like Oh, the bicep thing some, with Jesse Ventura. The bicep thing yeah. with Jesse Ventura. He had someone sort of like mention to Jesse that like Jesse, your arms are bigger than Arnold's. Like like and and like, like how big are your arms, Jesse? And Jesse was like whatever they are. Like like ah, they're there. They're 21 inches. Or they're 22 inches. And like oh you got Arnold blown out of the water. You should challenge him to a bicep measuring contest. You'll embarrass him because you know, like part of the production deal is none of us get to go shirtless, only him, because he wa- he doesn't want us to like look bigger than him. And that is a thing. Like like nobody nobody but really? Arnold is allowed to be to to show their arms off. I if worked you look, with them and they wouldn't give me his height. They wouldn't tell us his height. Of course not. He's five. He's about five eleven and a half or something. So so like whenever um, Jesse. Ventura, like right away, early in the movie, he gets blasted in the arm by like a regular small arms like gunshot. And it's when he's like, I ain't got time to bleed. That's so they can wrap his arm in bandages so you don't get to see his bicep in the movie. So anyway, he he does go to Arnold. He's, he's like, yeah, we should have a bicep measuring contest. And Arnold's like, yeah, yeah, we should. And of course, they get out the fucking measuring tape and Arnold's got like 26 inch biceps or whatever the fuck he's got and just makes jesse look like a piece of shit in front of everybody yeah, like, yeah like, 22 like, let's get everyone together for I, like, I was like, lied to about the girth of my biceps <laughs> 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 just humiliates but even jesse ventura is fucking huge in that movie. oh a mountain he's of a man. enormous like, i mean carl weathers is enormous in that movie like like mm-hmm. they all are everybody except for like shane black is is just a is just a monster did you like the Predator with the Shane Black one? The, the remake is awful. Where he, he like like God damn it! Like they don't know. What the fuck <laughs> like, hey, I know. So I know. Like, every character will be like a one note caricature of a human being. How about that? That'll be cool, right? Like like we'll have a guy who's got Tourette syndrome, but he only says funny shit, right? Like, no, well, you're wasting movie, a good actor. That, that had a movie ending. That they're like little after credit scene. I was like, don't have a scene here after that movie. Like, this is no. anything. Don't, don't act like so weird. Yeah, there was just, yeah, that that movie was hilarious. Though that's a good movie to get scared to and watch. You know, Kyle, you need to fix it. You're, you're, I can't hear you. Sorry, Predator is one of the best movies ever. Predator Two is is 
pretty good, especially if you're a Danny Didn't Glover you like fan. the world building of Predator 2? I like the I did. world building. I like that scene it. at the end where they hand him that fucking um, that that blunderbuss or that like black powder or pistol, and it's got like I don't know some guy's name and like a date that's like 1791 on it or something like that to like indicate that they've been coming to Earth for like hundreds of years, and whenever a human bests the predator, he gets a trophy. Like like he's he's won. Like 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 in in this fair combat like they have this honor code this honor system the the predators are at, that species is called the yaucha and like, like they, they have this whole like honor system that, that, that they live by that's what the movie should be about there's so many good stories from the yeah, comics i like that like, i like that part about it there's this there's a good story about how like um um they th there has been created like this if they want to do like an alien versus predator movie the storyline they should have done um should have been about uh there's a situation where like this human scientist creates an alien predator hybrid and uh, and the Yaucha get wind of it and they view it as an abomination. So they put together like this, like a team of predators to like go kill this hybrid predator queen on this planet. And so there's humans, predators and aliens on this planet. Instead, they did that awful shit where they go under the ground in Antarctica into the into the uh, like upside down pyramid ziggurat that doesn't make a lot of sense, and then they did that sequel to that where they're like in small town America or some shit, and it's so dark you can't see anything. And I think it's rated, rated PG thirteen. Every almost all those movies have just been awful. And then they did the one called Predators, where they had the that I liked it. That's because the one with Adrian Brody, right? Team. Yeah, that's because Adrian <laughs> Brody's leading the team. That big old I don't know if he's bitch. actually a Jew, but he's got the big ass. He's nose, got the Jew true. nose, and he's doing his best <laughs> Batman impression because Adrian Brody's a tough guy. And Lawrence Fishburne's Get out in here, Adrian they got Brody. Some, they got some good AA12 moments in there. They did. They had some cool. They had they had cool <laughs> ideas. Those good guns. They, they, yeah. It, I listen. It was not memorable, really. Uh, by the way, this link. Best part of Predator Two. If you want to put that full screen, I think you could put a full screen. You think I don't we think can we watch can show it. Predator 2 on YouTube and not get copyright mesh? I think we Oh, yeah, it's oh, 23. Snorts all the cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever have you guys ever heard of an Aztec death whistle before? Yeah. Yeah, it's lame. What? It's, you well, I've I just I've heard of it the first time ever. What I heard I heard the noise on a on a video. So it might be lame. I have no idea. And I saw it and I was like, this is so crazy. But why is it so lame? Because I, I was coming in here like it was fucking it, sick. I, I know how cool that it can sound at its best, but I think in reality it doesn't live up to that. Did you hear one in real life? I think I have one, yeah. It, there was this thing you I did one? on... Um, when I. <sighs> so here's what happens. I'm live streaming on Twitch all the time. People would donate like 2 or $3, and I'd say thank you or maybe answer a question. Other people would donate $25, and I wanted to distinguish that donation from the tiny one. So uh, I had different things. I had a little electric note thing I could play. Mary had a little lamb. The gong turned out to be the big hit. I bought like a 26-inch 26 26 gong. Um, but I also bought an Az Aztec death, death whistle, a Jew harp, and some other things. And uh, the death whistle, just, it barely made noise. It just sounded like, whoo. It was lame. Is it possible that this thing is similar to like a musical instrument and that you weren't hitting it right? Because I just watched a video of an Aztec death whistle That's and it sounded noise. pretty like a spec like, like when I see a pretty, it's a pretty girl. We could probably it. watch that. Oh yeah. That one over here. It. If you click, here's this link also before you click that one, you might want this one. This one's a minute and 11 at the minute 11 point. Actually click Kyle's first. Because it's a girl playing the note, I've seen it. But then this one at a minute and eleven is one hundred horses and one hundred Aztec death whistles blowing, and so it's like a simulated charge of what it would sound like. Um, well, the Aztecs didn't ride horses, did they? Or the Spanish invading army would use this. So I guess they took the Aztec death whistles. Not really oh. sure the backstory of it, but the conquistadors. Yeah. But yeah, play, yeah, when uh, the conquistadors uh, showed up on the hell on the horses, <laughs> the natives thought that that was just, they were horsemen. They didn't re they didn't understand that it was two fucking creatures because they'd never seen a horse before. That's a, the horses are European. There, there were no horses in North America or South America, so they so, see these fucking conquistadors roll up in armor 
with guns on a horse and they think it's a new creature. So, so Zach, when you play this, is this Kyle's? Yeah, go to 111. That's where she, she spends a minute. No, the, uh, that's my video is 111. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one, so I think she plays it pretty quickly or whatever. She yeah, plays a couple over. of them. She's got like three different ones. But it's just like <laughs> she plays, she's playing a female music. one. Um, if you're looking for something truly creepy, I bet chilling, there's a basically bone rattling, something yeah, else. Yeah, skip, skip. Zach, you got to really go to 111. This is boring as fuck. These are death whistles, and they <laughs> oh. are haunting. They're That is scary. Spooky. <laughs> and it's the girl one. There's the other one. Is it, it sounds like a. It's a whistle that doesn't work. It sounds terrifying, Woody. You have to. You have to. Again, if, if there's a pretty scared. girl. The context, the context. You're not supposed of to be it. scared because you know it's a pretty girl on YouTube playing. Yeah, playing I'm a, a little whistle. turned on. You're supposed <laughs> to be in a forest <laughs> hearing this noise in the distance for the first time in your life and having no idea what it is. Click the link. Click the link I sent you and go to 111. And not just any person. forest. You're in a you're in you're in a strange new land on another continent. It's nighttime. You can't see. <laughs> like like you don't know what animals are in this forest or what animals exist on in the world in general, and you're hearing that. Bro, you believe in demons. You think you this literally is a believe demon. in demons. Yeah. <laughs> like like not in the way that Taylor Taylor's like. And you know, people who grew up with believe in demons the way that like people who burn people as witches believe in demons. Like, like you would be shitting yourself. That would be so fucking terrifying. It's already I'm pretty. Listening. It's a scary noise. What demons? I'm listening are to Harley's noise? now with the horses and the. Oh, are you talking about how they use horse noises to sound like the Aztec death whistle? I'm talking about the Aztec death whistle. There's links below. They're uh, they're watching them. It's all right. All right. I, I, you're selling me a little bit. It's scary. If you, I mean, I think at this point I'm a little Pavlov dog. I just get turned on by death whistles because of that chick, but yeah. How it's crazy scary. is a hundred people and a hundred death whistles blowing? It sounds like an army of like a thousand fucking demons. It's a lot more yeah. annoying. You can go to like 130. Scary. You can go to 130 instead of 111. I just went to it and I, I, or I went to Kyle's link. It's, it's that's a, a girl. Whistle. That's a that's a female horn bearer though. That's a different whistle. A female horn bearer. I should. That's what it that. says there. I don't know the details of it, but yeah. The sound Listen of this hundred sound. Aztecs charging towards you as you load your gun and prepare to win the battle. <laughs> <laughs> so if you heard this emerging from the darkness, that whistle. It's very unique. Very unique. Imagine if I play this instrument in Chicago downtown. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are playing it in Chicago downtown. <laughs> I mean, see, those death whistles are so scary that the Spaniards just turned and ran. No, they conquered them pretty quickly, pretty easily. A hundred conquistadors with horses and blunderbusses. Turns out they're not that they're not that uh, ruined by whistles. But these guys, these <laughs> they, guys, uh, they actually wait, dominate. Wait. They're warriors, though, to an extent. This recent one right here, if you click that, that's not that's cops this day and age getting smoked by a death whistle. <laughs> they get fucking <laughs> No, this that's not real. That's not real, is it? I don't know. <laughs> you think someone be. would lie on the internet? <laughs> the, someone <laughs> in the comments said they ran away like 60s cartoon well, characters. I would run away even if I was a cop. I'd be like, bro, no way, man. <laughs> no, they, they like ran the way like Shaggy does where it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And then they ran. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what else do you think they could be running from if not that noise? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if those are real cops, then we just figured out the perfect way to commit crimes. The, the cop is is horrified of the Aztec <laughs> death whistle. <laughs> I can't believe you had one, Woody. It's so funny. I was like, I'm going to buy an Aztec death whistle. Now I just don't want to get like some wish Aztec death whistle that sucks. <laughs> I think I got it from Amazon. The Jew harp was tough. It, how do you play a song with one note? What the? I never even heard of the Jew harp. I don't claim That's this. It's gonna be more than one note. It's a. It's called a jaw harp or a Jew harp. People told me to buy one for the stream, but I've never actually played. Yeah, it. It, it's just one note. Is it? it can't be oh, like, like like the hot like like is it like um is like a thing like this with a string stretched across it? 
It's not a string. It's in the oh, the oh, string wire. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's like area. three. It's not a guitar string. It's not a wire oh. either. It, it's like oh, um, they like hit it. Like a it's spring material, like a metal oh. spring material. Okay, and when you okay. flip it, it vibrates and just goes wah 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 wah. And I guess the way you make music is you do it at different paces. There you go. I don't know if Jews harp have anything to do with Judaism. Or if it's I just don't know because they call it a jaw harp too. Maybe they just got lazy and some people call it G harp. Or maybe harp. it was a very cheap musical instrument. I think it was. Oh, well, I'm not gonna <laughs> buy it. Uh, I'm not gonna buy my nephew a violin. My God, it's he's 13. You know, What's he gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get oh, him a nice G harp. <laughs> doing that, I'm gonna get this for the next time I stream them. <laughs> you can't get this. You can't get this anymore. No one else can get this. Cultural appropriation. If you get my Jew harp, we have to buy a jaw harp instead. <laughs> yeah, this guy does sandstorm with the Jew harp. I guess he can't even play it. Anyways, to fair. everyone else, like, he he plays it well. We need like an Anglo <laughs> harp so so we can play. <laughs> this is the best Jew harp player I've ever met. Yeah, it's good, eh? <laughs> it is just one note, but <laughs> but I like it. I bet it gets so much pussy pulling that out at parties. You know what uh, I, I heard that today <laughs> that I had no idea was so fucking lit? I was listening to this. is I'm so stupid, and my YouTube recommended it's going to be messed up forever. Uh, Home Depot song on for repeat for an hour is fucking sick. The Home Depot song. What do you? There's doing? no way you get claimed for that. Because well, what, what, what is the Home Depot song, bro? The fucking sickest bop you'll ever come across. I was song. blown away. Someone told me to play it, and I was listening. I was like, "Yo, Home Depot has no right going this hard." And all the comments are hilarious under it. <laughs> Someone's like, "I'm 45 minutes in, and now have four children and a wife." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's. <laughs> It really is. It's the Home Depot music, but with a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff layered on top. No, that's theirs. That's the, that's it. This is the Home Depot song. That's what you get. You get a fucking banger. <laughs> so much you put this on the speaker in Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> Holy loves this song for some reason. I don't... Dude, uh, you know, improving home improvement. Am I right? <laughs> Someone's <laughs> like, I showed this to my dad. Now he's an American citizen. Hey, what's your favorite song? Me. It's complicated. <laughs> Dude, owning a house, like I remember being a kid and having to go to Home Depot with my mom and dad and being like, this place fucking sucks. There's nothing here I'm allowed to touch or play with because it's all power. All the stuff I want to touch and play with, I'm not allowed to because it's power tools. It was awful. I hated it. And it's the light it's, section. It's it's way too off the lights. It's it's too big of a building as a little kid. So when you walk in there with your mom or dad, you're like, I'm gonna be here for eons. It's gonna take and it always does take forever. And then like after buying a house a couple of years ago, the first few times I walk in, I'm like, I get it. I get okay. It's this is sick. fun. I yeah. you know, th these are things I like. I can oh a fire pit? Okay. Well, that one sucks. Oh, I can build my own fire pit, you say. Okay, with all the tools here. All right, I'm I'm putting the pieces together. I get why people like this. <laughs> what do you must actually because you're so handy, you must like walk in there and just be like seeing projects to do, right? At some point you need a pickup truck to bring that shit home. Right. I used to <laughs> rent the Home Depot truck every weekend. You know, like, how else am I gonna get plywood? I own a Ford Focus. I need a new circular saw or something, and I not the table saw, for example, a band saw. Yeah. You, you get your Home Depot, then you get a pickup truck, so you can bring that shit home every weekend. Do you, ever, uh, do you ever see yourself, truck. Woody? Do you ever see yourself circling back around to woodworking as a hobby, or do you think that's kind of in the ledgers now? Just I probably would have already if it was easier to air condition in the stable. It's just North Carolina is rough for outdoor stuff like that. Mm. You, gotta, you, gotta, uh, you gotta catch up on everything. You gotta woodwork on Twitch. You got to do everything that you've been sleeping on. You got to bring it all back together. Do it all on Twitch. Do it all at the same time. Think about it. I, I, I listen. If, bro, yeah, I, but woodworking I'm, I'm seems like it would, woodworking. I imagine is something that's like cathartic. Like you're just like focused in on it and you're doing it, not necessarily wanting to explain or. I don't know. That's the way I am with like I get people all the time. Like, when are you going to stream yourself working out? When are you going to stream yourself lifting? And it's like. 
I'll once my basement's fixed, I'll do a Twitch stream. Taylor Merck on Twitch. I'll do a Twitch stream like showing my gym, but I'm not gonna film myself working out. That's me time. That's like yeah. that's my get the the angst out time. Or you want to listen? But Taylor, to Taylor, don't you think you'd like whatever. working out with 500 people giving you shit? No, that's exactly that's, that's a big part of why I because. Of yeah, I guarantee I would like finish a set of incline bench or something and be like, man, that was a good one. I kept it extra tight for the Twitch boys. And then I'd go over there and it'd be like, fucking retard doesn't even know how to lift. He put yeah. it down. And it's like, no, no you'll simultaneously right. get you'll get a weight being like people being like too light of weight and also too heavy weight. You'll never hit, hit the, it'll never be good. It'll always be too much, too, too little. Like, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and especially I, and working out. If there is any activity that like almost half of men in existence feel the need to comment on, it's like how other people exercise. You know, like I was just I was doing a where I was like curling. I had like my thumbs out, my thumbs in. I don't even remember. My buddy was like, "Might want to put your thumbs out." I'm like, "Why?" So you're hitting your back too much right now. And I'm like, "That's okay." <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Harley, you, mean, like, you do yeah. not want to activate those back muscles on a poor form curl. <laughs> Everyone has a, 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 a comment. What the a fucking thing, asshole correcting the curl only thing, form. The only thing that I've ever made a comment on, because I don't go to people and like say something, is if I see someone doing re something really fucked up in the gym that could hurt them, on three occasions I've gone up to someone and I've really been like, oh, that looks like an interesting uh, exercise. What muscle is it working? And every time that I've approached these people, they don't know. They don't know what to point at. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, because it looks cool. But if you don't know which muscle you're working out, you shouldn't do it. And that's my like low key way of not trying to be like, you know, but trying to come over like I'm asking. Yeah. Because I'm curious. Like I want to learn curious. from you. I love that. And then I I'm like, so oh, much. I think we learned a lesson together here. <laughs> I think we learned that also, like, you, can't, you can't discount the fact that Harley's fucking six foot seven. And so, <laughs> no, that's another thing. I would never, like, I'll go over to some people and I'm like, I wouldn't want a guy. Like, if you're going to come and give me advice, like, if someone's going to come and say something, I better look at you and be like, damn, take your shirt off, do a little spin for me. Okay, what did you say again? All right, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> I, I, like, I like when you're at a gym. And you like you see that like body of a guy who is not cut at all and just big, like just like looks fat. And then you see him go like just warm up deadlift with seven fifteen on there. And it's like all this, those the heart attack boys. This guy the heart attack boys. Yeah. yeah, you got like massive muscle, you're pushing mad weight, your face is red, and like you just there's no sign that there's even strong muscles in there. That's where I aspire to be. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want the body of a much fatter juggernaut who can just run at a wall, just like that guy in X Men. Juggerball. I remember watching X Men movie and being like, "Dude, Juggernaut is the coolest. That guy rules. Juggernaut His only is power sick. is running through things, and like, yeah. it doesn't seem like he can turn direction very well. So largely useless. But he's also got a magic helmet. Yeah, it's yeah. Magic but what does that give him? Protection. I think it gives him it gives him invincibility. Oh shit, he can't die. Well, that's a tremendous. Yeah, guy. he's invincible with the helmet on too. I think yeah, only has, with the helmet has, on though. He has virtually infinite kinetic energy when he's running. It's 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 magical powers though. He's not a mutant. Well, he's pretty cool, is what I mean. Mm. That was a pretty cool power. Is he a, is he a D list? He's a bad guy. He's right? been in two movies, so it's tough to call him a D list. He's a bad guy in the X Men um, comics. Um, he's uh, a yeah, depending on which iteration with tax. Yeah, depending on which iteration you're going by, he's uh, uh, the one uh, in the in the in the cartoons. He was uh, Pro Professor Xavier's um, step brother, half brother or something. Yeah, half brother, step brother, something like that. Step brother yeah. of Professor X. His yeah. half brother. What kind of relationships was his dad having? That guy looked like forty years younger than Professor Professor X. Well, that's just cast a bald head. Wait, so wait, you guys um, never read comics, right? But do you like those movies where time repeats itself? Like, I happen to love like that Tom Cruise movie. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Live, die, repeat. Yeah, I yeah, liked, yeah. I liked uh, Happy Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to you. I Have you know. seen that? Uh, there's a new like Netflix movie. I think of that. It's got like. Mel Gibson and then but he Mel Gibson's not the star he's more of like a side character the main character is like this jacked dude where every morning he wakes up in his bed next to the woman he fucked the night before and immediately he's like 
people are going to try to assassinate me right now because I've, I've done seen this a million movie. times. And yeah, I have to, I, at first, I figured out how to escape my my bedroom before getting with the helicopter. Down. That helicopter, yeah, with the helicopter right you. outside. What's and it just, this? I saw this movie. It was I, sick. I, I liked it for the life of me. I can't remember it, but I remember watching it. I put it on as like a bullshit whatever movie, and by like ten minutes in, I'm like, all right, I'm in. I'm into yeah, this, yeah, and it was like it was that. super super cool. And then he like. He every day he gets to repeat himself, and so he can learn things. And throughout Will Sasso's day. in it. Will Sasso's in it. He's like the bodyguard of the guy of Mel Gibson at the end. He was oh. the big guy from Mad TV that does that hilarious arm. Oh, impression. I know who Will Sasso. Yeah, yeah I, I, he's I, totally, in a brief period. I, I missed him. I didn't notice Will Sasso. Yeah, it's, he's brief. It's brief. He has like one line, but yeah, he's hilarious. Uh, yeah, that's there's a, there's movie. an X Men comic called House of X: Powers of X. And it's just like a super interesting take on it. It's Moira McTaggart who's like has relationships with Professor X. In this story, she's uh, a mutant. And the way her power is, is the mutant X-Men life goes through, as we all know it, exactly how we, if you've ever read the comics, how it is. Except when she dies, she's born again on her initial birthday. Time has reset, but she has retained all her information. She goes through life a different way and tries it again. And like it kind of ends badly again. She's born again. So she goes to Professor X and finds him early. And she's like, read my mind. And Professor X is like, whoa. So now he has the information of her two lifetimes and his two lifetimes. And then so they could advance technology through mutants in her lifetime. And then she dies and she's born again. And she goes back to Professor X and he reads her mind. He's like, oh, shit, we have a lot of work to do. And it's always <laughs> more and more. And it gets to this like super perfect mutant future where Professor X and Magneto are like boys and Professor X has like mm -hmm. Cerberus permanently on his head and he's got this crazy suit. He could obviously walk because he could avoid his accident and everything like that. And it's how like mutants don't rule the world, but they're separate from the humans and they have their own perfect society where they know the future because mm -hmm. Professor X has lived it so many times and it's like they're on attempt like 1000 or, or timeline 1000, but it was really sick. And there's like really some crazy uh, mutants in it, but House of X, Powers of X. But, uh, I know you guys won't, but sometimes I say shit like maybe an audience, someone in the I'll audience. I'll probably watch like Film Comics Explained, like do a thing on it. Like, like that, I, I like those YouTube Oh, look videos. that up. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Look that up. Yeah. That guy's sick. That, that movie we were talking about. I think had him as a guest once. It's called uh, Boss Level. And it's on Hulu. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Boss level yeah. on Hulu, and it is it was way actually more entertaining a, than you think it'll be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it is. Uh, I was astounded watching it, where I'm like, "Has it been an action sequence for 40 minutes straight? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it has. Was that it's good been, though? It was good. It was pretty good. I, yeah. It, it, it has like fun little dialogue in the middle of it, and he has to stop at different areas. Like literally, it, oh, I, I won't give anything away. Uh, Boss level on Hulu. It's a very entertaining movie. Just, just. Just a popcorn movie. Just I might check that movie. out because I've been watching American Horror Story like every day, and it's really taking a toll on me, like 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 spiritually and emotionally. What that, did you like, think of the second season with the Insane Asylum? That I like haven't it? seen that one yet. Uh, so the three seasons I've watched this week are Roanoke, uh, The Coven, which is the witch one, obviously, and I'm almost finished with Freak Show, but they just like forcibly like mutilated this girl's face. And I was getting kind of nauseous, so I, uh, I, 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 I went and watched like some Star Trek to like cleanse my palate. <laughs> I, I like, like I, I watch it until I get sick to my stomach, and like, like, like not like grossed out, but just kind of like disturbed a bit. Just disturbed, and it's like it's it's like take it's like when, if you watched like enough gore videos on mm -hmm. Live Leak. After a while, you're just starting to get numb to how horrific every episode is. It's so fucking rough man and and this shit is on fx it's so rough i i was i was telling people in the discord i was, I was like hey i'm watching american horror a horror story if anyone wants to like watch with me i'm what i'm on i'm on roanoke and uh, i think class started watching he he, he met he, he i think he's uh get, he was stoned and he like messaged me he's like i'm 10 minutes in i'm just disturbed i don't like this and i and like i messaged him today i'm like hey do you, do you watch anymore he's like i tried but it was just too much i can't deal with this it's just it's just awful for the sake of being awful. Is it and that scary? I haven't seen the seasons you're talking scary. about. It. It's just that it's awful. Like the things that happen are so awful. Like 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 people are getting disemboweled and burned alive slowly and like tortured endlessly and and like everybody's dying 
and and everybody's lives are so miserable and sad and awful. It's fucking terrible. Are you finished with all the seasons you began at this point? Like you're pretty much ready to start a new one? Uh, I'm at the end of um, uh, the freak show one, and I don't know if I'm going back. I, I'm I, I'm I, I don't know if I'm going to go back. It's, that it's that just, was I think that's the so one that happened. Uh, I think that's the season right after the season two, which is the insane asylum one. And I, I think that's where I stopped watching because it, I just lost interest. It was like, Oh, this guy is, he's named lobster man. And he's got like two welded together, long fingers on his hand and he uses it to finger fuck women. It was like, well, that's not scary. And so oh, I, it, it got worse. There was, there, there, there was like a killer clown and like all the freaks are, are just kind of hard to look at after a while. And like, ah, their backstories were just gruesome and horrific it's a lot to take in, man. Is it as scary as Oz? It makes me feel the way Oz used to make me feel. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, yeah. And it wasn't that I'm afraid of anything in Oz. It's just that, like, I'm Oz, tired the of show? seeing people yeah, the prison suffer. Show. I'm tired of seeing the suffering. Like, it's just so much suffering. Like, like the Roanoke oh. season was pretty good. I like the premise, the way they did it. Um, What's hey, the bad guy in that one? There's like eight bad guys in that serial one. Serial because, killers, or because they all have a theme. Like, is yeah, it the so, freak so show, the serial killers, the insane. So stuff? there's like this lost colony of Roanoke in North Carolina. Um, nobody knows what really what happened to it, and uh, and basically like this like couple goes and like buys a house in the woods, and weird shit starts happening. And what's actually happened here is that um, there's like eight things going on. So like like first like some druid priestess snuck over with some Spa some Spaniards or some shit in like the 1500s and then like went into the woods with her forest god shit and then she like influenced uh, Kathy Bates character who was part of the Roanoke colony and made her like do human sacrifice and then there's two sisters in the 70s who were like murdering their nursing home patients for fun and then there's like a slave owner who was uh, who was like brutally murdered, and uh, but he's and, a ghost. Yeah, they're they're, they're all ghosts. Yeah, but but three ghosts. nights a year they get to like inhabit the earth and like fuck with people. And and Kathy Bates is like the butcher, and she wants to sacrifice people horrifically to the land. And so she's disemboweling them. She'll like put pig heads on them while they're naked and then roast them alive. Um, she'll cool. disembowel them slowly. She like cuts them open and like puts a meat hook in and is like slowly drawing their intestines do out. You, do you like Kathy? Ba I love Kathy. I, Bates. I love she Kathy is such Bates. a good actress. Yeah. I fucking love Kathy Bates ever yeah. since I watched misery for the first time. And she made me feel so much like anticipation and fear watching it where I'm like, this is just a guy sitting in a room, like not writing the book that she wants. And like, I have like my heart's beating quickly because I'm also anticipating the madness. She's going to burst into the room with when she's not she pleased plays. with the ending. She's so good at being like a horrific piece of shit. Like, like in the uh, she's a great in the, actress in the witch season. She is like a slave owner who, like, for shits and giggles, just because she's bored, has a torture chamber in her attic where she is just torturing all of these black men to death. Like, like one of them, she just like stuffs shit in his mouth and then sews his lips shut, or she'll just like well, just slowly she'll like cut their pancreases out and use it for her. Um, like beauty cream and like, like she'll like sew bull heads onto them to make them into minotaurs or, or just like cut them apart slowly. Cause she likes the way they scream. Yeah. She's a really good actress and she's good at playing the spooky character. I like her. Um, have you guys ever heard of a uh, complete, well, not completely. It's a, re a recommendation. Um, have you guys heard of racer trash ever? Mm -mm. Ra racer trash, racer trash. Like it's, it's a thing on Twitch. It's like a collective of, editors and stuff they have a twitch racer x trash but they take movies um and uh they kind of like make them vaporwave and edit them like special like they had one you've got mail but it was called you've got nails and it was all like vaporwaved with like trent reznor music or nine inch nails music or they'll take like super uh super uh vaporwave bros and it's the mario bros movie but they like re-edit it looks like you're watching it on a burnt vhs and it's like these really crazy things. They only exist on Twitch when they air them and then they disappear. But they're really good. And like, I feel like I should shut them out because I feel like some people, I don't think the younger audience will like them, 
but people around my age will like them. Um, 35. Uh, I, I, it's like a good vibe. It's like really sick. The work they put in, they're like funny, interesting, kind of like a chill vibe. Like if you got blazed and just watched dude, them. The, the, I, I just went to their site. Dude, the vaporwave aesthetic is tight. I like that. Yeah, their whole site is really cool. Like uh, I, I was looking at that earlier too. I had never seen it. Um, but like, yeah, their movies are just crazy. If you did go to their Twitch and like turned on notifications, you would get, you would know when one goes live and I'm always happy when I catch them. They're such a trip. Like they're really just like mm -hmm. such a weird trippy thing, but you won't be able to see anything. Um, cause they take it down. Cause it's like not theirs. It's not their content, you know? Speaking um, of like, like so weird cool. ass content, like did you guys ever get into Tim and Eric back in the day? Big time, big time. Have you watched Kyle? You never watched Tim and Eric on Adult oh, Swim on cinema? Oh, dude, Tim and Eric is great. I, I loved old Tim and Eric. But uh yeah. there's a new series on Hulu, I think it is. It not new, but Tim and Eric bedtime stories. No, I don't know. And about it this. is like genuinely like upsetting some of the stuff. Like it it's so weird. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. Yeah. It's so upsetting. That. One of them is I like like that. like this like <laughs> You know, Eric, the, the tall guy is the neighbor and Tim comes over and is like trying to get him to come <laughs> to his like his Super Bowl party or whatever. And it's like, yeah, so I'll see you there. You'll be at my Super Bowl party. He's like, yeah, uh, you know, I just moved in with my family. I'm not sure. He's like, yeah, yeah, you'll be there. You'll be. And then this guy like starts leaving like dead animals on his lawn and like digs. Uh, it's it's fucked. It's really fucked up. But uh, in that really funny Tim and Eric way. I'm so, excited yeah. to check that out. Tim I'm and Eric bedtime stories. So funny. They're so funny, they kill me. Yeah, I um, loved him. And I watched all of Decker. If you did, you watch Decker? I didn't watch Decker. No, oh, that's Tim like Heidecker, and he's like Decker, like a super agent guy. <laughs> and really? like, there's one scene, it's like the plane gets hijacked by a terrorist, and it's like this guy comes on and, like, you know, it's like a stereotypical caricature of a terrorist, and he's like, Hi, my name is Abdul. I've hijacked your plane. <laughs> it's, just, it's so the whole show is so ridiculous, and it, it's always upsetting. Like I used to watch funny stuff. I loved laughing, funny movies, whatever, scary movies. But then you get to this point where, like, scary doesn't scare me. Yeah. Hereditary spooked me, but like funny, like what? I'm gonna watch a whole movie and laugh like four times, maybe. Uh, if I go on TikTok, TikTok is at the point where I'm getting such fucking mutants on my for you page that mm -hmm. I will laugh at that. But like, it's rare that I get emotions watching these movies or TV mm -hmm. shows or whatever. That's when I fell into cringe content. Obviously, people like watching cringe content. Well, yeah. Most people do. Some people, whatever. I watch it and I cringe. And I liked it because I cringed like it would hurt me. And I felt something. I was like, good. I feel something. But then I watched so much cringe that I've bypassed fringe, cringe. Now I like mad content. Like someone like doing like something. Yelling? No. Like someone trying to do like uh like like something like uh like a like a 27 year old like pretty boy doing like a 16 year old girl's tiktok dance like wearing like the worst outfit was like a, with like a long dangling earring or something mm -hmm. and like or just even like a like a 23 year old like uh like giving like life advice and wisdom about something where you're like man you don't know shit but they're playing the influencer game you're yeah. watching someone maybe they want to become like uh they want to be like a youtuber or something or if you watch like a family vlog and someone's telling you what they do with their kid on how they do it and like i don't know shit but i hate what you're talking about like shut the fuck up or like or a rapper with like an intense political message that's like, how much does the Illuminati control behind the scenes that we ain't aware about? And I'm like listening. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that sounds I pretty like, funny though. <laughs> I like this content now where I watch that stuff and I'm like, bro, this guy's got to shut the, but I'm like, I'll watch someone like fake holding a glass of wine, like doing this long apology about, and I'm like, put the fucking wine down for a second and then shut up. And like, I'm like hate watching like people's content. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's one place where I can oh. find like an emotion watching something. And I'll, I'll watch my friends be like, why are we even watching this sucks? I'm like, I know, right? T tons I know, of people. It, does. it fucking sucks. Wasting our time. <laughs> Make it louder, bro. 
dude, tons of people hate watch stuff. I just don't like that. I don't like watching stuff that makes me mad. That's where I'm at. That's where I got. I That's graduated. It wasn't just like something came on and I'm bothered by it. Or I'm like, turn the, like I go out and I'm like, I like putting on something. I'm like, but can you stop? I was like, look at this fucking idiot right here. Look at this person. Like, look what they're doing. And it's funny enough is just statistically thousands of people have done that to me with my content just statistically that's how it works out but i'm saying like i see some stuff where i'm like bro this guy's such a fucking loser and i never go and comment i'll never go and write oh you're a fucking loser i'll never send the message but i do i do appreciate them for existing so i could pull up their content and my friends hate it they're like bro no why shit. are we gonna listen why are we gonna listen to this dumb bitch and i'm like bro it's not even that we're listening to a dumb bitch I'm listening to a dumb bitch talk about another dumb bitch. <laughs> like that's how deep I am in this shit. Dude, but if I if I watch that shit, I mastered that, content. Uh, I mastered content. Like funny stuff, cringe do, stuff. Do you do you sad like, stuff? I'm like you, horror stuff. I'm past it all. I need. I want to watch something. If I'm not playing a game, well, like if I'm gonna be here, I better feel something. And you guys, YouTube ain't made me laugh in a long time. So let's let's fucking bring out the hate then. If you like that, said, I never are, I never would bully someone or message or do anything like that. I think that's of course not. You're a stand up gentleman, but like well, no, when you're, someone, when you're watching this me, content, sorry to interrupt real quick. If someone bullies no, me, no, continue monologue. I, oh, bro, I fuck them up. I will <laughs> hold on. Let, let, let me grab the mic here for a sec. If someone messages <laughs> you me have on something and be like, oh, you're a stupid Jew, I'll go to their DMs and I'll be like, is that so? You really think that, eh? You fucking loser. <laughs> no, like, you should you should go there. in there and be like, I'm a smart Jew, and here's why. <laughs> just get no, I, I, no, I'll Jesus. even feed into it. I'll be like, you're damn right I'm a stupid Jew. You're right I'm a stupid Jew. Do that bother you? Don't say that about Is yourself. Is that bothering you right now? <laughs> <laughs> don't you, don't you, when you watch content like that, like I, I get suggested a ton of hockey content on YouTube because I watch like reviews of games, highlight stuff. The hockey guy, shout out the hockey guy on YouTube. Love that guy. Like super, super unbiased. But like, I'll see a video, every, not from him, but I'll see videos suggested to me where it's like, why the St. Louis Blues in 2019 didn't deserve to beat the Boston Bruins. And I'll like see that. And I'll be like, if I watch this, That's I know the, I, I, I know the rest of my day <laughs> will be I'll be showering tonight and I'll be like, and another reason that they deserve to win. Like I I, I will That's get different. That's like yeah. if I watch something where someone's like, uh, this is why Star Wars has never been good, or this is why Star Wars is a piece of sh I, I would be like, Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I mean, like, I'm watching weird content. Like I said, like I'm watching someone be like, uh, like like a, a, an apology, like a perfect thing is like an influencer's apology on YouTube. I'll like hate watch that for a second and be like, you fucking insincere liar. You're not sorry oh. about shit. Yeah, you every time I see, yeah, when you see an apology video, it's like, first of all, never apologize. All you're doing is, <laughs> all you're doing, no one's going to go, guys, he apologized. Stop, get off his back. They're going to go, he apologized, admission of guilt, hammer him three times as hard now. Like, that's the no, way it's Sometimes go. you apologize if you want to control the narrative. Sometimes that's going to be like, I want to get ahead of the game and apologize about this. And people are like, damn, we didn't even know we should get mad about that. But he already apologized. We've been disarmed beforehand yeah no, I, don't, like, I don't think you ever win in the modern day by apologizing especially if it's like a specious in the middle thing but like, yeah things get crazy things get carried away harley I mean, do you cool. do you give a fuck at all about your montreal i say montreal i, I was gonna bring that up your you montreal hockey. canadians they are in ot i right know now Me and too. i am oh, they can put it away i'm literally can go to the stanley cup tonight i am so I've excited never, i've never done this before but I'm like team, i was refreshing while we were on podcasting i'm team habs habs all the way yeah please sick. please beat those vegas cocksuckers they haven't been in the league long enough to deserve a stanley cup no they, they can't have one yet. no thank yeah, you yeah it'd be great it'd be great um that would be awesome i saw it. all the i saw all the the festivities montreal is exploding just oh in my god this if, far. This, if they win this it will be fucking crazy and That's obviously awesome. if they go to the stanley cup it'll be fucking crazy uh the city's insane when it comes to hockey, like, bro, people will tip over cop cars here for, like, regular season wins. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not it's not a special event. Like, people will go crazy. And that's, like, I actually just go on Instagram and, like, click on people's live Instagrams after games, and mm -hmm. I'll see what's going on. Um, but, yeah, it's tied to, too. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. And then two, they're going if they OT. win this. 
You know what would be awesome? What would be great is if Brendan Gallagher got the the OT goal. I like him well, a lot. He's he's my favorite player on the. the I, I know. I want you to know. I very. I know very little hockey. There was a McDonald's burger named after him here. <laughs> There's a McDonald's burger named after Brendan Gallagher. Yeah, there was. Is there one named after Carey Price? They're they're no. burger. This was this was the uh, this was two years ago or so. Pricey burger. It was still there, but no, there was no uh, burger. I'm just, yeah, I don't know what kind of deal he cut with McDonald's Quebec or whatever. But yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'd be happy if that. I'd listen. I'd be happy enough that I have it open and I refreshed it. I'm not a sports guy at all. Um, and I, you know why, what you were describing already mm -hmm. is I was looking at this and I was like, kind of like, oh, I'm going to be annoyed if they don't win. Like, I don't give a fuck about hockey and I will be annoyed if they don't win. I don't give a fuck about hockey. I'll be annoyed if they don't win. So someone like yourself, yeah. when you were describing it, that's the type of anger I would always try and avoid because my brother is a huge uh, Broncos fan and he loves really? them. And he used to, yeah, he used to obsess the over them. And yeah, you know, like, like this is like, you know, we talk like. 15 years ago, they're winning Super Bowls and shit. And like, he would love that. He was all about it. But like, he would get mad when they lost in the playoffs or things like that. And I was always looking at that, like, oh, that ain't worth it. I don't want to be mad every other Sunday. Like, it's not a thing I need in my I, life. I used to be mad about sports until the Blues won the Stanley Cup. And now every time they lose out, it's like, ha ha, you can't take it away. We got one. We got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even Montreal and Toronto was like a very exciting because obviously. What if the they did take it away? What if they found out that like uh, you guys were stealing like plays or or, or something like like steroids? Uh, not steroids wouldn't do it. I don't think like like right, everyone's like, on steroids. But like like if they had like literally done some criminal shit, like like they had like broken into facilities and filmed like their opponents' practices. Um, like the you know basically what Some the Astros patriot did. shit dude there would be there would be a literal march on Boston a march <laughs> we're gonna destroy Boston <laughs> yeah and they no, show it, it like, was people here were so excited you remember the old shit oh they stole signs okay I see here Freaking they uh the Astros like, it was originally oh, here, a, let me tell a, you what the Astros did like yeah. like I can break it down in like five seconds. Let me tell you what the Astros did. No, I'm kidding. I don't know at all. They, they had cameras. They had a guy out in the um in, in the in the crowd with like uh, binoculars or a telescope or some shit, and he's looking all the way up there, reading the signs. He knows what pitch is coming, so he was relaying that by radio to the dugout, which is where the players hang out. I don't know if Didn't you know baseball. A guy in the dugout would hit a trash can with a bat. And like one hit meant like fastball, two meant two meant breaking ball. He's giving the batters the pitchers th that are coming based on a fucking code, and you can and because it's that kind of code where a guy's just hitting a trash can, you can go back and watch the games and watch them actively cheat. It's all recorded. But what happened? Did they get in trouble? No. They, I mean, oh, they got that, that is that's yeah, cheaterly. No, but the issue here it says they I was won just the series. It says it's been part of the game, and it's not against the rules. The part of that is against the rules is technology to do so. That's so bullshit. No, no, no. That's no, no. That's that's the spirit of the game. Weird. Absolutely it is part weird. of the game for like a runner on second base to like look past the pitcher, see the sign, and to signal the first ba the the batter. That's all part of the game. Montreal Canadiens win the series. Yeah, with their, three, their third goal. They eliminate the Golden Knights cool, in six man. games. Fuck you, Vegas. You haven't been in the league long enough yet to win a cup. Let's go, Montreal. Yeah, I like hockey now. Fuck you. Who are your favorite? Who's your favorite player? <laughs> Gallagher. He had a hamburger at McDonald's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fucking. That's yeah, I, saw, I saw. I saw. Dude, I'm going nice to be lurking on. Way. Dude, R slash hockey is going to be a bonanza tonight. I can't wait to go see all. I had that open. Talking. It's great. <sighs> yeah, and you know what sucks about R slash hockey? They used to be quick. Every single highlight was there. Now they're like fucking posting tweets of like insider info that has no backing where it's like Jack Eichel is going to be traded to blah, blah, blah. And that gets 2000 upvotes. It's like that was some retard saying that online. Post the highlights, post the goals, post the saves. That's what everyone's here for. I don't care about your commentary. Oh, sorry. You know, I know my buddy just sent me this real quick. Just. <laughs> Look at me and see. <laughs> 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 
But that's all. Oh man, I'm so psyched. That's cool. I'm so psyched the Canadians won that series. The Canadians will be the first team in NHL history to go to the Stanley Cup playoffs with a less than 500 record in the regular season. Wow. They magically what less than 500 record mean what does that mean it, it means that so like they, the golden knights record for example in the regular season they won they won 40 games they lost 14 and they lost two in overtime the montreal canadians won 24 lost 21 and lost 11 in overtime so they were 24 and 32 overall and carry price their goalie just decided in the playoffs like yeah I, i'm gonna win a stanley cup and, and like he's just been been and like if you don't know what he like Carey Price he's not some like rookie bullshit like he's an established like elite goaltender. He was for a decade. He was for, for a decade. What's that, Woody? Did he ever play for the Hurricanes? Am I? No, he, he he's no, uh, his no. entire career has been for the Habs. Okay, um, five hundred Harley. It's a percentage with an extra number. So if they're under five hundred, they lost more than fifty percent of their games. Yeah, and why would they do that? They literally, uh, they're, 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 because of the because of, because of the, the, the weird COVID divisions, the there has never been a team with a lower record than the Montreal Canadiens making it into the postseason, and now they're going to the Stanley Cup. That rules. That's, crazy. That's awesome. Let's go. I did see the Vegas on. Knights game in Vegas. Um, I've caught a couple hockey games oh. hockey games before. That that watching a game in Vegas was interesting. It was fun. They did like too much like Vegas slash Cirque du Soleil shit there because people are like, it's got to be a show, I guess, for people. Mm -hmm. They can go anywhere. Are they going to go see a game? And Ve they try hard. There was like three Rolexes given away to someone in the crowd, like tons of cash giveaways under the seats. They did this weird <laughs> pageantry. They had like a giant castle with like cheerleaders dancing in it and shit. It, ha it had quite a bit of pageantry. It was, it was pretty loud there, too. Because everyone's a stranger, no one really cares about the team <laughs> specifically. But yeah, I like cool. that. Yeah, it was Vegas fun. made the Stanley Cup their first year, and even as a first year team, they had like better pregame shows because it's Vegas and they know how to put on a show. It's cool, mm -hmm. and their competition for other things for people to do in Vegas at night. You know, that's a good point. Yeah. Wrap it up. Yo. Yeah. So everyone can find you at Harley Plays on Twitch now. Yeah, twitch.tv slash Harley Plays. I'm always going to be streaming with uh, Taylor Merka, so for sure come check me out. You're going to see him there. If you want to see him, he'll for sure be there all the time. I know you guys love Taylor, so go to twitch.tv <laughs> slash Harley Plays. You'll probably see Taylor there. Uh, Big yeah. green play there. I like <laughs> it. And Woody's going to be woodworking for sure. <laughs> on Harley's uh, channel. I'm going Check with Kyle. Check me out on, on Kyle's channel. We're going to be taking mad edibles and going skydiving and learning how to use uh, zwei handers. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Getting scared. <laughs> I like that right there. Yeah, you're all. Uh, yeah, thanks for having right. me. By the way, I like being here every time. Love it. PK five forty nine.